trash collector collects all something. <coughs> oh. oh. Hey, Arden. Hmm? What's up? Mm -mm. I... What's up? Mm -mm. Um, I thought the city um, was part of our island for a second, and I was legitimately second. about to ask you how much work you'd been you doing on the ship. <laughs> no, I'm not. That, I'm not that <laughs> good. The only thing I did was expand the mall. If you go to the top floor, there's a mall, and yes, I can hear. Okay, if you say you can hear me, <clears throat> you knew. Yes. <clears throat> So yeah, if you go okay. upstairs, you would probably see the rest of what's happening. Oh my god. Okay. It's still in progress. I had a chance to work on this last night. I was too tired from RPGs. Okay. Can I just take a moment and say how proud I am of how this room came out? Which one? Your brothel room? Oh, you made the strip club room. Okay. The strip area. Like, guys, look at how nice this looks. Corgi, why are you holding on to ketchup for dear life? It's not ketchup. It's a water bottle. Also, yes, Arden. Oh, hi, Arden. Yes, Arden does know that you can hear him. Just a second. I need to mute myself. I need to take care of Tabaz is pinging me a sec. Sorry. Oh, oh. Let's have a fun song. Let's do. Sorry. Sorry, Camelo. Yeah, there are always some nasty like, feedback on our end because we're having some hiccup. <laughs> Here's the poll for the day because I'm being a dick, partially a dickhead, so I'm doing a bit of goofy. Three blind mice run the taco stand. One named Carl, two named Frank. How are you, though? Mice sitting on a bench. Oh my god, the poles are right coming in. Sitting on a bench. <clears throat> yeah, it's definitely Lord Bro Lord Brilly. Such a middle. Yeah, Cor Hunty Corgi's who's in my craft crew. She'll be singing some songs along with Baron Von Payne, who will be joining us a little bit later. But it's mostly gonna be just Corgi at the moment because Baron's still at work. <laughs> but I am excited for this section because we're singing and laughing, and also I like to share that my emotes have finally arrived, so I can do channel memberships. We're gonna have channel memberships deployed soon. I'm just getting them set up right now. Thank you, Baz. Be <laughs> <coughs> my sitting on the bench. 
Don't mind me, folks. I'm in the middle of the brothel right now. I'm just taking care of some stuff. Three mice sitting on a bench. Yo ho ho with the butter rum as we go sail the seven seas as we go for fun. My name is Carl, to name Frank. Let's go for the thing. <laughs> Oh my god, I am excited. Hey, hello. Hey, Hermit, how's it going? <laughs> Just a second, folks. We're going to go live now. Welcome in everyone, welcome in. We'll get started, like, we'll get our adventure shortly once the rest of the crew shows up. We're just gathering the rest of the rafters right now, and we're also waiting for folks to swing on by. Hmm, when you walk on by, girl, look like you're dead, but yeah. We're swimming at the beach. Hey, Baz, how's it going? Time to roll, thank you so much for the show. Uh, Bass, I just want to check before I forget. Uh, you want me to keep tabs of everybody from the, from the campfire coming in? I'll give you the information after how you want to do it. I'm guessing new voted for Baron. <laughs> just a sec, folks. I'm just taking care of some stuff behind the scenes because I need to go live. Sorry, folks, and thank you for things. How is everybody? <clears throat> Happy Friday, though. How's, how's everybody doing? My name's Carl. Don't mind me. I'm in the brothel right now. I'm just kidding. I'm gonna leave the brothel for a second. But yeah, in case folks didn't know, I have a brothel built in the raft because it's funny. And for those who don't know me, I'm Art and Vile Gamer. I'm a YouTube variety streamer and content creator that plays a variety of games from. From indie to AAA, from retro to modern, I don't care as long as it's fun to play, I'll play it. Of course, there's tons of fun games and content there, so we get to see all kinds of stuff. And I like to join a fantastic crew as well. Welcome to the Art and Vile Nation. And thanks for the sub as well. Yeah. How's Warframe, by the way, uh, by the way, uh, Hermit? Yo, just a second, we're gonna go live. Oh, yeah, oh, papa. I am excited. This is so much fun with friends now. Hashtag YouTube.
Hashtag live streaming. Hashtag live stream. Live now. Survival. Uh, don't you play Warframe normally, our hermit? I thought you're a Warframe gamer, if I remember right. You're more of Tofu. I know one of you guys play Warframe a lot. Yeah, the sleep crouch. I'm gonna play it all day, all night. I'm gonna sleep for the floor all night. Zell, hello Zell. Are you showing your campfire by the way? Oh no, but just a second, I need to double mute myself now. Streamer mode. <clears throat> Alright, I'm back. And we're good Hi, to go. Hi, welcome back. We're Yay. good to go. Oh yeah, congratulations. Yeah, thank you so much. Yeah, I'm listening. I was. I saw. I saw a few something there. I'm guessing New is the one who voted for Baron for singing. I'm guessing. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> Why, New? You don't think I can carry a tune? <laughs> Just because I'm having the time of my life. <laughs> I, it's the time of my life. No. Oh, he made. said he didn't vote. Oh, that wasn't him. Because <laughs> the votes are received. The votes are split for. This one said, this is the wow. poll. Who do you like? Who's singing do you like the best? A. Haunted Cory. B. Baron Von Payne. C. Steve Bolt. D. None of y'all because I like to eat taco meat instead. And it's 50-50? Uh, actually, 50 for you, 25 for Baron, 25 for taco meat. <laughs> <laughs> it's very really funny how every time I throw a, a, a random line in about taco meat, it's always... Cory, you know, all the treats, all the Cheetos. The funny thing is, Cory, if I ever throw a random line about taco meat in there or something about tacos, it always get a lot of votes, weirdly enough. <laughs> yeah. Hey, hey, close that window. Hmm. My name's Carl. Too bad with Thank you. Person. Could I ask you a minute? What do you need? Would you please grab me my other Star Wars Conductor Pepper from the bench? Wow. Very curious. How, you, how do you drink Taco Pepper? Alright. Sora, it's good to see you. Welcome on in. I hope you're doing good. Wait, Sora? Happy Friday, my dude. Wait, Sora isn't ju just pl like Plague Sora or a different Sora? Just, no, Sora, Sora TV. Yeah, that's, that's Plague. Sorry, it is the Plague. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome on in! I haven't heard My husband brought me home Beagles. Beagles. <laughs> I'd agree with Beagles? you. Be, I, every time I hear, I every time you, way you say it, I keep saying you guys brought home a Beagle. You know they're properly called. Oh, excuse me. He, he brought me home Witch Fingers. Oh. Yeah, that's because apparently we stole them in the 90s. Witch Fingers? Is there anything like Are you telling me you're not helping them your fingertips? No. <laughs> or Wingers! It's been a while, just been working. How you been? I'm doing good. Aren't you been doing good? Yeah, I'm surviving. Why are all of our animals sad? Because there's no food. I just grew new food for them. Gotcha. It's like, no, wait. Edna, pretty girl. Hi, honey. Which one am I again? Oh yeah, I'm this guy. Wait, I'm wearing my color outfits. Wait, I think we're wearing the same color or something. I can't tell. Let's see. Look at me. I'm wearing. I see red pants on you. I see orange pants on you. But yeah, I see red on my end. Maybe I'm just colorblind. Let's see. Oh, it is orange. Light. Okay, never mind. <laughs> yeah. I was like, wait, what? Yeah, none of these uh, are match with color. As soon as you guys gotta hop on uh, R O R two. R O R two. Who? Who's this Miss Rain to? Let's see, Michelle. Yeah. Oh, Soar. Yeah, definitely. I mean, I, I beat I beat the game twice already with Poncho. It was horrifying. <laughs> it was horrifying. His build nearly blew up half of my game, my, my server. 
Ooh, just a second. We're from the future, so everything is mellow. Fuck it, Albert! Your song is too corny and a dick day. With times it's like this, super it, corny. It's super like with times like this, it feels very mellow. Facial hair is pretty much the same. <laughs> the way he just says it just seems so deadpan hilarious. <laughs> This is Pioneer YouTube days, by the way, back when YouTube first started. <laughs> I still can't think about the chain smoking rabbits. <laughs> what, what's happening, Neil? I don't know what's happening. We're from the future. Okay. Alright, big city. Oh, yeah, you might want to bring an axe in there, because, you know. <laughs> I was actually I, I, was, I, I, I was actually stopping at this place where I need to chop wood and get us more tokens because we're broke. I blew all of our tokens uh, on buying lights. <laughs> oh, yeah, because also yeah, I, I, the thing I like about this location, uh, Corgi, is that it respawns all the tokens and loot inside. So if you get lucky and you find titanium stuff. <clears throat> but how's everybody doing? Neil, thank you for the spicy cannon. I appreciate it. That's good to hear. Oh yeah, before I forget, I need my coffee. Coffee, coffee, coffee! I, um, I love hearing Swobmente. <clears throat> All the TP apps. Yep, they're both laying on the floor. No worries, You can Zell. see yeah, Minna, you can, you can just see... What's the set? Mithorgy. Uh, no worries. Chunky boys and chunky girls. No worries, though, Zell. Uh, yeah, YouTube stream is a little bit different. We have, like... There's different functionality, so we have less interactivity because I haven't programmed most of the bots in myself manually. But we do have some advantage with search engine and feed and rendering, but we do have some advantages there. But it is a different experience though. It's more on the whole user chatting mechanic to it than on Twitch streaming versus that. Twitch you can do something like VDs where you drive people insane, for instance. But none of that unfortunately leaves this on YouTube. So stuff like this I have to play myself, like trigger myself. Like for example, let's do a shout out to Haunted Corgi. This is all programmed stuff I had to pre-program separately by myself. It's not built in through Twitch, for like for example. Haunted Corgi, uh where is the shadow for her? Tremors, we got tremors. This is a clue item. Awesome. <laughs> Disclaimer, they did die after that session. <laughs> they died to a guy because they were so damn loud. <laughs> we're from the future, but everything is now. Chunky boys? Yeah, that's what New would say. <laughs> but yeah, for folks in chat, today's focus is just on rap because... Really? No, you you changed me. I just no. Did you change my username to Arden Val Kumar? You ass. <laughs> We're at the future. Facial hair, they not the same. <laughs> but yeah, so how is everybody though? Any plans this weekend? Yeah, about what news? I love pizza, pizza that booty. New doesn't remember he said Chunky Boys? I'm more surprised about that. <laughs> hey Scout, can I ask a favor? Can you give New a shout out, New a shout out, please? Ah, uh, I thought he could. I'm surprised New can ask shout out himself. I thought he's a mod. So, so yeah, folks, this is our barbecue, our new strip mod I'm working on. That's the Tiki Bar. <clears throat> That's the barbecue shack once again up and running. <laughs> There's the restaurant. <laughs> this is the restaurant you know the stage what? of Queen's I think next time I stream. Huh? I'm gonna have a thing that says, uh, when you do exclamation point ban, it's gonna say, uh, 
Scout was banished to the Shadow Realm. Nikki, thank you for the corgi treats. Corgi, Fisha! <laughs> oh, damn, the corgi's look fast. <laughs> Going great, one question, no point if you see them. <laughs> I love pizza. Good thing you like, good thing <laughs> you like, your, good thing you like your pizza, though. With, if you see a dog charging toward you, you should, A, kick the dog. I was like, you redeemed Corgi Cam, not Corgi Treats! Disclaimer folks, Haunted Corgi is fine, she's just getting sworn by her Corgis. Cause they're active, very happy little Jesus! Kids. Hey Corgi, Zell's asking if you're okay. I was like, yeah, she's fine, Corgi's fine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's a PC game. That's probably why, Zell. It's only it's on PC. <laughs> Was this the nighting? Oh, I nighted Glan in that day. Oh. <clears throat> I did treat twice. No! I'm sorry! Oh, Iconic, no. I'll make it up, I promise. Yeah, Technically, the treat I gave them is worth two treats. But I will make it up to you, my friend. But yeah, as you can see, yeah, this is a building game, so we'll survive. Imagine a whole world where the world got global warming flooded the world. That's what Raph is. So we're basically members of this group called the S'more Scouts. Not S'more Scouts, uh, the Give them the edible, absolutely Scouts. not. Oh, fuck no, that's bad. So basically, uh, basically, we're trying to survive by locating dry land, essentially. That's what this group is doing. Yeah, no, the last thing I need is for them to go to the vet for THC poisoning. Alright, hang on. Yeah, More treats. Yep, you guys are getting a couple of these. I just gave them calm, quiet moment uh, melatonin edibles. Uh -huh. For dogs, mind you. For dogs, I promise. Don't if worry, you do not believe me, uh, these are PNA friendly. They have a little dog on them. We are not sponsored by them, please. But these treats have been successful in helping Midna settle down in the evening. She doesn't get upset like she used to, and she doesn't freak out when we leave her alone at night. Beaker! Welcome in, honey! Hope you're doing good! There's gonna be a shark on my booty! I can feel it! I can f I met it alive! Check out Beaker. Uh, Beaker, I don't think streams just yet. I think he's going to be streaming potentially soon ish. That's what my understanding Beaker is too. Oh, yeah. Beaker. Now we know who Beaker is. He's the one with the Golden Bidoof muscle physique because of what's his name? Golden Bidoof. <laughs> That's who Beaker is. <laughs> ah, he's right. crap. I didn't realize I was muted with you, Corey. I was saying. Beaker, ah, the one with the golden Bidoof muscles. I remember now. Yep. <laughs> Curses. Why Voon? What the fuck? Wait, wait, Voon's here? Did you say Voon as in Voonison? Uh, yeah, she is, uh, Zell. If you look at the chat, uh, the stream of everyone who's streaming right now, like, the, the crew members for the stream, Zell, look, this, this, look in the chat, like, look in the description of the video. It tells you who's also on the crew at different times. But Corey is streaming right now oh. on Twitch as well. She's also a member of Campfire. Oh. Ooh, welcome to the Art and Vile Nation. Thank you so much for the sub and welcome to the Art and Vile Nation. God, people here love Taco Meat or something because it's starting to get to the point it's your time with Taco Meat, Corey. For singing. <laughs> yeah, I think I should just change it to Burrito <laughs> or something see what happens. Because <laughs> right now they say, who's the best singer? A, Corey, or B, the, no, nobody, we just like Taco Meat. I'm like, God damn it. <laughs> I'm starting to think suddenly Le this is Lalo's fault. He makes people so addicted to taco meat that basically if they see taco meat over taco meat over everything else. I think. Jesus! <laughs> Sorry, Corgi. If, o if taco meat overrides you, I'm not liable. No, no, hang on, hang on. 
Hang on, sen sensory oh. overload, guys. Sensory overload. Hang on. Yeah. Hang on. Give me a second. Let me breathe. Oh my oh, goodness. Man. Guys, so many blurps. So many blurps. Okay. I've hydrated. Continue on. <clears throat> Welcome in, God damn it. <laughs> Are you from this? Which district are you from? <laughs> no! Enough! No! I need- I kind of- No! <laughs> no! Stop playing emo to her! I need Christ. her to focus so she can sing for god damn it! You can terrorize Baron and her later, but not now! <laughs> god! Enough! <laughs> Just a second, my double mute up for new drugs are insane. Alright, folks, uh, definitely not enough score. He was getting blasted. Welcome in, everyone. Hope you're all doing well. And yeah, welcome in. <laughs> <coughs> How did your exam go, by the way, figure? By the way. But it's a good thing it's children last time, so. What is your med score? Are you MS2, by the way, or MS1? I'm assuming you're- I'm assuming you're- I'm assuming you follow that your med school's medical system. Are you MS1 or 2, Figurasi? What am I getting? Oh yeah, I need metal scraps. Congra- Whoa! Congratulations on passing your med school exam! That's wonderful! Congratulations! Holy smokes. Congratulations again for getting- Woo woo. <coughs> Let's see. Oh, you're MS2, okay. Life is an MS... Oh yeah, that's a song, song. Oh, guess the audio is broken. I was saying woohoo, but it didn't work. Let's see with this. <laughs> that works, okay. Yep. Nope, not playing that, that's gonna be insulting people. Yeah, sorry about that. New Gundam just being a complete degenerate up there. And he's making Corgi have a mental breakdown, so I had to mute, double mute just in case so we don't hear Corgi screaming. But how is everybody doing? Welcome in, by the way, on on this fabulous Happy Friday. We're playing Rav currently. This is an open world survival game you play with up to eight people. You have dedicated servers. The lore is that the whole world got destroyed by global warming and it's all flooded oceans now and the sharks and stuff and still floating islands and places left. And our task is to basically try to, like, rebuild humanity. So essentially, that's why we're here. As a member, you're part of a member of this group called the Forward Scout. Your job is to venture out into unknown lands and sea and try to like, find dry land like this, giant dome. Gather resources and build a flab fabulous luxury raft. As you can see, we're building a grand ass warship. This crew's been streamed for over a year now. We have a crew of not 12, 10 members that rotate in and out. And this raft has covers a lot of things. We have like a whole petting zoo here. We have a five-star dining restaurant, we have bars, we have a brothel, we have a strip club, we have a strip mall. You name it, we have it. We like to go grand because we like to be proud and we're loud. It's a fantastic overall experience, you ask me. This is a really great experience. And today, I convinced Hanko Corgi to basically sing on our raft today, along with Baron Von Payne. Uh, Baron will join us a little bit later. Corgi is, well, I think ate too many edibles right now and she's being goofy as hell. Sorry, what do you say? You're good. Yeah, I had a double mute because new sound blasts were driving you insane. I was making everyone deaf in our end. <laughs> yeah, I knew, knew I love you, honey, but gotta gotta come back on that. You're lucky new doesn't live in the same city as you. Imagine him showing up to your house, everybody doing that shenanigans, you and your corgis. <laughs> oh lord, have mercy. Yeah, because I knew he would do it, but of all his fails, you could always just give him, say, John, distract him while you went away. Basically, yeah. Man, I'm pretty sure John can take him and <laughs> take him down. Token, thank you for the lurk. I hope yeah. you're doing well, my friend. Thank you, Hermit. Yeah, there's many versions of the ships built. We, it's all your matching. It's freeform buildings. We build how we like. Hey, Mike, how's it going? Mike, my hey, shaky. It's up. It's from campfire. You ready for tomorrow? She, he's here to hear you singing too. That's what he's here for. Before I forget, uh, Mike and Baz, you should be able to run that special commander built. Let's see, where is the Baz in here? I, I know I got Baz. 
got it, the tag. The Baz is still awake, of course. <laughs> Uh, uh, yeah, if you want to introduce us to do your thing, uh, Baz, Baz, Mikey, uh, just play the campfire command. Or s'more command, sorry, that's the command I'm looking for. Time for the sleep. Alright, Iconic, honey, have yeah. a good night. Thank you again so much for the raid, I appreciate <coughs> it. Yeah, uh, Mike can play that, uh, my, uh, Baz, you can play that command as well. I said it so only members of the S'more Scouts could run it. If you want to play that command, but yeah. That's good here. I was asking you earlier, Tan, if you're, are you part of Campfire by any chance? I'm not, I'm not sure if you are. Your name sounds familiar at the moment. I might be mixing it up because I saw something else with a similar name. GTA 5, ah, what's the mod? But yeah, in case you haven't heard her sing before, Mike and Baz, she's an amazing singer. Hello, <laughs> oh, thank you. She may, Wait, make, she may make you cry, but I'm not sure how beautiful the things will make you. I'll make you react. Oh yeah, what's your take on the strip mall, by the way? I'm still working on it. I like it, it looks really nice so far. It's actually a two-story strip mall, by the way. <laughs> I, got, I um, noticed. That's why I designed this to be so tall. The roof above it originally was supposed to be the sleeping floor, but since you want to turn it into a full-on petting zoo, we'll change it to the hugging zoo instead. <laughs> okay. So then pretty much the ninth floor on top of that will be where our bedrooms are. Or the cruise beds. Perfect. <laughs> Perfect. That way all the scent of the fresh farm can waved up into your beds. Yep. Unless I, put, <laughs> unless I decide to get a double flooring one and let, I don't know, stick... Stick new like Mike! Oh yeah. Hey Mike. <laughs> uh new, can we get a shout out for Mike, please? Minna. Mike shake. Hey, princess. Hi. Hey, princess. <laughs> hey sweetheart. Oh you're so cute. What does it do exactly? Wait, hang on, I got I got play. <laughs> My ba 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 da <laughs> My ba holy ha ba ba <laughs> Got the command for Baz in there. Let's see. No full damage. That's amazing. There is funny things. Oh god, damage. I gotta. Cookie butts on the screen everywhere. Oh my god. <laughs> oh no. Ardent. What? Hang oh. on. I need food. Just work lurking since I'm lurking. That's fine. Thank you so much for coming in. Uh, go look at okay. one of our go look at one of our twenty fridges on the second, third, fourth, or fifth floor. <laughs> if you can make up your one dying. <laughs> Thank you so much for the six month subscription. Oh. Also, for everybody here, that I got some exciting announcements. My emote artist has finally finished all of our emotes and badges, so I'll be launching my channel membership program on YouTube, which is pretty much the same thing as what you guys call on Twitch subscriptions. So I'll be launching that tonight, today. We finally got it set up. We got all the badges and stuff after seven months of design and painful taking the imagination. So I'm excited to share that. That's an exciting update. And then soon, you guys can use custom emotes on the stream. Of course, you still have to join as a member first. For the low no, thank you so much for the shout out to... <coughs> Nicole, thank you so much for the hydrate. I appreciate it. Um, hey, yeah, guys, thank you so much for giving the shout out to Kyle, or Kai, hey, History Buff, I'm sorry. History Buff is one of my closest friends. I love him dearly. He is an amazing person. He's a really good streamer. You guys gotta go check him out. That uh, is, uh, 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 I don't. Yeah. Anyway, sorry about that, guys. But just wanted to give him the shout out because he's still new to everything. But anyways, thank you so much for the shout outs, new. I really appreciate it. I hope you're doing good, Nicole. All right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they'll be giving. I'll, I'll present those on. But yeah, they'll all be Canadian price. I'll be saying three tiers for it. First tier is three dollars Canadian, second tier is five dollars, third tier will be twenty dollars. Each one will have their own perks and benefits, but all base them will have one thing in common: badges and emotes. Nice. Yep, I'm excited. After all these years, after all this time, I'm, I'm still so excited to do this. Oh yeah! Oh, I bet. Remember. Oh yes, thank you. Oh yes, I'm so excited because I feel like in a way it's like, yay! It's a, it's like one of those tr nice little treats you get because you're partnered, so you get experience right? some, this new wonder. 
By the way, I just happened to look at that yesterday. What? All I need is all I need is the average viewer of seventy five for the next month, and I can start buying. For partner or for the hype train for, special one? For the for partner. Yeah, it's doable. Honestly, if you think about it. like, I meant like. If your event B made it her number and Lung else probably made it back then, it's only like what a thousand followers, so it's doable. Yeah. And it's like that is something I'm really excited about because it would be really interesting to do. Mm -hmm. Nicole, I'm so glad to hear that. Welcome on in, honey. My name is Hunter Cork, I'm a variety streamer. Mostly play horror games, but as you can see, we're hanging out tonight with Arden mm -hmm. Gamer, who hey, is one of my very good friends. He's a YouTube streamer. And we're having fun! Yeah, Raft. Bazmon, thank you for the follow! Let's see we're playing you. Raft. You were you were in a post-apocalyptic having flooded for the second time world on a raft with strangers, and you were going to figure out how to get to what's called the ultimate paradise that you woke up with map of. Utopia. Utopia. So you start to, you know, navigate, go through and see what you can see and find information on how to get there. Just a second, folks. Mm. Where are... Do we not have any scrap? Yeah, we have a severe, severe, severe scrap deficiency. <laughs> ah, so it sounds like, uh... It sounds like we should probably move on here very soon. Captain. Yes, but first I want to be a. Uh, I want to go loot all the apartments and see if I can exploit that titanium pool down there. Okay. Yeah, in case you didn't know, Corey, all the apartment stuff respawn. So this metal. So honestly, there's metal scraps on some of those roofs that you want to go parkouring. Hmm. Unless you're t unless you're too la la land right now. <laughs> no, I'm good. And yeah, feel free to buy any from the store, the vending machine store. If you need any for your brothel. Good to know. Thank you. Yeah. <clears throat> the reason this is part of my farming system, that's why I come here a lot. Because what happened was earlier, before you swung by, like fast food streams, I, but the biggest challenge we had was wood deficiency because we couldn't find enough wood to build this whole place up. So, gotcha. someone told me they, the wood here responds along with like wood here responds a lot. So, my logic was to come here to get wood and harvest also in the underground location where we came from. The strawberries and bananas respawn because we can't get enough strawberries. And also down there's metal scrap, and there's an area that I didn't know about a while back. There was, you know, the puzzle room we had where to like use some like med magnet to lift up a bunch of shipping containers. Yeah. There's actually a secret room down there, full of titanium. Oh. And in the past, we had the lift things to do it manually, but since I discovered, since we flooded that area, I just need to move a couple of containers. I can just swim into it. I don't have to like lift everything and go through the, the underground path. I can just swim in the water into that secret room. Nice. Do you know, okay. What, do you know what we got in there? 12 pieces of titanium, along with some other stuff. Ooh. That's why I want to see if that item respawn. I know some of the other, like, that, they, like, I know the stuff at the, in the hidden elevator, it respawns. That's why I'm curious. If it respawns, then perfect, because like I said, we need titanium, because I can't build some of the more fancier kitchen appliances without titanium. And the fuel tank, the wild, yeah. the bio refineries, we need fuel tanks for it. So yeah. So I'll be underground for a bit, unless you want to go apartment looting for tokens and mouse scraps. I'm actually in the apartments now. Yeah, look at all of them. Look on the roofing. I saw a bunch of metal scrap. I think if my calculation is correct, uh, you get about 20 to 40 titanium, if my calculation is correct, if you find all of them. Okay, what happened to you? Your health to party, please. Do you spawn? Yeah, actually, this one is getting a little unique, folks. If your health runs out, there's two things. One, you respawn happily back in your bed. Two, you could, uh, quote unquote, B, your friend carries you to your bed and revive you. Depending on the difficulty you play at, higher difficulty, if you die and respawn your bed, you basically like Minecraft, you lose all your stuff. That's why some yep. people prefer to have a friend with them, so the friend can literally carry them back to safety. So you don't lose your stuff. It's a pretty unique concept. Yeah, we need metal scrap bad. That's what we need for the torches and stuff. Like right now, I just found some metal scrap underground already. That's why, that's why I go underground. Nice. Yeah, that's why on the Raft Discord, folks, for your, in case folks don't know. They literally have people, like, a command for people to go rescue people underground because they don't want to risk losing their stuff. Because on higher difficulty, like I said, you lose your stuff, you're kind of toast. Yeah, it gets really hard. I saw a streamer play. She keeps respawning herself, even though she's next to a bed, and she lost all of her stuff. Like, crazy. 
That was oh, we got a crate. Oh yeah, ah, oh, nice. That's not bad. There's crates in there. We get lucky. There's some titanium. There's tons of stuff. Yeah, a lot of people play solo. I'm one of the few streamers that actually has a team of like at least a crew of ten people. It's a lot of fun. Yeah, it's chaotic. Because I said the oh. rap building is your imagination. Not the secret elevator. It's a wicked experience. So, oh yeah, it's definitely coming together. Um... I'm going down to the secret elevator floor. Let's see what we got. Tit let's see, do we get lucky with titanium? I got a Amber. Crate. Nope. Thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. Welcome wait, on in. Amber, wait, is it Amber Rosa? Yeah. Hey, Amber Rosa! I love her! How's it going, Amber? I know who that is immediately. She's from Campfire. She's more scouts. Yeah! Honey, welcome on in! How are you doing? She's a lovely, human, amazing human being. Yeah, definitely a fake. I mean, we want yes, to get to from his you have vacation. To rely, you have to rely on your team a lot. I was right, Corey. I sing! I just got, his, I just got uh, five titanium from the underground area in the elevator location. That's why I figured, this is why I said go back to get more titanium, because it's a nightmare yep. to find it. A sing, honey, welcome on in. How was Dubai? Did you have fun? Also, new scout, 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 can you give shout outs to a sing and Ambrosia, please? I would really appreciate it. <laughs> Mr. Boncho, what happened? Getting better slowly, good. I hope you feel better soon, honey. It sucks being sick. I'm doing really good though, thank you so much. <clears throat> so yeah, what I'm doing right now folks, I'm trying to find the area where we have the... thing. Oh, you know what, you buff, I might be. <laughs> you're stuck as a 5-star hunter, like new hunter, Poncho? What's bad about that? Oh wait, I forgot, uh, they all sweat lords, I forgot, yeah, you're right. All sweat lords. <laughs> you know, Hunt Showdown, 5 and 6-star lobbies, and Hunt Showdown is all sweaty ass players, that's what the joke is. Three stars where you get to do most of the goofy fun stuff. Four is like decent, but five and six are all sweat lords. Like it's like in a PvP game, imagine where everyone just sits in the bush with sniper rifles trying to blow each other's heads off. No close quarter fighting, no bomb rush, nothing. No kamikaze strats. Just a bunch of people dressed in bushes in bushes. It's boring. That's why it's just trying to say. That's why it's sweaty. There, I found the train crane control. Here goes. Let me check if the the location still respawns. I know, um, there three to five inches of snow tonight. Holy crap. Where is this exactly? <laughs> he, uh, History Buff lives in Upper New York. <gasps> oh my god. Yo! We, it worked! Holy shit, you know, that area, hidden area, it's still there with all the open compartment. Yeah, <laughs> nice! I never have, this is very consistent. We can come back here for five, ti ten titanium each time now. We don't have to like. Nice. We don't have to waste our stupid ass time digging around for titanium. Yeah. I mean, we still, I mean, I mean, we still would because we get some toys and like get some rare paintings. But I meant we can. We found. I found a consistent reservoir for titanium. This is amazing. Hallelujah, folks! I'm happy. That's so freaking exciting. For folks that don't know, titanium is really expensive and hard. It's one of the rarest materials in this game. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I came here from Reddit stream. Your model is so cute. Thank you, Saki. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Wait. Did you say Kimosobi or? No, Figo Usagi. Oh, Figo Usagi. Camp campfire. Yeah. Welcome on in, honey. I'm, I'm a Hobbs and Core Game, a variety streamer. Mostly play horror games, but tonight we're playing games with the lovely Art and Vital Gamer. As you guys can see, Corgi Cam is currently on for the next couple of minutes. And the Corgis, Thorgi, and Minna are both here to wish you hello. And a very corgi tastic Friday. And a very corgi tastic Friday. And by the way they do that, they show their corgi butts. Corgi, corgi, corgi butts. Corgi butts. Corgi, corgi, corgi butts. I blame corgi, corgi butts. she makes it sound so catchy, I blame her. It's all her fault in that one. <laughs> I made my mod literally told me why I keep saying about corgi butts one time. I didn't realize I was saying about corgi butts, and she's like, why the fuck you keep saying that? I'm like, <laughs> What? Oh shit! My, my I, I didn't realize I had astral projection powers. I was thinking about, I was thinking like, hmm, shit, what's, what's a good catchy tune? I was thinking about corgi butts in my head, and turns out I astrally projected my, my voice out, and I didn't realize it. 
That's so funny. Yeah, sometimes I didn't realize I have astral projection powers. <laughs> or it's more like I subconsciously just say it and I don't realize it. <laughs> what do you mean? Goodbye, Kitty M2.0. Poncho, you want to do that? Just do what Psycho Ghost does. Just go into that uh, that solo, so it's like, well, Survivor 1, just blow yourself up. That's what that's what Psycho Ghost does. That will get you down direct in seconds. That's what he does to get out of the, like, six stars so he doesn't face, like, people. History buff says, stop, mo stop mocking my butt. Oh, shit. Ah, We're not just a mocking ah. your butt. Ah, fuck. Just seconds. What? Are you okay? Nah, I'm just getting jumped by a rat. <laughs> Oh, I didn't. I, I didn't have my weapon now quickly enough, so I was like trying to back up the working shank. Well, we guess we're eating barbecue rat for dinner. <laughs> Yum, you know, my to, favorite. To be honest, I barbecue the entire fridge anyway, so it's not like we're gonna starve. <laughs> Wait, what about like those roasted rats uh, in Shrek, the first one? Those weed rats—they actually look pretty good, honestly. I'll be honest with you. Uh huh. When I was younger. I thought they looked. I thought they were. I didn't know what they were, but I didn't know weed rats would grow that big, actually. <laughs> Wait, you fixed it already, Poncho? Like, you telling me you derank yourself from 5 to 6 star down to 2 3 star already? <laughs> what do you do? Pull the cheese god or what? Like button hit. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, this is like one of the minor features I can do to this cell where basically I can program the bot to do stuff like that. It, can, it will listen to my commands, it does things like that for you. Here goes. This is Jackass, and we're jumping across the roof. <laughs> Beer, you play Rodents, Delish. I know, right? Okay, so from the way that Strex spoke, mm -hmm. I really also wanted to try Weed Rat Stew. I never- Oh, no, what do you say? Ah? Uh? <laughs> well, cause he was boasting about it. I was like, I make a mean Weed Rat Stew. And it's like, when you describe it like that, I I, I want to try it. Mm. Oh, gee, sorry to hear that, Tan. I should have had music going while in there. Was in until the water went cold. Aw, honey, welcome back. Let me know if you need anything, okay? Well, because the file should you delete it. Oh dear. Hopefully, you're able to resolve it. Yeah, see this with these zip line stunts here. So this is an item you get in late game where you can zip line from location to location and do this. This is Jackass. We're Jackass rap edition. I'm jumping. I'm zip line jumping. Oh fuck! Damn it! I broke my leg. I tried doing jackass zipline jumping stunts and I broke my leg. <laughs> was, okay, the gag was I was trying to jump from what I was to do. I launch, jump from one zipline and hook onto the next zipline quickly. I miss. I broke my leg. Oh, Arden. But hey, I got some chicken off. I got some chicken off of that. Because you were chicken. That too. But I meant no. I've actually found some food on the way on the roof. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that said something completely different. We're not playing Devour right now, so no need for me to be a chicken. Oh yeah, we should play Devour one of these days. Have you ever even- Yes! I'll, I'll be honest with you, have you ever even played the Slaughterhouse? I've never seen anyone with your group play once. Nope, because by the time they were getting to the Slaughterhouse, I was uh, catching some Zs. Okay, next time we're doing this, we're going to play Slaughterhouse, but we're going to have a full squad, because that map's a fucking nightmare. I'm not sure you ever experienced it, but the worst feeling ever is when Nathan's chasing you and you're in the freezer and the freezer security system kicks in and locks you in with him. It's the most terrifying thing ever. Imagine being locked in a freezer with Psycho Nathan. <laughs> yeah, I'm, oh my god, hey Amber, how's it going? <coughs> ah, I got a key card. Oh, where'd everybody go? It's, I don't uh, know. Not you, not some chicken. I'm doing better already. The hot shower was nice. Good, I'm glad. Now you can play it up too, Amber, because I said for a smart scale. Where if I'm living? Titanium! We are rich! 
Hell yeah! Let's see how much titanium I can find. I'm getting, I'm getting pretty lucky on the titanium find, aside from the farming one, but I met. I'm being pretty lucky thus far with all this titanium we found. I found 11 pieces. But how are you though, Amber? How's your how's your day thus far? I believe it's still like afternoon Saturday for you. Ah, let me get up here. So see, see folks, we do a lot of platforming this, just fall damage and stuff, but you to be careful. And my character, we just this is what makes me a weirdo. I live off of raw eggs and water, because I'm too cheap to buy this stuff. I use more more expensive food, the like cat food stew deluxe. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, I'm doing alright. Today's my day off. When R was a lot, he ate What's four, saying? Three, four dozen eggs <laughs> every morning to help him get large. <clears throat> but now that he's grown, he eats five Jump. dozen eggs. Whee. And he's roughly the size of a bunch. And like, no one's like Gaston. No one's big as Gaston. And no one is tough as... Oh my god, fuck, I can't remember the lyrics! <laughs> tell me about Gaston. I know it's all about, it's all about Gaston and tell me how great he is. <laughs> Y'all would lose at Disney karaoke. Guess the lyrics. Yeah, I would. Okay, I would know the lyrics. I still, I, I know what the song is. If you tell me what's a song, like what song's being played, but tell me to sing, I'd probably be fucked up most of the songs. <laughs> I might just butcher it actually make an <clears throat> make an insult, make a joke, make a diss against Layla one by accident. <laughs> <laughs> That's what's gonna happen, Corgi. Make a mistake and make fun of him instead. But yeah, yep. yeah someone's like. But his is so easy. He's like, well, yeah. No Disney one. Disney karaoke in order. <laughs> okay. Amber? Oh. <laughs> Arden, Arden and I had joked one day, and I told him, I said, I would do literally anything <laughs> you requested if you would buy me a PC. Mm -hmm. And. Ardent was like, oh, really? So if I told you to sing all every single Disney song, would you? And I said, you bet your sweet ass I would. I would sing every Disney song from the very start of Snow White all, oh, Snow. all the way through the, the OG, like the very first animated Disney song from mm. Disney, which was, you know, in Snow White. Mm. In... In order mm -hmm. of every song that came out after that through every single movie yeah that was the deal oh, first she said if i would buy her a pc a game pc <laughs> before i go back to work i must give a hot take best disney movie ever ever is new jeez i went morbid wait. oh my god wait what do you what no kidding say? and he said he meant to say emperor's new groove and he in emperor's new grave <laughs> Technically, that, that's the alternative version of Cusco never managed to escape from Yzma, to be honest. No, that, that'd be alternative per, or that would be the alternative version if they used the actual poison the poison for Cusco. True. The poison chosen specifically to kill Cusco. Cusco's poison. Good point. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Amber, yeah, Poncho's asking you a question. I'm not sure you can answer him there. Wait, let me... Yo, found- I was right, found 25 scraps thus far. Uh, Corey, how much scraps were you looking for for your thing? I don't know. I, I didn't know what you were building. You just said you were asking about scrap, I told you we were short on it. You didn't say what you were building. Oh, nails. Nails, oh. Oh, funny story, I had nails on me the whole time. <laughs> Cause I was building- I was, trying to, I was trying to build a torch or something, and I forgot. Huh? Yeah, yeah, okay. Well- uh, so how much nails do you need exactly? Sorry. I don't know. <gasps> Wait, cheers? Okay, ooh. Uh, nope, we don't need the leaves. There'll be so much leaves. I found some free shears. Interestingly enough, Corey, the best place to get shovels is Utopia. <laughs> because he spawned like six shovels there for you to dig up landmines. <laughs> Last time we were there, I think half the team got blown up. Because <laughs> of our shenanigans. Come on! Come on! Ready. Anyway, back to work. Bye, yeah. history, but. Ready, okay. Uh, did you say, did, did, did your husband just called me? No. I just heard I heard Arden. I was like, huh? <laughs> I might just be hearing things at this point. Okay, it's been tr I need to bring all this stuff. And back. I'm, huh? and I'm the one that's high. Probably. 
Do you know how much I survived? I found? I found 26 pieces of scrap and 11 titanium thus far. Let's savage scavenging. That's why that's why I figured this place was a decent location to get it because while it's true the islands have like titanic scrap and stuff, it's it's not as consistent as over here. Right. So yeah, we have 21 26 type scrap. That's enough for me to buy like, build like three six three of those metal lanterns, theoretically. <laughs> Which we need more of with the freaking mall, because you know, it's a mall. Why do I hear a rat around here? But yeah, I'm just up here looking for tokens as well, so we can pay for stuff in the vending machines. Because the upgrades we use for our raft folks, it's very expensive. Oh. I guess that's what happens when you want to build a, a bougie cruise line. Yep, the SS Degenerate slash Art of Italian slash whatever. <laughs> I have the paintball gun just arrived. Nice. Which model paintball gun is it, Tan? Oh, there's a broken glass. Perfect. All right, folks, we'll do some dangerous stunts. Okay, hug out the oh, side no. paper. Oh crap! Uh, hug the side wall. Hug the wall. Hug the wall. Okay, made it. <clears throat> Ooh, a very a rare chest full of loot. I don't need the recipe book because you have so much. Let's see. We don't need rope because we can make more easily. I don't need the recipe for the silver smoothie because we have like 10 of them. Let's see. Where's my wrap? There's my wrap. It takes bullet like an assault rifle. Nice. This is Arden. We're doing jackass. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I just fell up 20 time. stories. I fell up 15 stories of the floors. <laughs> Every time. Arden. <laughs> yeah. Every fucking time. <laughs> and this is why I suck at platforming. <laughs> you, you ever see me play? If this is how, huh? if this is how bad your game skills are, <laughs> I never want to see. I never want to hear you try to parkour. Yeah, actually, if you see me in some games like Dying Light, you probably know how bad I am. <laughs> if I ever get a message, okay, Arden, if I. I ever get a message sent from you mm -hmm. saying I am going to go do that? Parkour. Yes, I. Will. If I ever get a message from you saying, "Hey, I'm going to do parkour," I will know immediately that you have been kidnapped. Okay. <laughs> Good to know. Wow, I didn't know it was that bad. But okay. <laughs> But yeah, to be fair, I'm a very shitty ass platformer, folks. <laughs> this is why I never beat Mario, any of the Mario games, honestly. I love Mario. I mean, I can't beat any of them. That's how bad I am. Like, I can beat Dark Souls, <laughs> but I can't beat a Mario game. <laughs> but then the skill level is way different. <laughs> oh my god, we need more. I need to find and figure out how to deal with this, this battery issue with the petting zoo. We're gonna need 20 probably at this rate. <laughs> but yeah, Amber, are you still at work or what's your schedule look like at the moment? And Tan, for your thing, uh, what's, what are you doing with it? It's an orange cat? Uh, what the heck? Wait, this is, are you talking about GTA? I talk for real life now. I'm so confused. <laughs> Okay, quick. Oh my god, this is good. Yeah. Here's the restaurant, folks. Let me go put all my food in storage. Once I can, anyways. Here's a hot meal portion. Gourmet star meals. Raw meat. Bananas. Uh, let's see. Real life, okay. Just want to make sure. I was, I was a wee bit confused there. I was like, what the heck? Let's see, uh, I hope it's fine. Wow, so it came as, was it like a bonus toy or something, or what exactly, how did this transpired? Wait, 
Yeah. Where's where's the ship? I uh, still parked at the same place as last we checked, unless you quirky butt yourself somewhere and you can find it. I'm lost. Hi, loss. Hi. Well, this isn't good. Will, will Corgi find her way home? Find out next time on the, the episode of Wrapped. What? Are you- wait, wait, what, are, what kind of joke- are you making- what kind of joke are you making exactly, uh, Tan? <laughs> I'm sleepy, have a good night. Good night, honey! Not Much that. love, let me know if you need anything. Uh, I'm a little concerned with that statement partially there, Tan. What the heck? Uh, uh. I'm a wee bit concerned there. Arden, I'm back on the ship. No worries, I just read this chat. I'm saying, what the heck? So you're trying to tell me. Okay, let me just see if I'm understanding this correctly, Tan. Just to make sure, I apologize, folks in chat. You're trying to tell me you bought a AK, like a assault rifle paintball gun, and it came with a dead, real dead orange cat? Is that what you're trying to tell me? What? I'm trying to find me understand no. what telling me. I'm saying, what kind of joke is this? Are you trying to tell me? <laughs> what makes no sense? Where the heck did you buy this thing? <laughs> I'm a little shocked right now, Tan. That's what I'm trying to figure out. Where the heck did you buy this? <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, I'm a little concerned about- you might want to come publish chat with whoever the shipper is, because that's a little concerning. Yeah, it turns out, Corgi, it's not a joke, it's real. Are you fucking serious? Apparently so, if Tan's what Tan's telling me. eBay, what the? Okay, that makes no sense, honestly. I'm sure- I'm wondering how this custom even approved that. Like, for example, you try to ship that to Canada, the border to is probably question why there's a, a cat inside already, regardless of the whole gun, paintball gun thing. I'm a little confused right now, this is... What? Yeah, you might want to chat with the eBay person. $400? Uh, I don't know what to say. There would be an interesting remark I made about that, but I'm not going to say it right now so I can get in trouble. About where the shipper's from, but no. I'm a little shocked. Okay. Oh, yeah. Look. Yeah, if that's what if you're. Yeah, I guess talk to them, because that doesn't make any sense. Why do we have that in there? It makes no sense. Okay, so you need metal scraps, Corgi? Yeah. Yeah, look inside this box. I just opened. There's a bunch in there. Thank you. He's messaging you right now? Yeah, let's sort, it, sort that out. That's not good. Yeah, that makes that's a bit controversial in a way already with the fact that you're telling me. Okay, what am I trying to make now? Oh yeah, now I remember. I need to make uh Where where is it? Where is it? Found it! The electric grill for the barbecue thing that I'm making. I just need four scraps for this build. Let's see. Oh, he took the nail. He took the scraps. Okay, it's fine. Okay, did I get it? Yeah, I get it. Yeah, this is what I was telling you the other day, I'm not sure you've seen it. That's this past was this crack house, and you went in case you want some fresh crack. <laughs> wow. It's all sand. Yeah, he worked, he, worked, he worked on it a lot. Fresh sandy crack. It's, it's in the stash underneath his bed. Ah, uh, that's clever. Yeah. <laughs> Steve was more peeved over the fact why you rebuilt on his side of the raft, because I told him, I don't know, you sort out with fast fish. Besides, Corey wants a bit more of a sophisticated, classy raft, so obviously we're not going to have a crack house on our raft. <laughs> <laughs> We're not gonna agree to that. Nope. We have standards. It's called standards, folks. <laughs> <laughs> we have standards. Even though we have a brothel and all, but still we have standards. <laughs> okay, it is a classy brothel, okay? Yes, or bordello, I think is the correct term. Are we still waiting on Baron? Yeah. Let me see. He should be here any second now, theoretically. 
Uh, if, 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 if it gets too late for you, we can just do your songs first. I'll make Baron play, sing his own songs later. <laughs> yeah. Hey, man. Well, I'll fellas go up to the stage. <laughs> <laughs> I want to hunt Bruce first, but I'm gonna wait till morning. Yeah, it's really hard to fight in the dark. You have any? You have any metal scraps on you by any chance? Metal scraps, metal ingots. Scraps. I have one. Wow! What did you build? Holy shit! I told her I needed nails. You're telling me you used twenty-eight metal scraps to make nails? <laughs> Yeah. Holy fuck! What were you trying to nail? <laughs> I, I need a lot of nails, okay? Okay, guess you like nailing things, okay? Yep, I'm just I'm nailing. Well, fuck. Okay, well that's fine. We can leave this place unless we we unless we get a wood chuck chuck. There's we already got everything we need. The main stuff we need for this place, mostly. A wood a wood chuck chuck. Yeah, the main priority was getting the metal scraps, like the the ingots and like the titanium was my main focus here. The wood, I'm not as concerned yet, because I don't know what the hell I'm building up here yet. <laughs> so you're trying to see. He trying to tell you the cat was for you? Is what he trying to tell you now? I'm, I'm, I'm a little confused there. That uh, doesn't make sense. Yeah, because I'm hearing the story doesn't make no sense, Parsi. He's saying that the package, the delivery, the person who shipped it said... Your package hasn't arrived yet. Oh, I got notified. So I'm making confused that this boy playing a really sick joke, or that was his package and the guy's trying to get out, getting a refund, giving him a refund. <laughs> yeah, yeah that's not okay. Yeah, I'm telling you right now to go sort it out. That's not good. He needs to contact eBay and yeah. report him to eBay. Yeah. <laughs> that's why I was. That's my like, here, that's, that's that's a fucking lawsuit. Yeah, exactly. It's like one day, one day to order a gun on eBay, but the, what's with the cat? I I thought I thought it was like one of those new those those plastic toy Nico cats we have on our second floor. I thought it was one of those toy Nico cats. I didn't even meant a real one. <laughs> I got my refund. I got my package. Wait, what? How did the package turn around already that fast? That makes no sense. Are you trying to tell me, is that guy in the same city as you or something, Tan? Because you're telling me you got a refund array and you got your package. This instantaneous after during our conversation. That's a little unusual. That, I, I'm sorry, I, I yeah. don't believe that. Yeah, I'm questioning it right now. <laughs> uh, Amber, I'm asking, Poncho's asking about the fighting game for you, by the way. Huh. <clears throat> All right, folks. We, okay, this week, we okay. This regarding everything that's been happening at the moment, folks. Different topic here. Any plans Amber? for the weekend? Hello. Sorry. What's up, babe? You're good. Um, other than the campfire stream tomorrow. By the way, gotta Why tell you guys about this. All right, new topic, folks. Sorry, but I don't want to change the topic right Babe, now. it's it's turned off. I just saw the green light on it. No, I've got it blocked. Don't worry, they cannot see you. That's why I'm showing up. Punch. Oh yeah, we want to see John's good lookingness because we told him I tried to snatch a husband. All right. I think I'm gonna get a screen for his protection. Fair enough. Just change. Yeah, go to your break screen. What you want to call it? Or turn. Or just stick your camera down. <laughs> yeah. No, no one. I'm sorry, guys. My husband is taken. I know everyone, you know, wants a piece of him. I'm sorry, you gotta go through me. What's I don't price? make the rules. How much are you charging the rates? Because you don't know what you're charging. No, no more free samples. He has been giving <laughs> you free samples for too long. If he tells you it's a free sample, you report him to me so I can take care of you. Because <laughs> mom ain't playing. But anyways, um, no, but he, he is taken, and if you want a piece of him, it's going to be one million dollars per millisecond. 
For a millisecond, damn, Matt. Are you trying to, try to build a quirky mansion or something? What's the plan there? <laughs> it might be for a quirky mansion, it might be for world domination, I don't know. Or you have a mansion, I thought you were trying to build like one of those like mansion for the gods, except it's full of corgis. A bunch of corgis running around being corgis, being corgis, and goofy corgi, little corgis, you know. Happy corgi life. <laughs> Sleep. That's fair, you need to sleep after all. Go to sleep, it's okay. We love you all. I forgot to make me an axe. I'm scared of the zipline, oh god. That zipline terrifies me. I just realized I did not have to come down here to mm -hmm. no, what? build an axe. Why? <laughs> did you have to ask questions instead? <laughs> no, because I've been so used to playing uh, Hell World mm -hmm. um, that it, it's uh, been a thing. Mm -hmm. But anyways, I do apologize because I did get sidetracked. Hey guys, there is a wonderful Discord that you guys need to hang out with me, with friends, with Ardent. Make new friends, have fun. Uh, and this is the Campfire Discord. So the Campfire Discord is a big community where everyone has been like super wholesome and friendly since I joined there. Everyone is really down to earth. Everyone is caring about one another. It is a really awesome community, and I have really grown quite attached to it. Um, you guys definitely need to check them out. So if you want to click below on my name, next to my name, you should see that something that says More Scouts. If you click on that, that will take you to the page of who we are. S'more Scouts are a really awesome group of streamers who dedicate time to making sure that, you know, they build with their communities, that we have fun and that we have a goal that we're working towards. And the owner of it, Tofu, he is a wonderful person, Tofu uh, TV. Amazing streamer, amazing friend. I absolutely adore him and I really appreciate him for being welcoming when I came in there. And not only will you see all of us on there, see the wonderful streamers to go check out, um, you'll also see a link to the Discord. If you join that Discord, tell them Corgi sent you. And make sure to, you know, say hi, you know, get, get to know everyone in there. You can introduce yourself. There's an introduction page. Um, you know, you can assign roles to yourself, let them know what pronouns are, things like that. So, guys, go check us out. We're a really great community. We do have, like, weekly community nights as far as movies go. Uh, do musicals, do new movies that came out. Uh, just a community night every weekend to <coughs> make sure that we can include people with it. So yeah, come check us out. Make sure that you also check us out at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time tomorrow. We will be doing the Among Us Sus uh, game with all the S'more Scouts. And again, you can click on the link below to find out more about us. So yeah, guys, make sure to check us out, okay? I would appreciate it. My character is about to run out of water, just like I'm about to run out of water. Oh yeah, that means you have to hydrate. Hydrate comes in a little glass vial. A little glass vial! Yes, how much tokens do we have, actually? Okay, 33 tokens. Uh, is there anything you want to buy from the store, by the way? You need a piano for your platform? Um... Uh, I don't think I have room for a piano. Oh shit, good point. Uh, yeah, there's a lot of stuff in there, like... <clears throat> in the store, you can buy tons of stuff if you need anything. I've got a bathroom. Yep. You got a strip club. Strip um, room. got the bar. Look at this. See, this is our garden, folks. Look at this. We use honey cones to make biofuel, which we turn use. To okay. Power this, power this raft. I'm like relearning where everything is because it has been a hot minute since I played this game. True. You, I think. Oh, yeah, you're right. You weren't there for when Paranus. Swimming to Utopia. <coughs> Funniest thing ever. When did we, huh? What? When? When did we catch two Megalodons? 
Oh, oh yeah, backstory. So two three streams earlier, fast switch was I, I was basically trying to get the achievement for killing anglerfish, so I went back to the place where our megalodon is. The body's there, so I just figured I'd just harvest another one. Here's an interesting fact, Corgi. All the storyline locations there with the key, key bosses. If you kill the boss, the body will respawn every time you come back to that location, so you can get more. So for example, you want another mama bear's head? Go back to the bear island, uh, the bear island, and you get another mama bear head if you want. Oh my god, that's it's a, it's, it's a farming strategy. Amazing. So essentially, the reason I got a second of megalodon head was because ba basically Baron wanted one for his wrath. <laughs> so I just, I'm just holding it up there for now. But yeah, theoretically, every time we go back to that island, there'll be a new one. You have to go swim down and grab it. I didn't realize that the island, the storyline island stuff respawns. So it was a pretty useful trick so that you could basically have like 20 I of these. I like that. <laughs> That's really cool. And this is why I keep coming back to this place, Tango Rower, because it respawns a titanium in there. It respawns strawberries because I can't find anywhere else to find strawberries. And all these buildings have tokens for me because I was trying to figure out all this time. What if we went out of tokens? How could we afford to buy things from the vending machine? It respawns. So here in Utopia, there's gonna be tons of tokens, so you can get more. Ow. That's awesome! <clears throat> and also, if you, if you clear cut the whole forest in there, in there, it's gonna be 240 trees with log planks. <sighs> now the reason is so we I was actually trying to figure out I was having a problem I was trying to figure out how to get more more wood. That's what my that's why I came here. I was told that. Uh, basically, you can get tons of wood here, so I figured out the trick is travel between this island Utopia while at the same time growing trees inside our greenhouse, which will give us enough trees to basically cover our needs. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, because like I said, because the reason why is I told you that that whole strip mall thing, Corgi, that took almost like a thousand, fifteen hundred, like fifteen hundred wood just to build that thing. Jesus. And one way only gets you three hundred, like four hundred wood if it go each way. Like, this is including the growing the greenhouse combined with harvesting whatever's in there. It's only, it's only 400 wood. So you imagine how many times I had to run back and forth. And if you actually look at your feet, Corey, yes, yeah, not, not that part, but most of this raft, Corey, we've been upgrading the flooring too. I saw that! Yeah. That's well, part of the reason why it's expensive as hell. Like that, for example, bonk. See? Oh, snap. That's why I've been basically. This is the restaurant, so I obviously want to more build more fancy things here. Turn this into a five star dining ex establishment. Fancy. Yep. Petting zoo. Ah, correction, it's a hugging zoo. It's not a petting zoo, it's a hugging zoo. Hugging zoo. Oh, yeah, have you figured out? Yeah, have you found New yet? He's in there somewhere. <laughs> nope. I told you I had so much trouble okay. finding him. Can you, <laughs> can you give me. Like a hint, can you like narrow down which species he is? He's a turkey, but the problem why I said it's a pain to ask to find him is I only have one species of turkeys. And I think the turkey just annoy him. But they all have the same name, that's a chin kind, that's why I said it's so hard to find them. It's not like the other animals all have different colors, like you know, palettes and fur. Okay, um. It's a turkey, that's why I said it's a nightmare. Oh, yeah, we have 36 animals in here. Oh no. I can't even give you hints if I wanted to, because I don't know which turkey color it is, because they're all the same color. <laughs> it was actually a joke at New. He wanted to be, because he basically was making remarks that day, so I decided to get back at New that day, so I told him he'd be a turkey now. Found him! What? You found New already? Uh huh. What the hell? <laughs> How you found <laughs> yep, you found him. I didn't know you found <laughs> Well. All right, this what one. Do I, what did I win? Fuck! I, I, didn't think, I think I did not think of a prize. <laughs> uh, so, oh, can I can I add something to my throne list? Sure. Sweet. Hang on. I'll make it cheap. I'm not gonna give you Lalo because that one's too obvious. You already saw what Lalo looks like oh. on the other channel. Yeah, no, I don't want Lalo. No offense. I know. I'm here. We already know what he looks like, so it doesn't really help. I can't really hint it because. Because you already saw, I showed you the picture of what Leo looks like on the other channel. <laughs> um. Okay, add gift. Yes. Uh. Where from the future? Oh. 
Oh, by the way, the people mug that uh, you did get for me, thank you, by the way. The Pepe mug? Okay. Uh, my husband said he's gonna steal it. Oh, shit. Uh, I right. laughed. I was like, no! Okay. And did the other <laughs> thing show up? <laughs> I believe it was three things in the order. Well, no, he saw that, uh... I, I shared with a group, or mm. not shared with a group, I shared with him. Mm. I was like, babe, look! And he was like, I'm stealing it. I know, but what about the third item? I know I bought you three things. Or did the stickers not arrive, the Vocaloids? Yeah, that's what I did. Stickers, the Kit Kats. Yeah, did the stickers arrive? Not yet. Okay. I, I'll let you know when they do. Okay, good to know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was like, uh, what? <laughs> Why does John say I want the Miku sticker? Does, oh, by the way, does he even like Miku? I'm not sure he does. <laughs> he, he doesn't even know who Vocaloid is. Okay, never mind. Because <laughs> everyone wants Miku, that's why I'm like, uh, I don't know what to say. The, Ka the Kagamine twins were more like my style. No, the reason I said it because that was the most cliche one I could think of people make references to. Miku. Uh, yeah. The power is fine. Hang on, guys. Let me find something. We still- yeah, okay, we still have two, two, two nails, okay. Hmm. Uh, hang on. But yeah, coming up to the mall now. It looks pretty vibrant at night. Will do, give me one moment. I do know we have to go one to one of the big islands. We need, we need fridges, more fridges. For the restaurant, like the, not the, restaurant, the, the barbecue shack and the... Uh, the, what you call it? The, the tiki bar. Hmm, I wonder. I'm kind of curious about something. I'm kind of curious now. Let me just test something quickly. Hmm. Is there maybe is there a piece for this? Oh, we could leverage that. Okay, interesting. Oh, wow. Okay, we could do that. Holy shit. Okay, we need to quickly find the wood. Thatch whoop. No, we want thatch. <gasps> no way! Okay, I I just had a eureka moment, but just a second, be right back. I go jump, go find some leaves. Ow! <laughs> it was quicker. Me just oh. thought, of, me just thought of a very ingenious idea. That's also a fucking safety fire hazard. Oh, we had it. What do you have to do? <laughs> I was gonna add ramen. Ramen? Oh no, that's a different, different, different story. Okay. No, as I was about to say, what do you think my crazy ass idea I just had was about to be? Looking for a bit, watching football. Oh, wonderful! Uh, you have any nails left by any chance? Because that's awesome! Nails, uh, I do, but I need them. That's fine, I'm gonna go grab what's in the box left. Okay. Hello friends, hi Mr. Instagram, welcome on in! <laughs> I really, me. really want spicy ramen right now. The, the bulldog one or a different one? I was just talking about like oh, a stove top shin ramen. Oh, shin. Shin, okay. sorry. Like shin lim? Okay. Like same pronunciation, like shin lim? I just, I, I... I always wrote it as shin, like your your, your shin, like oh, that's the shin. part of your body. Okay, the shin. You kick me shin. Nah. Okay. Yep. Okay. Let me uh... <clears throat> uh, come to the strip mall. We have a chance. Let's show you my crazy ass idea. <laughs> Let's see what you think. I just tested it. It works. It's gonna be something realistically should not be done for real life. 
Mm -hmm. <coughs> so we're from the future. We're everything up now. I let me do it. Okay, hang on. Yeah. No more steak by ponchos, I don't blame ya. <laughs> okay. Huh. Hey Arnett. Yo. I yeah. am gonna be honest, I am starting to feel lose myself here. Wait, wait, seduce yourself? Lose myself here. Lose yourself like the like the song or what? As in my mind is uh <clears throat> very much not here. Shit. Fuck, is it because of that things or what? Mm-hmm. How much did you eat? I'm not sure how strong the dosage is, so I'm just guessing. Uh 125 milligram. I don't know not, how, how, how potent that stuff is. I'm not biochemist. <laughs> not super. Eh, okay. Let's see. Where are you on the where are you on my boat? Uh Are you even on the ship? That's been a question. I'm I'm on the ship. I'm up here in the uh area. The brothel or the strip mall? The club. Oh. Okay, I was like, wait a minute, I didn't see you at all, and I ran through the whole damn ship. But then I didn't go through the brothel, so. <laughs> Maybe I'm not just a career. And then I'm going to the park. Where the fuck are Huh? What? Oh, wow, you must be a really pro prop punk, because I can't see you at all. And I'm in the brothel. <laughs> not not there, the four above. Oh, the strip mall. Sorry, I said the strip mall. I heard the strip club. Okay. There you are. I right, found it. Okay. Hey, Corgi, that's going to be the barbecue shack. And tell me, this is going to be the stupidest, honest, funniest thing I, I just thought of. I discovered. These pieces of wall pieces, you can put roofing on them. I'm going to put that's life roofing. Funny. So, what can go wrong with a barbecue shack? <laughs> Fire! Yeah, it could be worse. You can put wood. <laughs> Take your pick. I'm thinking, I'm thinking about to use a, reefy, a leafy roof. What do you think? Do leave. Leaf will look better. Okay. That's because it's a tiki bar to the right. I just I like so still. Okay. I just thought it was something it's kind of ingeniously stupid. Like I said, realistically, you would not do this because you'll burn the whole place down. <laughs> just a second. Uh where are the pieces? Yeah, got it, got it. I don't blame you, Mr. Poncho. It's a very stressful experience. I you could be That looks really good. Yeah, surprisingly it is. Holy shit. Okay, I can't stick on that one because it's a lower tier one, but still. It looks kind of lovely, honestly. Regardless, you think about it. Ah, hostel. Ayyyyk! Ah, fuck! At least in Shrouder, I can build platforms to stand on! Eh, yeah, close enough. Uh, for now, let me just figure out here somehow. Ah, fuck! Okay. Yeah, because folks, the way I do it is basically we're leveraging against the wall, as you can see. Mm -hmm. Hmm, I'm kind of curious what other parts work. Nope. Okay, so that would spread outwards. Uh, nope. No, that looks weird as hell. No, that roofie looks weird. Oh, fucking hell. Is this a try? Well, damn. I'm trying- I don't know what the fuck I'm building is. I never figured out how to build proper concave pieces properly. <laughs> 
Okay, let me see if I can figure I don't know how to build concave. I don't know how to use them because I have a weird bad merchantation. So some of these pieces I don't know how to build properly and do them. <laughs> Leverage them. Okay, I guess that's too big. So I'll try this piece. Okay, yeah, that's a piece of the bus. That piece is no good either. Pyramid's too short. End cap wouldn't work for this thing. Okay, that's a massive piece, okay? That's a massive twist. That's a junction piece. Oh my god. Oh! Oh, I got it now! I remember what piece- uh, this one piece will work for this. Okay. I think this works. Come on! Ah, damn it! It won't work! <laughs> yeah, hallelujah! It worked! It died if you come hey. inside to the side. Look inside. Oh. Get up there, I guess. Hang on, I'll be, there. I'll be there in a moment. Just a second, yeah, I think I might figure out the hiccup solution for a solution for this predicament. Yeah, I managed to cover the whole inside of this corner. I was having problems with it. I found a triangle piece. Oh, too. I put that's cool. Out. Yeah, I put triangles out there. I put a little. I put a torch there when realistically, yeah, obviously, I was going to burn the place down. It was real. Because <laughs> video game logic. <laughs> I managed to find some use for this because, you know why? I don't have to spend as much wood. Because one of the biggest challenges here is trying to figure out how we're going to do this while bringing up too much wood. So I'm actually happy right, yeah. that we're able to leverage it so we don't use as much wood as we need to normally. Except for that one. If I did a solid piece of wood, it's going to be six pieces of wood. If I did leaves, like a thatch roof, I want two wood and five leaves. Like three leaves. And the funny thing with us is we have a stupid pile of leaves we have no use for. Like an extremely massive Damn. pile. Like, I honestly, I don't know what we're supposed to do with them. That's how much leaves we have. <gasps> well, oh, damn. I think I got an idea. Let's see. Hmm, would this work? Oh, it's long. Okay, let's see. Would this work? Yes, okay. But yeah, this is the barbecue shack. <laughs> so when, then I love to, it. The reason why I was asking for the metal scrap earlier, Corey, is I want to build the electric grill. Okay. <laughs> that was the reason behind it, but that's fine, though. I can find more more of it easily, so I'm not too overly concerned. Let's see. Now I just need to figure out... Oh, wait, is this, can I use this end cap piece? Let me see quickly. Uh, come on, corner. Okay. Hey guys, I'm sorry I'm gonna have to call it. Oh shit, damn it, Corgi, you at least sing as long for us, for the viewers. Before you sure. run out sure. the door. Before I run out the door like Cinderella at the stroke of midnight? Yeah, please don't. Please sing before you do that. Yay, I got the roofing done. It's called concert scene, people are here to hear you sing. <laughs> Unless you want to sound that thing and sing on the stage that I built for you. Okay. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Oh, I'm on my way. I'll do this properly. <laughs> Whoosh. You have opened the curtain, okay. <laughs> Whoosh magic. <laughs> I get Whoosh magic. Curtain opens behind me. Abracadabra. Magic. Magic. Uh, sing whatever you want. Before I suggest something too degenerate. <laughs> or new might suggest something because he's, you know, new. <laughs> Oh, I know what I can sing. Hang on, let me pull up the lyrics really quick. Sure, definitely. <laughs> also, I did add something to my uh, <laughs> my phone wish list. I added blueberry pop tarts. Did Grim just join your stream, Corgi? I think so. Yeah, you might kiss you. I'm not sure. I can tell. I can't see chat logs on your end, that's why I couldn't tell. Like, chat log time. Okay. Alright, everyone. This is for you before I hop off. I'm, I will not have music for this, unfortunately, and I do apologize about that. But this will be done a cappella, if that's okay. 
Fine for me, because I don't want to. I don't want to get copyrighted. <laughs> okay. Oh. I gotta get what? I gotta find where the hell I thought these were the right ones. Wait, I think this is it. Okay. Yes. If you've ever wondered why Disney tells all and in love, here's what happened after all her dreams came true. The prince was absolutely the only single wish my heart made. Guess my wish came true. But we never really talked much before he discovered my shoe. The night after we got married, I recounted all of my plights of how I fit inside a pumpkin. My canines turned to coachman. Prince threw me in bedlam. That night, the white jackets say I'm naughty because my clothes are sewn by rats. But their pills turn my brain to potty. Now, Lucifer's not just my cat. Shark therapies made me insane. Or their insulin puts me under. Shark therapies made me insane. And after years of steady frying, the doctors gave up trying. They stuck two steel rods in my brain. I'll be surprised. I didn't think you were doing the Cinderella one, but good reference though. <laughs> <laughs> I know the song you were singing. I just like you thought, I didn't know. I was just talking about singing a relative few minutes ago, and I didn't think you were gonna pick that one of all. I thought you were gonna sing the aerial one, but okay. <laughs> it's um, after ever after. With paint, by uh, paint. song two by John Cozart by Paint. Yeah, I thought I knew you were singing immediately, but I was thinking you could do the aerial <laughs> one instead. Even though it's not really global warming here much, like. <laughs> I mean, I could have, but I felt this one was a little more appropriate. <laughs> Fair. <laughs> here, here, I'm gonna. Actually, I put my nails in the containers <coughs> downstairs. Okay. So that way, uh, you don't have to worry about. Uh, you don't. Have to, I've. They're in the container downstairs. Which one? That one we came from, or which one? The. Uh, one in the weapon, the uh, tool area, storage yeah. shed. <clears throat> Definitely. Okay, thanks, Corey, uh, for that. Uh, are you going yeah. to raid out, or what's your plans now? Yeah. I'm going to raid out. Okay. Thanks, Corey. Okay, I'll take a look for the nails, but yeah. Uh, I'll ping you in a second, but yeah. Just do your raid yeah, out thing. I'll, I'll ping you. Yeah, I'll ping you separately, but I'll let you just raid out first. Alright, bye! See you, Corey. Uh, what the heck? Uh, just one second, folks. I'm dealing with some heck of issues. Baron, what the heck are you? Dang, I'm, just, I'm starting to think I need different scheduling for streams at this point. The most of the singing crew can show up. Oh, and I'm out of water. <clears throat> but yeah, for those that have seen this before, let me show you. Let's see, let me just take a look at this doohickey. Oh yeah, by the way, folks, this is a cool thing about this. 
We can cook gourmet recipes like this. I'm cooking vegetable stew. You know, we used to put this in the box. I'm very, I'm very, I have this weird habit. I like to basically store all my cooked meals in a separate box essentially. So we want to mix it with all the raw meats and stuff because, you know, we don't want to feed people raw junk and stuff. We want to keep it like gourmet, delicious, and make it yummy. So we kept it separate, as you can see. I have a whole fridge full of cooked meals. In addition to the fact that we also have another room full of... What's the word? Yeah, see so we have room full of cooked meals here. This is one more cooked meal, but we also have some five-star gourmet dishes. We give you special power-ups. These are cooked meats, fruits for recipes, cooked potatoes, cooked beef, because we have so many. Wait, that's cooked meat? Uh, let's see, what do we can stick it in? Yep. Cooked piece of meat. We store it in this fridge, which apparently runs on some magical power called Game Logic. <laughs> and we never have to worry about food problems. Look at this. See, we're full of food. Look at this. A whole fridge full of raw meat. Fridge full of fruits. More fruits. Oh my god, she left all the nails in here! <laughs> okay, thank you, Corgi. Now I can build, now I can build the next thing properly. As we see this, we are going building, building things all the way. We are building things up as we go. First thing. Yeah, and I also built this room on perfect size. I'm a dickhead. This is supposed to be the acid trip stairway. Look at this. It's very loopy. Makes you very loopy. You turn around the corner. Boom, there's a shark looking at you. So if you're terrified of sharks, you do not want to go in this room. Oh my god, this took Where you went off to? Room's channel. What the heck? Okay, I'm gonna get that part. Okay, so that's the restaurant, sorry. <clears throat> okay, since Corky used up most of the nails, so we, the metal scraps to make nails, <clears throat> I can only do some limitation with this. I can't build certain things now because of the limitation, but it's fine. This is a tiki bar, but what we can still build, we, what we can still, however, do is build this sort of stuff. Yeah, we can't build, like, maybe, like, use the metal scraps to build myself in a fridge and stuff, which we can get more metal scraps later. But we can do in the meantime is do this. It's not much, but still something. Okay, whatever. So, I guess Corgi's singing on the stage. Yeah, it's probably we can't sing at night when it's vibrant. I'm gonna build something here. I don't know what yet. 
I know I'm building a toy store around here, and there's gonna be a painting museum here. <clears throat> Interesting. Let's move the guard. Let's see. Hmm. I'm not sure how to put the signs though. Oh wait, I can build signs. I forgot about that. I could technically build the signs though. Let me just see. Where's the pieces? Where's the signboard? And oh yeah, we have a we have a. <gasps> Ooh, I just thought something very devious. Oh yeah, we can build a fish market. You know how? We just build a bunch of trophy cake. Okay, I just thought something very cheeky. I can build a fish market because you know how you do this? You basically take those trophy boards, you stick the fish on them, and more mount them, and so that's your quote unquote product. I'm excited. I thought that's a good idea. I feel so fucking smart. It's an accomplishment. That's a second. Let me view something really quickly. Just a second, folks. I need to catch something.
take this one second. Okay, we're back temporarily. Yeah, this is what I want to do. I'm, trying, I'm probably gonna do is change the tiki, make the tiki bar a little bit more, a little homey or earthy like. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get some nails, more leaves, and just build this up like, build the roofing like this. Like Squidward's tiki land. Ah, my leg. That's what I probably do just for the build. Not the greatest idea, but I think it's a decent ass idea, period. <clears throat> Make up these. Jesus Christ, I still don't know why we need so much nails. But hey, I can build, build, I can build a crap ton of tables now. <laughs> Oh my god, let's see. <laughs> hmm, let's take a look and see. E e what shall we build up night now? Oh yeah. Hmm, I could just build a window style like the other one. Right now it's too open right now. Maybe I could potentially leverage something. Let's see. Uh no, I only a half wall, I only a full wall. Wait, I got better. Use the window. Oh wait, god damn it, that's there's no leafy window options. Crap. <clears throat> damn it. Cut uh, hmm. Because of the way it's designed. The bot disconnected? What the Oh crap, my YouTube's down, I think. Look, it's not. Oh my god, for a second there, I thought I lost my internet signal. Never mind. Let's see if it works. <clears throat> yeah, hopefully the chat's still working now because it could disconnect for a second there, folks. I could just build this wooden one in the front. Hmm. Oh, wait! I got it! Fuck, that's ugly. But it's also because we need to do the. You know what? Fuck, I just do all in. This is what we'll do. We'll build that in the front like that, but the roof will be leafy. Do we have a flat roof often? Nope. Yeah, we knew it. It worked. The logic works. Let me think. Hmm, they go up to this point. Interesting, I could leverage this point if I wanted to. Okay. Interesting. 
But then the problem is if I do that, the roofing on the second floor will be smaller. Hmm. I do want a viewing area though, so people can take a look from there, see? Yeah, I think I got it. I think what I'll do is, okay. I'll make it depending on the area. It'll be different size roofing because the challenge is if I go to this fourth area, like the top line right there, look how short the roof is. <laughs> Everybody's going to be walking, getting concussions, bonking their heads on the light strobes. So I think I'll just build it, like, <clears throat> depending on each area, we'll build differently. I think that's what I'll do, just to go with it. So for this... This. There. See? And then what we could do essentially is then we just stick a bar, like a piece of like, I don't know, one of these two hickeys in between. Like that. And then we just go back and build another one. God, I feel like a genius now. Doesn't matter which one we build anyway, so I choose the higher quality one. There, problem solved. I present the Tiki Shack bar. Wait, that we last piece of wood there. I don't know what to fucking say. Hmm. Oh well. Fuck. Yeah, next time I just break the top. Close. Okay, looks visually better, but god damn, it cost me the piece of the wood up there. But hey, look at this! Yippee! That is the tiki bar. Let's put the tiki down. Right down, right here. Take a look, voila! Cop right up to the tiki bar, get your drinks. There'll be some boxes here for the fridge right here, probably, to get the fresh fruits. Work on here, this guy's where the staff will work. And then basically we'll turn that into another fancier part of the mall. Oh my god, what the hell is going on? Is here right now? See, that's the tiki shack. This is the barbecue shack. You know, it's a built. Let me get the signs built while I'm here. 
Can I stick the hang of the signs up here? That's the question. Damn it, it won't let me build the signs up there. Okay. Tiki bar. Huh. Oh, well, you know it worked. Barbecue shack. Need some chairs. <laughs> Put some chairs around there. This will be the art mu This will be the toy store. We'll build a little toy store here, like a little slightly raised platform. Goes up into a little toy store. We at the toy store. Let's see. Yeah, make a weed look the toy store. We'll build some raised platforms. That's part of my vision. Won't be much, it'll be just a small store. Just let me move these paintings out of the way. Yeah, sorry folks for those coming with a sign. Corey unfortunately passed out. <laughs> so unfortunately, we are out of singers. Until Baron shows up to sing about the mice in the taco stand. Three mice living on a stand. One name called, the other's name Frank. <laughs> and my pets are starving again. <laughs> Put these in because I'm lazy to go do the other task. I could just chop the wood down, get more wood, but we still have wood down there. <coughs> I just realized something. Did Corky take all the axes? Okay, we still have two axes, so we're good. So, this is the next turn building. I'm gonna build a wee little, a little toy door. So, we need to use more fridge. We'll go to another island to get them. We're not worried about those. I have, I have the money for it. So what I'm building next here, this is a uh, this is a toy store, essentially. Toy for the children to see. Nope, that's a way that's a window. Nope, it's ugly. Welcome to I don't fucking know yet toy store. Bernie bots, turkey tarks, I don't fucking know. I think I'll do a half wall. The two ones the tall one's too big. One's name Carl, the other's name Frank. Wait, let's, let's just check one quickly. Six. Three, okay, so it's not. Fuck. Okay, let's go up here to the little toy store. We'll build like a sh couple sh We'll have a little desk here and some little toys on the walls. It's not much. It's gonna be a, to a very t small toy store because like honestly, there's not we don't have to make toys to begin with. Oh, I guess put the table. Oh wait, I got an idea. We have an excuse to use all those damn tables I have downstairs now. The ones I gave I dumped the fatris the ones the fatrich didn't take, the restaurant. Yippee! I feel like a genius! I save resources, folks! Remember, just like in the wartime, we must reuse what we can to save we own resources because this stuff is expensive. Especially metal. The fact I managed to find a whole reservoir of titanium is a hallelujah. Do you have any eggs for me? A 
Oh wait, faster should take all of them, okay. That's the raise thing. See folks, we're gonna take all this and make it into a toy store. We finally found a use for them. By the way, in case you want to know how to get these, you need to go fishing. Major Tom and the t Major Tom's Toys. I might just call it Major Tom Tom's Toy Store at this point. <laughs> if I need more wood, let's go in there and chop some wood. Welcome to something's toy store. <clears throat> we could build those small tables here. One thing we haven't done, also, is we haven't painted anything up yet. We still got, you know. Let me just think should I build a toy? Yeah, that shelf wouldn't fit our design for this case. I think I'm gonna need some clay. Which is easy to get. We have tons of clay because we cook food and such. Oh shit, I almost misspilled shit. <clears throat> well, I guess Corgi wants to turn the six up the eighth floor, which is supposed to be the bedroom floor into a hugging zoo now at this point. Hey, that means we have more room for the bow for the bow refinery, so make more gas, but still damn. <laughs> hmm, let me just see. Oh, name. This is the thing I don't like about this, is that it doesn't tell me how it's gonna look. So I just play pray to God that it turns out well. That's all I can do really. Major Tom in the front. Welcome to the toy store. The person will sit here and sell shit. Take a look at all these wonderful toys we have. I think this will be a good setup. There. We just built this walls up and it should work, honestly. Just 
welcome to me. I'm gonna call it Toy Store. Okay. <clears throat> I'm gonna go check the vending machine. Maybe there's some tokens in there or something we can build with that. But hey, my God, this looks amazing. Look at this. We built a toy store. We just need more lighting in here. That's about it, really. That's our challenge. Lighting. We built that out there. Congratulations, Poncho. How did you, what did you do? Oh, you did it? Oh. What did you do then, Mr. Bun? What did you do to Mr. Bonchu? Tell us, what did you do? What did you do? What did you do? Bummer, I thought you could use that trick. Oh, well, I guess I'm wrong then, oh well. Oh wait, that's the wrong way, fuck. Whew. Okay, let's continue. <clears throat> that's it, I was just going to go, oh, no, worry about that later. I don't just put these as a gag somewhere. Also, I need safe space. <laughs> uh, stand guard right here and scare them. Once I draw a bridge, I'm just gonna cut kicks. Okay. Wait, I thought the rules you had to get killed by a higher, like a lower level elo hunter. Well, that's part of the condition as well, Poncho. Or am I mixing it up with something else? 
Because from my understanding, I thought you could lose to a scrub, like lose to somebody weaker than you, in order for it to count. The reason I haven't cooked all the raw meat yet is because I want to see what else I cook in here. Like maybe some fish stew, maybe. More coconut chicken curry. Maybe some puffer fish curry. I don't know. No, I haven't figured it out fully. Really? So Psycho like Ghost of Strat doesn't work anymore. Okay. Because I was told he basically goes in there and just drops a couple of grenades on himself just to de rank himself. That's what I was told. Guess I was wrong then. Well, must be a, this is a new workaround security control to it. Okay, oh, the, oh, all right, all right, so Survivor doesn't have a uh, ELO restriction, so it could be anything. Good point. Okay, let me check someone quickly. Oh yeah, I forgot, because it's brighter now. Let's go upstairs. We go break my raptors, though. Acid trip stairway. See, it looks dark in here, but eventually it will be brighter once everything is built fully. Probably gonna make another set of walls up here, then make a roof. Just make a flat roof, honestly. That's what I'm gonna do. Can I make a flat roof? Let's take a look. I'm not gonna do that. Just for comedy value, but wait, I want to check something quickly. Can I make a flat roof though, with, or a quarter wooden floor? We can. This will be a toy store, so I'm just doing basic roofing. Just keeping it simple, honestly. A small toy store, because not a much merch. Yeah, see? Look how vibrant this is. <laughs> I don't believe how much tokens I spent just to get on that damn, that damn portion. But once this is all done, I was like, oh my god, it's beautiful. <gasps> then, the, of course, a Corgi, she wants that. This whole thing up here. This whole floor. If disregard all the detailed planks. This will become a hugging zoo, so we catch crap ton of animals. Then the floor above that would be where the sleeping room is, arrangements are. <gasps> Ow, my leg! I broke me leg! <laughs>
<laughs> okay, sorry, I'm back. Let's see, where are we now? This. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? <laughs> Alright, so business. Back into the realm. Let's see. Uh, <clears throat> first, go get myself me eggs. Go back in there, be an apartment raid. Because I know Corey didn't clear out every apartment. I know there's still some goodies left in there. Sell the Utopia for our fresh shipment of shovels. Or just, I just wanted the seven seeds like a blundering idiot. Doesn't matter. A blittering idiot, but because regardless of the outcome, we need what we need now here, folks, is we don't have enough metal scrap. That's the first all problem. Second problem, we need a fridge because we need more fridges because we can't maintain the because right now all the fridges we have are full and we need something for the barbecue shack. And we also need a fridge for those juice bar, tiki bar, the bar, bar bars, and the bars of the bars. You know, we need more for every freaking bar possible. Let's see, about two axes, which will cover the wood chopping there. Ah, oh, crap! Also, your camp. Also, if you're a campfire member, don't forget to say hi in chat as long as I know you're there. Okay, let's take a look for to for basically what we're doing now is looking for tokens in here. Tokens to basically pay for the bank machine. Also, we open these cabinets because if our Jesus blesses us, there's gonna be stuff in here. I don't think there is, but we'll check anyways. Check the bathroom because they usually hide a token or some random location. Hmm. I'll come back here for more titanium later. Because they respawn after all, so we know that they respawn consistently at this point, so that's a win. Why do I feel like Corgi's already been here? Nope, she's not. I'll just shoot grab those. And sometimes when you go in here, you find these metal arrows and stuff that basically is a bonus, so you basically don't have to like acquire as much. It's not much, but it's a few small scraps here and there, but it does help you because it adds up. You think about it. Pancho, you still there? How's your country base? Oh yeah, basically, if I went to Perrin. Dream eyes sitting on the bed. Oh, I found it. See, I found the safe. See, I knew there's something Corgi didn't catch. The first name's Carl, the second name's Frank. I can't sing like Baron. I don't have to type the. I don't have the same voice as Baron, so it's obviously hard I can't sing as him. <laughs> okay, let's see. Where's this gonna take me? Nope, nope, don't let me fall there. <laughs> I 
<laughs> no, you're still awake or something? Come check out. Baron's gonna start seeing later. <gasps> to check, to check the box. Found it. The supply box I needed. There's some scraps in there. Two scraps! Hallelujah! We finally got some, some scraps! You know how hard it is to find scraps in this game sometimes. It's, we have a scrap. That's why I tell people we have a scrap deficiency. Ow, 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 my leg. <laughs> this is our vile gamer. We're doing human jackass who are stupid. Oh my god, there's a fucking that box behind me. Oh, la di da di da di da I'm gonna dark soul this shit. Because he basically, as you can see, he has to say still to stun lock me, anyways. Or stun me. So I just do this. Don't forget, folks, in case you didn't know, I beat Dark Souls Remastered and I kicked everybody's ass, almost every boss in there's ass on the first try, so... I'm not obviously a shit tier player. <laughs> and I use it. Ow, ow! I use a- I use a giant-ass sword. And when you're there, just ping me or something. Ah! Chop some wood! I just want to chop- Hey, I just want some wood! What's wrong with some- What's wrong with me helping you clear your morning wood? Oh shit, I just, I just, I just, I just, Oh my god. Ah, you gotta get me now. Eat my dick. Ah, uh, yes. Oh my fucking god. Holy shit. Well, folks, the next thing our Baron Von Payne will be on shortly once he finished throwing his fish in the salmon in the fryer. Man, never actually come to think of it. I never actually had deep fried salmon. I don't think so. I don't think I ever did. Come to think of it. I don't really care much about the leaves as much, but I need to work more. Let's see, metal scraps here? Nope. Metal scraps here? Nope, just hot meals and a random mass thing. Plants, plants, paintings. So just bear with me folks, once Baron comes out, I'm mean, hoping him to sing a song at least. He's not starving first. <laughs> oh yeah, we're in here. We should check this tower. There's usually some scraps up there. I forgot about that. Three mice sitting on a bench. Oh, guess Corgi cleared it. Oh yeah, we have a piano, then there's Brapadello, Brafo. Huh, who would have thought we're outside this whole time? Do you know what I love about this? I can see everything now. I can decide where I want to jump down later. Done. <laughs> Actually. Oh, the polls are changing. Wait, Corgi's still in the lead, though. Hey, Ice Boy Charles is going. Hope you had a good sleep since we last talked. Oh, yeah, dinner's Galpy B, if I remembered. Crap. How's it going?
You mean back in the overclock? Oh, you mean oh, you mean Deep Rock? Is that what you mean? Is that what you mean? You talking about Deep Rock? Is that what you mean, Deep Rock? Wait, is your character promoted already, uh, Ice Butcher? You have a fully promoted dwarf to open the right to even earn overclock? I'm a little confused. It's Iron Jesus. There's so many overclocks now, Ice Butcher. And then once Season 5 comes out, there's going to be more overclocks that get added to the randomizer. So it'll make things harder to know for sure. Jeez, how much were you playing since you got the game a few days ago? Holy smokes. <laughs> Jeez, okay. Guess you could play with the big kids now. Okay. <laughs> Damn, that's a lot. But congrats though, you made it that far. Just a second, I'm gonna stop here for safety spot, be right back. BRB, folks, give me one moment.
Sorry, I'm back, folks. <clears throat> oh, and the PS5. Okay, I was confused. I you say you're farming on the PC. I was like, what? I thought you meant the PC this whole time. That's why I was so confused. All right, folks. I also need you to, I got exciting updates. I want to take care of it now before I forget. So for those who knows, first off, I'm already in the YouTube partner program. And now we're ready to launch channel memberships, cause I'm excited. <laughs> cause we got the goods. <laughs> Just a second, folks, while we're taking care of some stuff.
Sorry folks, this is a very important bureaucratic kind of thing I'm taking care of behind the scenes, so just bear with me.
second. Hmm. Sorry folks, just bear with me. I just need to care. This is very important. Hmm. Kind of weird how you don't have water you start coughing. Ah, uh, bear? Okay, no, bear's not bad. <clears throat> I read loyalty back next to your name, custom emoji. Ha <laughs> 
See Daisy. <laughs> I wonder if Baron got caught up eating fried making his fried salmon so much if he got about me. <laughs> oh well. Her from the beach. Additional communicate night for tier two.
All right, folks, just bear with me. <clears throat> you know what I'll do with this? Let me just check quickly. Hey, I'm nowhere close to it. I was hoping it'd fall back. You're supposed to be here to help you sing.
Just a second, I almost done. <clears throat> Very sorry about this, folks. Some events are forcing me to do it today. Just a second. Don't worry, this game is set, so I don't have to worry about dying. I'm losing my stuff, just a second.
Yeah, it's official now. Folks, we have now channel memberships live on YouTube. So if you want to join as a channel member, we are good to go now. Anyways, we're good to go, folks. It's show bits. We are perfectly good to go. Thank you so much for waiting. Back to the regular programming now. Just one moment, uh, sh please. Uh, we're gonna just get some water. Okay, let's take care of business. Sorry. Well, okay, I took care of business now, but then we go back to playing Wrath. So, as a quick reminder, I basically launched a channel membership program now. So, whoopee! We finally have channel membership perks. I'm so excited to share. So, basically, the panel membership perks, same like the panel, the tier you get, we give you different perks aside from the, like, the usual emotes and stuff. You also get the opportunity to use other stuff. Like, for example, let me see. ironic because even though I owned like this is my thing and all it still doesn't let me use emotes <laughs> weirdly enough I don't think I would thought they let me
All right, let's go. <clears throat> I'll take care of the other stuff earlier. Baron shows up. Okay, let's see, uh, I need an axe first, okay. I need three of those. Hmm. Oh, I got it here. Someone's going to tell me if I'm running I have a weird feeling someone's going to ask me if this is secretly a, a creepy house or something. I'm going to say this. No. It's just a creepy toy door. Hmm, I could just build it. I'm so excited news, I finally paid things to my head mod, we managed to figure out why my streams were not at high enough graphics. <laughs> yeah, holy smokes. Haha! Wait, I killed Brucey, okay! I just I'm not I don't know really use him a shitty in this context, but you be.
Oh, good. He needs to bot me. This wood should be more than enough to pay for the store roof, anyways. He didn't see me. Phew. Yeah, the thing about the reason I don't fight these bots because after a period they're just gonna revive themselves. So all really all it does is just put me at risk. Because I waste my damn durability just to fight them, and then they wake wake up later anyway. So what's the point? Honestly, what is the point? So I rather just sneak by them and avoid the fight as much as I can. It's not that I can't fight them; I can kick their ass easily. Main lines, sitting on the bench. <clears throat> Fifty one pieces of wood. Oh, what the heck is that? Where is wait, where am I? Where am I? It's a better question. I need to find my way back. God damn it. There's our ship. I don't know what the hell we're doing somewhat. <laughs> What the fucky Brucey is right back? Oh my god. Oh, perfect. Uh, the clock yours. Oh yeah, eventually we're gonna paint everything else up too because we want it to be pretty, pretty, pretty. We just haven't got around to painting it yet.
the hell? Let me think. Hmm. I could build those side pieces, but then what would they do? What's the value? What's the what's the meaning? If I were to put these in. <clears throat> Let's see, they got those pieces up there, okay. Now what now? Hmm. What can we do is the question. Fuck, let's do this. I don't know what the fuck I'm building at this point, but oh well. Okay, triangle piece. Reverse triangle piece. Oh my god, they're in position. Oh fuck, it won't let me. Man, yeah, close enough. We'll just take a lantern there or something. Uh, let's go. But yeah, we're still having the time. Yeah, we're gonna wrap all night. All these leaves in there so much. Sorry, comrade leaf. Oh, sorry, Max, the leaf drop. Okay. I forgot there was more wood down here. <coughs> Silly Billy me, there's more wood down here. <laughs> Oops, not that one, the shark. Keep the shark head on me. Okay, we got that covered. Okay, with this extra wood, now I get built the proper roofing. Or more roofing, probably, honestly. 
Yeah, I don't mean, I'll be honest with you, I don't know what the fuck I was building. <laughs> we're just gonna go, we're just gonna roll with it, folks. I literally, I honestly don't know what I was building, I'm not joking. I'm just building whatever the fuck I build like it. Hmm. Well, the hard part is now trying to get on the damn roof so do the fixing. Hmm. Wait. Does that up there? Can I reverse it? Hmm, nope. Fuck! There is better. I need a little decent looking toy store. Go in here, the cashier will be over here. Let's me build something for the cashier. Maybe a small table or something, just take a look. The lovely gentleman person will sit here and they'll <clears throat> check out the goods, look at the goods and such. We'll have a little table. Perfect. Get some lighting in here once I get more mouse scraps. This will be an art gallery area. Mm, might build up all the way to the top. I might build it to the top and call Welcome to the, the, the Crap Ass House of Art. I can do that or it's an art museum or I can just wall plaster it everywhere. I'm just not figure that out yet. That's what we're doing there. This is Corgi's Brothel. You know what? Since I have the cure equipment right now, I'm gonna go paint the toy store. Oh, wait, I'll let Baron come. When Baron shows up, I'll ask Baron to help me build paint. I'll let him decide how he wants to paint the toy store though. Yeah, honestly, all that's left now for me to really do is just go apart and raiding some more. Get the last few pieces of scraps and material here. And then we'll head off to another island. We'll just go, we'll just go random island hopping. I'm not going to go target a certain island or a certain location. <clears throat> we just randomly explore the realm. And find a place to dump our asses. Look at this, we have enough money here, we can buy more fridges easily. So I'm not worried about stuff like that too much. Got my gear. All right, time to go apart and raiding. Let's see what other delicious oddities and shit we find.
The reason I didn't really upgrade the front of the nose of the ship is because I don't know how what kind of design we're going with. This was just a temp design. Ah, shit, 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 shit. I need to get out of the water before I invite Varen in. Oh, shit. Ah, my little bit might be waiting in apartments in the dark. Ooh, tokens! Two more scoops of scrap. Beautiful. Oh, shit! I keep forgetting his foreheads. More scraps. Beautiful. No, he's been here yet. Perfect. We need the plastic. I know Bear needs it for his wrap, anyways. <laughs> Wait, was this where I parked her from? I missed that. Huh? But yeah, I think my scraps. I got five pieces. That can help out. I think I may have just enough just to make what you call it an oven. Ow, fuck. <laughs> I 
See, this is why I can't play jazz. That's why you can't do human jackass. I did clear it out. Okay, I'm heading back. Let's see, I'll go build that barbecue thing. We only need four. Four pieces of plank, six ingots, two titanium. <clears throat> I could theoretically have used those six scraps to build myself now a lantern, but I'm like, nah. So yeah, just bring this barbecue grill up here. I'll show you what we are doing. See, there's your mall. There's our <coughs> toy store. Which nope, that's a toy store. Nope, don't put anything stupid there. Let's go there. Here's that. Let's get some batteries. What do we mean to make batteries? Okay. <coughs> don't have no scrap to make batteries, so we can't do that. That's fine. We're gonna put two electric grill here in the fridge. This will be the barbecue shack. The reason I can I put it back here is because I want people to like say you're going up to go buy food. You want to see the delicious food on there. You don't want to see well nothing. <laughs> but realistically, folks, don't do this for real, because you probably burn your house down. Because look at this. Look at this, this isn't wonderful. But yeah, we're gonna start sailing now. I'm just gonna go grab, get to the steering wheel. There's a big island way back there, okay. We're gonna hard reverse back, then we'll spin this baby around, and then we'll go start driving to that other island. If it's a big island, like the map shows, what this tells me is that it's gonna be a rest, there's gonna be a, a, one of those, those shacks in there, those trade shacks there. Which then will allow me, I can basically use the opportunity to... Okay, not the egg, but... We utilize that opportunity to... Essentially, acquire more resources. Mainly fridges, I need... I need like a crap ton of fridges, probably four. One for the restaurant, one for the bar, one for the fish market. <laughs> Just for roleplay purposes, and another one I don't know where yet. Hard to starboard! Hope the god bear doesn't decide to jump off the raft, go to the dome, because I'm not picking him up that way. I'll put that into position there. Let's take a look at the map. Oh, there are some goods in the water. Okay, but yeah, I might just stop at that thing just in case there's any titanium left over in there. 
I still don't know what we need not to put at C4. <laughs> Just a second. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Crap, it's it's a baron. Yep, it's baron. Just a second, folks. I need to get the safe day. <clears throat> Ooh, got metal scrap. And you can all do that that the don't meet thing I think I roll off. I don't I don't feel like fighting having an archer duel with a shark. There's a ladder. The ladder of safety. Dang, Baron. There was nothing I wanted to store, so I'm looking around. <clears throat> Theoretically, it should be a safe or a briefcase around here somewhere. Let's hit despawn. There it is. The most important thing is the titanium. Oh, you there! Get me out of this thing! You're already up there. Thanks. Next time, I would appreciate a heads up before launching. I tried to leave when the first shots were fired. Kangaroa was doomed from the start. If you get me a ride out of here, I can offer you entrepreneurial consulting. I still don't know what the fuck is supposed to do that. In my youth. <laughs> what is entrepreneurial consulting going to do with? Negotiate a discount at the thing? Wonderful. You can count on me. Imagine if they have perks or something like that. Oh, safe. Imagine if they have some perks, I like say, I don't know, hypothetically. You have a linear group, you get a discount at the supply store. Well, he will give you a discount on like building stuff, while the first two are nothing special. Like, one's better crafter, one is better weapons or something like that. Like, Johnny has better weapon fighting, like, less weapon reduction or that other scout, basically. Yeah, you know what I mean? Imagine if they have those perks. It'd be kind of cool to say some of these characters have certain perks. Like, I get a discount, I go to the stores of your lane, so it's cheaper. That'd be kind of cool, though, if, I, if they let, give us the option like that. Guys, to go loading to the raft.
Hey, Baron. Baron? Here we go. Oh, there you are. I was about to say, what happened to audio? <laughs> How's it going, Mr. Baron? Oh, it's going good. It's going good. You didn't miss Did... too much earlier. <laughs> well, that's good. I see that we're, um, there's like some giant dome here. Oh. Yeah, we're at Tango Road. I, mean, I just parked the boat here, but we're about to start setting. It's like a big floating city or something. I Pretty much. This. this was the end of Chapter 2, actually. End of Chapter oh. 2, they, they go to Tango Roa, which is what they reveal the next location. Interesting. Yep. We're at what they call Tinker Roa. It's basically, I cleared out the city. It's a city full of butler robots and apartments. Ooh, nice. Butlers, I like the sound of that. Uh, did I mention these butlers also work as bodyguards? They, they all armed with tasers. Oh, okay. And how do they help you? They tase you. That's how they offer their services. They tase you. Well, I mean, you gotta do it somehow, I guess. Yeah. That's marketing for you. Yep. That's how they offer their service. They zap you. We loot. I read the team already looted the place. But the good news is we can come back there and respawn to crap ton titanium. It's kind of lovely. Where are I? Yeah, Mr. Baron. Are you? You're not underneath I'm the raft, are you? <laughs> oh. uh, no, I'm on. I'm on my little boat. Okay, don't pain doctors. Okay. I was about to say, wait. I was like, wait a tick. Are you stuck underneath the raft like the last twenty people? <laughs> Okay. No, I'm not gonna get stuck under the raft. Some kind of fool. No. True, like the last ten. Come with these people. <laughs> Almost every crew member got stuck underneath the raft. Let's see. Ridiculous. Yep. Just go to the place where the raft isn't. True. Oh yeah, and I we yeah, have after you left yesterday. You forgot last time you forgot to patch some parts. So Bruce tried to take a bite part of your raft. I managed to iron it up now. What? Yeah, there were one two. Yeah, your yeah yours. There was one two pieces of like the the ground, the, the foundation. It was an armored, so he decided to take a bite out of them. Oh, what a shame. No, I took okay. care. I patched it back up. Don't worry. Uh, well, very good. Yeah. Otherwise, you'd both be gone by the time you'd be back. Oh. Yeah. Guess. Uh -huh. Oh, you're up there now. Okay, I was confused. I was like, where did the parent go? <laughs> <laughs> I tooted the horn. Yep. The Horn of Justice. <laughs> oh my god. Yep, Very so good. we upgraded a lot of stuff, like I said, uh, since I was your last year. I also expanded the mall, the strip mall. <sighs> hey, Corey, you practically decided to turn the newest floor, the floor on top into a hugging zoo. And I'm like, great, you're taking turning the whole floor, it's supposed to be the bedrooms into a hugging zoo. <laughs> a hugging zoo? Yes, full of animals to hug. If you can I've get never them. heard of that. I like <laughs> that. I want to go to a hugging zoo. Yes, below. <laughs> Yeah, we're, I hugged a llama. Yep. I got a I got a big llama hug <coughs> that works. from a llama that goes around <laughs> around town here. That was fun. Oh really? Your town, <laughs> your community has a llama? Oh wow. We, yeah, yeah. There's a real llama that goes around to these little events, mm -hmm. and uh, I went to one and and I hugged it, and uh, and in fact I hugged it twice. And. Well, I, I loved it. It was wonderful. Let me see. Let me see. Can I find a picture of this? I bet I can. Yeah, I showed the pets thing. We can all say that. We can probably tell people that's Baron's pet. That's what New says. He probably says, what the hell? <laughs> it's my pets. New probably says, I want a llama now. That's what I bet Ben Lu's going to say that. Boom, we're from the future. We got that at, uh, there are karaoke places in town that have that song. Oh, wait, the Pinsky, your song, Baron? <laughs> Yeah, yeah. So sometimes I'll go to them and then I'll sing it. It's, oh my god, yeah. that's awesome! <laughs> Did they know it's your song though? I'm curious if they ever figure it out. <laughs> sometimes, sometimes, <laughs> some of them do. So pretty wicked in the way. So hey, you're immortalized now with music. Go to yourself. How about the three rats on the beach one? That one is not. No, just uh, the from the future and centaurs of the sea. <laughs> Wait, Centaur of the Sea? I don't even remember this one. I know this one you did about mermaids. Is that the Centaur of the Sea or am I that's, thinking else? That's Centaurs of the Sea. Yeah, the oh. mermaid one is. Yeah. Oh, that's what New was talking about, you fucking mermans. Okay, I was so confused now. <laughs> he was asking Corgi if the brothel had any mermans in there. I was like, why would Corgi have mermans in the brothel? We don't even have a pool in there. <laughs> okay, that makes a lot of sense now. 
Oh, precisely, he was looking for centaurs. Of the sea, to be more precise. It's not newest being... Centaurs of the sea. Yeah, newest being weird. Oh, I, sent... <laughs> I sent the picture, but I, uh, I realized it's like... I should, like, edit it. I should make it cut down so that it doesn't have the, uh, the old men in the background. <laughs> oh, well, you would... Keith David was there? Damn, I didn't know he was there. Oh, yeah, I met him. I met him. Yeah. Oh, here we go. This is this is beautiful. This is a nice one. <laughs> I was just telling when that's your pet llama in the, in the pets channel. <laughs> pet llama. Here's here's uh. Okay. And then uh yeah yeah no here's uh. Here's Keith David here. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna mess with everybody. <laughs> nice. What event was he showcasing about when he was there? Uh, nothing really. Just he was there. There were other people. There's uh, some of them actually. This this guy. This is the voice of Sonic and many many other things. Oh damn! Yeah, yeah. Are you talking about the dude in yellow, the yellow jacket, or is it what the other person, the lady? Oh, the uh, and the yeah, the guy in the. Light tan jacket there. Yeah. That's actually my. That's my son. What? <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's. Uh... Oh, look at this. And here, uh, here we met Dora the Explorer. Oh, you met Dora. Oh, wow. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> I also. Uh, uh, there was. Let's see. Where is it? Last year, I did the same kind of a thing. Uh, where is it at? Uh, no, 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 this is too far. I'm, I'm on my phone. I'm looking through my vast collection of pictures. Vast. I think everyone's, and we know, everyone in general probably still says, wait, Baron has a son? <laughs> yeah. we're, we're still at that part. Now we know why. Now we know why Star makes that joke about your age. Okay, it makes a lot of sense now. <laughs> I'm, I'm old. <laughs> to be fair, we didn't know your son's that old. Like, I heard you had a son. I think your son's under ten or something. When you saw that, I was like, "What the hell?" <laughs> yeah. No. Yeah. Yeah. He's like a full-grown man. Still is with y'all. Like, moved out now. Nearly. <laughs> oh, he still does. <laughs> Where the hell are these pictures at? What? Let's see. Ah, here we go. Here we are. Yeah, so there's a. Uh... There's, there's that one. And I've got a... Ah... Uh... <laughs> I got another llama. Oh my god! <laughs> Is that a different llama than the prior one? <laughs> it's, it's actually the same llama, but a different day. <laughs> I'm mostly both these just because it's funny. Just say, look at Farron and his pet llama. This is a side hustle. He takes his llama to conventions. That's what people think. There was also. <laughs> these guys. Well. Let me see if I recognize them. Oh my god, you actually met them? Damn. Sure did. That was fantastic. That was fantastic. All the stuff was there as well, so I got to see all the all the things, all the props, and all that. But yeah, meeting them was cool. Did they ever tell you to uh, tell you to go back to the future? They didn't. Oh. <laughs> but, but we all did look at our watches. So. <laughs> yeah, I figured I was like, "Hey, you're from that. You did that song." So I figured, "Oh, cool. <laughs> bad joke. Really bad dad joke." But you know what I was trying to get at. <laughs> 
it just worked perfectly because you because you could you literally have a song called "Go from the future so i figured it works so perfect it works fine from the future where everything is mellow yeah well, i was singing it earlier i was like damn it baron this is your fault <laughs> <laughs> it's a it's a catchy little tune. Yep, the three mice one. I, think... I like the three mice one too. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That one kind of surprised me. That was I, that whole thing. I made that in an hour, and uh, just like recorded one track after the other, and just made it, and it it turned out pretty good. Get stuck in your head. Yep. <coughs> I've got another one that's uh, called uh, like can't come up with nothing to sing today or something like that. That's basically mm -hmm. the song. Oh wow. And uh, I just recorded it all at once. Mm -hmm. That gets stuck in my head all the time. It's a really bad thing. Yeah, I'm making that dirt show constantly. <laughs> really bad dad joke, but yeah. Yeah, we're about to start heading off to sea, back to sea, because we're ran out. We need to find metal scraps, because my god, do we don't have enough metal scraps for lighting. That's the newest challenge. In the past, we couldn't get enough wood. Now we can't get enough metal. They're going to need more wood again so once we upgraded it. And Corgi had an edible earlier, and she walked into my second like staircase. So you can probably imagine what happened. <laughs> mm. So then, so so, what's the plan then? What? Just to go off again? And do seven seas, yeah. And we just need to leave this place long enough, far enough to get it to despawn, so we can come come back and loot the crap out of it. I see. Uh, if you need, uh, there's a decent amount of plastic now at the moment, so you probably can expand your raft. And we do have some wood, but if you do, you need more wood, just chop all the trees down. Honestly, we just grow more. I always save the trees for emergency chopping. <laughs> I want to kill more sharks. That too. If you come to the, the, the I also like, I'm not sure if you saw the mall. I added a couple new buildings in the strip mall now. That's why I was needing your help. I need your help to paint one of the stores. There's some stuff. Uh, it's it's taller than it was before. So I gotta get up to the upstairs somehow. Not you, sure how. Uh, you have two options. One, you can climb up the stairs the old-fashioned way, or two. Make yourself a motorized zip line cable belt and then just clip it onto the zip line attached to your boat and just motorize yourself up. We have all the materials, you we can make it easily. We have the parts. <coughs> yeah, we have titanium. We have tons of we found I found a trick where this place can get you six tight twelve titanium in one run each time. And that stuff titanium is rare as heck to find, so. <laughs> No, it's good stuff. By the way, have Star and New even saw the llama pictures, by the way? Ah, uh, yeah, I don't know. I'm just gonna ping them and let them see it and do what they think. <laughs> the boy is like, what's next? What's next? He has a, a talking. Baron has a talking donkey. Probably. <laughs> I gotta check in the back. Good point. <laughs> Talking donkey. <laughs> I don't think you have an ogre, a green ogre with you, but a talking donkey probably. But an ogre, probably not. <laughs> you wait for I Bruce still Lee? like. Yeah, there's still so many stories and things that you don't even <laughs> you don't even know. It's. Let me take a wild it's, guess. It's so much more. Let me take a wild guess to tell you how saying how wacky your lifestyle is. At some point in your career, you probably worked on an erotica film. On on what? Erotica film. Uh. 
Almost. <laughs> Almost? Okay, dang, I thought you may have done one at least. You said you did everything. So I was like, okay, let's see how wacky and far this one take it. Yeah, uh, uh, wrote, wrote a couple books. Oh, okay. I didn't know the not, no novella, though. Not, uh, yeah, not, I have not uh, worked on any of the films, so. Okay, yeah. I was about to say, I thought you worked on one of the films. I was like, hmm, I wonder, Baron, how much shenanigans he gets himself into over the years. I mean, I have, <laughs> I have a lot of, like, connections there that I could discuss, but <laughs> nothing with me personally. Ah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> but yeah, that's I, I never, that's yeah. No worries. <laughs> I was like, hmm, I wonder. Because you, you, you have one, like I said, people, you might think you disagree with it, but you have a lot of adventure in your life. <laughs> oh, yeah. Huh? I've, I've done many things. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, the stairway is this way over here where I'm standing, Barry. If you want to try to find your way upstairs. <clears throat> oh, I see you there. All right. Just mind the psychedelic stairway. So, like I said, I, said, I did. It's at night. It really it lights up very psychedelically, so it messes with people's visions up. I did it on purpose just to mess with people. Wrong way. I can't go that way. No, you have to go this way. It's, it's a one way street. Well, a private area. Ooh. Yep. Oh, yep. shark. That was a different purpose of nesting with people. That's the strip club and the bordello. And this is the ah. the new strip I'm working on. There's nobody in there. Yeah. The madam's not here right now. So, as you see, we have multiple stores. And there's a zip line down right. to your raft. <laughs> Excellent. Oh, and here's uh the platforming to the eighth floor, which will be the oh! oh! Yep, that's the that's the gag. We decided to be jerks about and just make people platform their way up. If you wanna go to bed, you have to platform your way up here. This is where the petting zoo would be, the hugging zoo would be. And then the floor up here above it will be the tenth floor or ninth floor would be the way I'm gonna my way to death. Uh oh. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention <laughs> people break their legs a lot with we'll in advance. <laughs> That's the kind of stupid shit we get ourselves into, so... Ah. Uh -huh. I better get on this ship before I get eaten, which I'm gonna do very quickly here in a moment. You didn't... Yoink. You didn't bring a pointy stick with you? I'm confused. <laughs> I swore... I oh, no. <laughs> I, I have a pointy stick. I just, uh, I sat in the water for too long, I think. Okay. I was confused. I was like, I'm pretty sure we have a full armory of weapons I built. That's why I was like, what happened to all the weapons? I do know Maybe I'll thing. just kill him. <gasps> oh, shit, we need more access. Crap. There we go. I killed him. Nice. Well, at least we have more food oh, to eat. Oh, you're mine. That's right. I got lots of... Sharp meat. Shark meat, shark heads. More shark heads to put on my boat. Yep. And there's a whole box full of shark heads in here, like with like almost like a hundred shark heads if you want to use those, because nobody else uses what? them. Yeah. Oh, that's a lot. I, yeah. I was gonna cover my boat in them, so I mean I could. Yeah, it saves you the time having the hunts as many. There's like eighty like almost hundred heads in there. If you just look in the box full of hats, that's where it's it's stuck in there. Interestingly, no, 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 this is actually a pretty interesting thing, Baron. You can actually use it as biofuel. Like for the bottle refuel refinery, you can just put shark heads in there too. What? Yeah, you can. Really? Yeah, you, apparently you can. All the heads of the animals you can put in there to break it down to bottle fuel. I just personally think oh, it's that's silly. Amazing. <laughs> I, I had no idea. I mean, it makes sense. Mm -hmm. It is. For sure. Organic material. Exactly. But yeah, come back upstairs. I want to show you the toy store. I was asking what color should I paint it or design should I paint it. I'm going to put the shark meat on the grill. Sure. There we go. Oh, yeah, we have, a, right. we have a barbecue shack up here too. That's. No batteries because we're poor. Barbecue shack. Yeah, we barbecue have a, shack. a tiki bar, a barbecue shack, and a toy store at the moment. I'm still building, I'm making an art museum. <laughs> and a fish market. I just, because I realized that I did, I just learned this from somebody. Those hunting trophies, like the trophy case you put the animal's heads on. You could put the fish that you catch on there too. I didn't realize it was possible. So, that trophy board where you put Bruce's head. You can put a catfish on there if you want, or a tuna and stuff like that. So I was thinking of like, using that to make the fish market. Mm. And if you're hungry, just yank the fish off and eat it. But yeah, this is a toy store, Baron. <laughs> the wooden shack store. This one. Toy store. Here, come on in. <laughs> it is. 
Yeah. What should I, I figured maybe it was some kind of a lie. I would like be turned into like a sweatshop slave in here or something. <laughs> I, oh, it does look like that. It's on the roofing. Uh, maybe I could. <laughs> I don't know. I would have to make those little robots. Yep. We'll see. How much I any color? What, what color do you think the toy store should be? <laughs> Bunch of colors or what? Blue. Just pure blue? Toy store should be blue. Oh, okay. Blue and yellow. We got the brush. Uh, any particular pattern or should I just... Flatter. It should be blue with yellow trim. That's what it should be. Oh, yellow trim. Okay, let's take a look. All right, where does uh, where the hell did the other team leave their brushes? Oh my god. I make a toy store. Oh wow, I'm up here on the top, and there's nothing here. Yeah, that's where the, just, that's the petting zoo we're gonna add next. Corey just thought of it. It's moving around a lot though. Yeah, I can't really, really moves up here. <laughs> I can't really advise what's going on up there right now. Oh my god, where the hell did the paintbrush go? God damn it. Who, which one of these geniuses took the paintbrush now? Right, the zipline. We. Yeah, if you have the motorized version, you can go in reverse. <laughs> yeah, I don't. You can make it easy. I'm just a uh, stupid hook. No worries, we can make one for you if you need one. Let's see. Where the hell's the I'm gonna go swim to this city over here, Dome City. Yeah, by exploring it, I'm cleared most of it out already, but there might be some loot lying around. Well, I've never seen it. Yeah. Uh, very cool. Yeah, like I said, just my, if you need any help, ask the robots. Just be mindful of their tasers, that's all I could say, really. Oh, Wait, the but, shark is biting me. I shouldn't be here. I killed it. Yeah, I'm actually surprised. Three feathers for... Yeah, I don't know why we're still showing this. Oh my god, I don't know if I'm gonna make it. Don't worry, you'll be fine. You're a professional. Ah! All right, I made it. Yeah, oh, for a second there, I thought you died. I was like, what? <laughs> Everything's fine. Ooh, look at this. Oh, there's like robots in here? Yeah. Do they live here? Or are they angry with me? Will they be like mad at me? Yeah, they'd be mad at you. But that's why I said they try to help you by by tasing you. <laughs> that's how they offer I their com the customer service. Would you like to have some help? Yep. Zap, zap, zap. <laughs> What if I kill you instead, stupid robot? Uh, just do know, Davey, do wake up afterwards, so just be just be careful you're wasting your durability fighting them. Oh, they do? Yeah, <clears throat> I learned that the hard way. So really, about this playing tag. Hmm. So, Baron, you want the, the, the stripes to be blue or the yellow to be stripes? Uh... You said blue, you said uh, what? Blue? Sorry. <clears throat> You said the painting. Should I make it? You said you want to make it the blue, like primarily blue with yellow sh lines, sh striped like trimmings. Is that what you said? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Horizontal or vertical? Well, I don't know. Okay, let me just. Whatever your heart desires, I suppose. Let's try this out. Okay. That's ah, great. I'll just paint the whole thing in that color. Some of these stupid robots shock me. It's not very, very nice. Yeah, they do that a lot. Huh? Oh my god, I'll steal your bloody piece of wood. Oh my god. Oh, I bought a backpack, but I didn't need to. Yeah, we have tons of stuff already here. Back of base. Oh, an elevator. Let me up. Is oh, depending on which elevator you go, some of them have secret buttons on them, so you might get to go to surprise secret locations. Secret buttons? Yeah, they, they are hidden somehow in there. Just be yeah, you'd be surprised. Oh. Emergency bridge launch. Uh. Yeah, that's to shoot the dome, the dome thingy that you you saw. <laughs> okay. And there we go, and a big circle. That's dumb. I'm gonna jump down here instead, see what's down here. <laughs> I'm walking on the dome. <coughs> oh yeah, if there's no opening in, so be careful, you might fall off and break your legs. <laughs> oh, I'm sure I will. Oh god. Hey, the quick way back to the raft. <laughs> I can't find it. Yeah, you Who can the hell is it? 
They're telling me you're... What the heck? Uh, you're I'm walking in circles. You're on the wrong part of the dome, because I don't even see any little ants running up there. <laughs> I mean, I'm walking in circles around the dome. There's only so much. Oh. I see no... Oh, I you're see nothing. Okay, sorry. I thought you were outside the dome. I was confused for a sec. <laughs> oh no, no, no! I am. I'm. I'm on top of the dome, outside the dome. I'm walking on the dome itself. Yeah, you have to go through the edge to see me. I don't see it. Oh, there it is. Okay, now I see it. You can't see the guy jumping up and down. <laughs> oh, I see you. <laughs> it's way off in the distance. Okay, yep. let's see here. Should, uh, be careful! You might fall and break your legs on the way down. <laughs> this is. Will it break my leg in the water? No, break your leg by hitting the side of the glass. <laughs> I felt like I yeah. my leg. This is <laughs> this is raft jackass raft edition, and we're watching Baron try and jump off the dome while breaking his legs. I actually injured my leg on the way down. <laughs> All right, here I go. I see that beautiful little place over there. Here I go. Bye bye. Boo. This is actually ironic. After all this time, I thought we splashed and we crashed in the water, but we don't. I'm. I went very deep. Oh, now yeah. I gotta get back without the shark eating me. He's right next to me. You're fine. But for some reason, for he's, swimming, but he's looking. He's going for you, though. You look like yours. He's, he's swimming towards you. Yep, he's going towards of you. Of course. Yeah, he knows. He smells the blood. Oh, there he is. Oh shit! Ah, fuck. Yeah, I got hit on him. Where am I sitting on a bench? Doing. Oh my god. I'm fine. Yes, it's okay. Now the place is more light, bright, lit up now with all the enhancements. Sure is, but it's pretty. Yes. Now walk inside that stairway. I told you about the acid trip stairway. It looks better now. That's why I like a lot of this at night. <laughs> this is like, see, like I build like big, long, like mm -hmm. tanker looking ships. This is like this, like sky rise. Yeah. I saw somebody on the raft discord. He built like a massive city. This consists like 10 rafts attached together. It got to be more hardcore than this. To do that. I don't even know how you managed to get it running because there's no way that they could run unless you have like 20 engines at least. <laughs> oh! Ah! You fell oh out... no! Did you fall out the back door again? <laughs> I, I fell through the engine hole from the top. Whoops. <laughs> I knew I was forgetting something. <laughs> All the way down. I knew I forgot to patch something up. That's terrible. No good. Yep, but yeah. You swing on by here. Let me show you, Baron. Let me show you the. Now go take a look inside this. Let's go to take the stair. Try the stairway now. Let's see what you think. <laughs> uh, where should I see? Which one? Where are we going? This one. Over, this. Oh, this over here. Oh, yeah. Take a look inside now. See how bright it is and the vibrant. Oh yeah. Lots of lights. Yep. Now they go to the strip mall, which is uh, the dome. Brighter. Looks like it's lit up more as well. You're right. Holy smokes! You're right. There's no naked ladies in here. This is a this is a ripoff. <laughs> uh, to be fair, Corey was trying to sell, trying to offer centaurs at the sea at one point. I was like, yeah, I'm not going to look after them. Wait, we gonna stick them in the bathtub? <laughs> so, uh, that sounds good. <laughs> yeah, this is a tiki the tiki idol which gives you a mask. A lot of the rooms have should have like a uh, mask in there for you, like for like hats and mask for roleplay purposes. Yeah, Corgi's room is a Corgi room. That's her main bedroom that she sleeps in. <laughs> she has a duck statue, scrap mechanic statue in here. Yep, that's one of the regular red rooms. She has this one has sailor hats and stuff. Hey, occupied! <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's where she and her, her 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 staff sleeps. Like I said, most of the crew sleeps on like the new floor we haven't built yet. <laughs> well, there's the toy store after you guys took your paint suggestion, Baron. I'm yeah. touching grass. Yeah, actually, hey. what I was going to do is put some ch lawnmower chairs in here. People would sit down and chill. There's a stage for singing purposes. Oh, I see. Uh, then you can come out. Yep, exactly. Big entrance. <laughs> and then there is the toy store. <laughs> oh, yeah. Hey, how about that? Very nice. Yep. We catch the person that sells stuff and sit here, and then, yeah. Eventually, we'll get more toys as we gather more of these. See, if I came into a toy store like this, I would buy all those cats. See? Yes. The Nico cats, Perfect. actually. I'd say, honestly, between these two, I think the robots are harder to find. Nico cats, they only spawn 1% if you fish them out. The robots, you have to go to islands and find safe full of them. I I've never seen this robot oh. here. Oh, Major Tom? This little, like, 
hitchhiking robot guy. Yeah, or something. Major Tom. He's in a chapter two. To, he's he's part of this thing called Caravan Island. Basically, we launched them from. We did the. Wait, have you ever seen Toy Stories, by the way? Yes. Do you know how in the first movie that Sid tried to launch Buzz with like a like a like a fireworks thing? Sure, sure. That's what how we found him. We had to like light up the light of firework attached from him. He goes blasting off and break a rock for us. You know that that first one. I I went and saw that. I saw it the day it came out. And. Well, well, I, I liked it. Yes, of course. This is a great series. I went back and watched it again. Oh. I was like, I don't remember how old I was, but like I twenties at least. Based on the I took I took myself there. No, no, no. No, the first Toy Story was that was ninety five. Pretty good amount of time ago. I was not in my twenties. Oh, sorry, you were a teen then. That's ninety five. So if I did that, my math right, basically, yeah. age would be seventeen. Uh, yeah, right about there. Mm -hmm. I I drove myself to it, I believe. So. Do you know what interesting? Yeah. Like, apparently, the movie before that inspired it was a, a movie called Tin Toy. I've heard that. I don't really know a whole lot about it, but I've I've heard that before. It's a concept about what if toys are and can can come to life when nobody's around. And I say, terrifying. Exactly. Seen small soldiers? Bam! That's how terrifying it is. <laughs> I love that movie. There's there's a uh, a movie or a, a made for TV movie, a Jim Henson movie, a <laughs> Christmas Toy. Oh. And uh, that was like an '80s thing. And that, before all of those things, that was, you know, that that was like the premise of it was yeah. basically all these toys like come to life when the, you know, when the people are not around. But if the people see them, yeah. then it like kills them and they become like, like basically, you know, inanimate toys forever. Oh. <laughs> and so like there's this whole thing about how they don't. They can't get caught, mm. like, out of their place. Mm. Like, if, if a toy gets lost or something, and mm. it's not, like, on the shelf where they put it, and it, and somebody catches it like that, then the toy dies. Oh, wow. <laughs> it's a Christmas movie. I, I used to love it when I was a kid. I was, I'd watch it all the time, but... Yeah, I, I saw it a couple of years ago again, and I was like, oh... I didn't realize how morbid this really is. This is like taking parents taking their kids to see Sasha's party. That's a DreamWorks Pixar movie. Surprise! <laughs> <laughs> Pure Carnage and Evil. Oh, Not that hefty, but close enough. Definitely. We'll hop in soon. Oh yeah, Baron, so you will get some food quickly. Uh, uh, if you need to, like, you built your raft up where like I said, fill up yourself. We have the crap title. We have decent amount of wood. You need more wood to chop the trees down. We have a ridiculous amount of leaves which we, we, we can't figure out what to do with them. And we have some plastic uh -huh. if you want to increase your flooring. Uh, the the boat strain point, like limit at the moment is we can we have six engines so we can technically go up to six hundred pieces of foundation. Currently we're at four twenty. Okay. That should give you an idea of how far how much room we have to build the raft with the boat up. Yeah, I can do quite a bit. That's pretty good. Yeah, so we have plenty of room. One per hundred. I can make my little cabin here. Exactly. I'm gonna go watch Baron stand Baron Draft watching him do what he does. That's so why I pass out drunk. <laughs> okay. Well, then. Um, Today's Galbi Beef Sandwich Day. So I'm excited. Galbi Beef. Oh, except, beef. except now I'm out of wood. Really? I'm uh, out of wood. Look at this, the box below or go, go up and chop some. Uh, there should be an axe inside this church shed. Just go to the forest place and chop it up. I think I. Oh, I don't have an axe. Oh, I guess you used it up. How in the... How could I not have an axe? Uh, let's see here. We have enough to... I made enough just for one. That's all we have. <laughs> but yeah, so it should be enough to chop it up mostly. Oh, oh you know, take my... Wait, wait, no, take my axe while you add it, because you're going to need both axes. You want to clear out the whole thing. I just took an axe out of this box. Is that fine? That's fine. We can make more, honestly. We just need to go sailing to a different island and get some else scrap and make more. But here. This kind of looks like a fancy axe. I... It's, it's a normal axe. It There's a titanium max. Uh, interestingly enough, that thing that the stone axe takes longer and makes less. So that's why I built that. That's why we make metal. We use metal axes. Uh -huh. Stone axes are kind of useless, personally. They don't, they don't give us the output we need. It's like, for example, chop a tree, need five chops. Stone axe is like seven chops. And it has less durability. Ouch. 
too. Yeah, so yeah, we don't like it as much. All right, time to go get my galvey sticks and we just... Oh. Yeah, help, like I said, help yourself build and there's tons of leaves downstairs. Man. Ow.
Oh, all right.
Hey Baron, I'm back. <laughs> Almost seeing my food. Uh, how far did you, how is your building going, by the way? Baron? Oh wow, okay, I like <clears throat> I have to say I do like this setup. Oh my god. Oh fuck. Look at Baron so resolved and defeated life. Yeah, be right back. I'm just gonna <clears throat>
Perrin, you bad? God, barely he's drowning. <laughs> Barely he's dying. Whatever. We're sailing, folks. We're sailing on a ship, looking for a taco bit, looking to the sky, and it lay low. I blame Juice for that one. <coughs> he's already seated in, so it's not like he's not die or anything. So we're fine. What's the worst that happens? It's not like Bruce is gonna jump on the boat like in Strand Deep and eat his ass. Boom, we're from the future, where everything is mellow. Take a look at this one quickly. Okay, it's fine there. <clears throat> ah, I guess I didn't eat the axe after all. Okay. Ah, I thought Bear needed more wood. That's weird. Oh shit. Could they have the safety in that build? <clears throat> In case someone gets stuck, call steepled. <clears throat> oh shit. Ooh, a wrap, a little wee wrap. <laughs> it's a bummer I can't loot this place. I see wood though.
Okay, look, we're working from this end. We get the materials here. And work our way backwards and we head towards this small island. But yeah, most importantly, we need the plastic and the wood here. The leaves, not as much, but we can still gather it to clean the ocean up. And also because we want to make sure that things are, what's the word, clean. Yellow. Yep, we're still doing it. We just changed cast members. It's different singers and stuff. Ow, and I got bit by a shark. Yeah, the reason I want to go to the small island, folks, is because small islands spawn way metal scraps in the other islands. <laughs> Henry Stickman, what happened to GTA? The last time you checked, you said you were trying to get a mod. Or did the mod backfire, so you were just doing something else now. Yep, this island ahead of me, I think. But yeah, Henry Stickman is a classic, though. I know what series you're talking about. It's a very classic. I remember playing the Flash games in the day. Oh, man, those are classic gems. Up as Corgi's brothel. What the? <laughs> it's still installing. My God! Like, well, how much? How big is the file? Holy smokes! That's I didn't think it, I didn't think it would be installing that much. And those like what? I've been streaming for five and a half hours. So, how big is that mod file? By the way, I'm actually curious now. Okay, apparently I did two more platforms. Okay. According to the map, Mr. Baron only did two more. So we're. There's an island for treasure, potentially. Holy, holy smokes, though. I still got smacked. I'm not caring too much about the fruits on the island. I'm more concerned about basically trying to find the treasure, the hidden titanium treasure, or the painting of the safe. Here goes we. That's a big piss off shark. And what's the man comes back? He's probably said what happened. To yep, metal scraps. I don't need ores as much. I need metal scrap because we have so much metal ores already. Now metal scrap is what we need in order to. Acquire more lanterns and stuff.
That's Brucey. <laughs> Kick us funny. What games there are? Oh, what games are? You mean the mods? Is that what you're talking about? <gasps> a safe. Oh, it's not safe. It's it's a briefcase, but still. Give me titanium. Yeah, for titanium. <clears throat> I don't need the seeds. I just need the flowers. For the for the grinder. Uh, before I answer that question, uh, console or genre? Because I can't give you advice if I don't know what console you're preferring on, or platform you're playing on. Cause I can't, like I said, I I can't answer fully, so you need to give some pick something first before I give you my response. I'm playing on PC right now, okay. <clears throat> Follow-up question. Any, what's your favorite genre? Or what kind of genre you like playing? Because depending on what you say will affect what my answer is next. And is there a budget?
Card game now? Uh, which one? All right, tell me what you what you got? What you got? Tell me what you got? No, what you're looking at? It's more precise. We need more plastic for Baron to build this raffle. Now we got some more lighting. We could finally add a few more things to the the raft. Oh my god. Oh, I can't say shit. This is bad. Paint the town red? Yeah, that's not a bad game. I'm pretty sure with the Steam Workshop and stuff, it's not bad. I played before. That could be pretty fun, like fighting, chopping everyone up. It's like, I look at it like a violent version of the way I look at it. It's a violent version of Minecraft. In my opinion. A bloody violent version of Minecraft. It's really fun to play, honestly. I'll be honest with you. I played a while back, back in the day. I played some of the fun maps, like being a pirate and such. There are so many good maps. Just a second, you put all this stuff into the grinder. Put those three in. Put this one in. Put... <clears throat> Stickman trenches? Wait, that's a thing on Steam? I did not know it was on Steam. <clears throat> I didn't know they exist on Steam. I know the game. I didn't know it was on Steam though. Like, I know the concept, but I didn't know it was on Steam. That's what surprised me more, to be honest. <coughs> Where's Baronium? Aaron! Baron! Oh shit, let me just check my feet quickly. What, what did you say before I left? Uh, the dome butter. looks like. Just a second. Uh, I have. Okay, parents, I'll code somewhere. Baron, I hope you didn't eat any edibles. I didn't pass out because I was passing out edibles today for some reason.
All right, well, back to business. Okay. <clears throat> Where from the future? Oh, there's Baron Shark Steaks. It's kind of convenient. I just do this. It saves me so much time. Holy smokes. I just want to eat that to save space. Oh, Baron did chop some trees down, okay. We have to be fair, they tell him to chop it down if he needs something. Ah, yes, Mr. Baron chopped down more trees. Oh, well, it's fine. I just need to know, he at least is clearing up some of the spacing for me. Hmm, I wonder if I can sticky squeeze another few planters then though, I'm kind of wondering. Like maybe something over here maybe? Or there? There's still Baron down there. Oh, he chopped more things down. Okay, that's fine. That's perfect use now. I can use up some of these banana leaves. <laughs> Come to think of it, I don't know why we have so much bananas. <laughs> Guess which is a low bananas then. This also works for a bear in a way too. He is, he doesn't have to worry about starving because all this tons so much fresh fruit. Okay, let's see. I think I got them all. Yep, that covers that. Lees, lees, lees.
four potatoes, two strawberries, and this baby's done. For titanium. Hey, Kaho, how, how are you? <clears throat> oh my god, I think I'll make two of those lanterns. Nice. What to say? I like Baron's setup. The one pink pile cruiser. Ooh, well, <clears> how <throat> oh my Nodi? How's it going, brother? Welcome, welcome, welcome! You're the first person with that membership. I know you're a moderator, but still. <laughs> you just woke up? Fair, fair, fair. <laughs> no worries. Ah, so that's what the badge looks like when it appears. Okay, that's pretty cool. <laughs> yep, it took a while, Nodi, but we finally, 
finally got it up and running. Thank you so much, brother. Welcome. Just need one more person to join a membership. I can unlock, give the fifth merc, the fifth uh, emoji out. <laughs> <coughs> Actually, you know, since you're right here. Oh wait, you can use the emojis anyway. So I was about to ask. I was about to ask about the emojis. You use all four of them, but I was to say, then bye. Yeah, the artist gave it to me earlier today, so we got it done now. Thank you so much. Yeah, I'll take care of all the other administration stuff behind the scenes later. I'm still taking care of a few things, but I launched it first. You know what? Since, even though you're right, a modern ways, I'll just give you the title just for the heck of it. <laughs> just a second. Let me assign you the title because. This is a general, this is a manual task. Where is Nodi's name? Nodi, Nodi, Nodi. There. Merchant's Guild. There, I unlocked a new channel for you, which technically is more for symbolic purposes, really, because right, I meant your mod, you already see everything. <laughs> Boom. Where the heck is he? Yes, that's my rage one. Officially noted, I have seven emojis built made. I, when I put the order in, I request them for seven in advance. So basically, I have four set up now. Once we get another channel member, basically we get two, two of those set up. <laughs> Two of the emojis unlocked, so another one can be utilized. But we're starting off here now, so we say B. What was I doing again? I lost count now, I forgot. How are you, brother? How are you? How how are things though? Come tell me you're sleeping. It's no way better than sleeping. It's too early. I know the sleep pattern. There's no way. Hopefully there's a fridge at that. Hopefully there's a store in this next side that we're heading to. It's really? <clears throat> it's the weekend. You're still tired, Nodi? Wow. Hopefully it's not too as of work. <clears throat> I had a tiresome week soon. Okay, fair enough. Fair, fair. And people are mocking out of the votes again. Yeah, I need to play that game. I just haven't got around to it. Because I'm so behind. But I know the game you're talking about, though. There's a big island. Big island means potential pets to catch for the hugging zoo. Ah, blah, 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 blah.
Ooh, I got an idea. Hey, Bear, I want to go see some polar bears when we get back. More amazing Durant's not dead yet over there. Let's take a look. Is Baron dead already? Baron? Baron? Yup, he's dead. More like passed out drunk. <laughs> Alright, you heavy lug. Hang on, I'm going to lug you off. Whoa, shit. <laughs> oh my god, I'm gonna... <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, but I went stuck there. You say you got a tiny bird in your house? Oh, wow. How did... How did that happen? <laughs> That's why I've been a question. How did that happen? Yeah. Let's see what the toy store looks like. I built a toy Wait, addicts are still a thing, really? I didn't know. I thought those things are not existing anymore. Huh. Who would have thought? I thought addicts were a thing of the past. Ah, oh, okay, I see, I see. Fair, fair, fair. Okay, I was confused for a sec there. Observe as I start expanding and building stuff. My OCD is triggering. Uh, nope. Hmm, whatever. Do I have to leave? <gasps> it could work. I got an idea. Can we do this? Perfect! It fits! The thing fits perfectly, folks! Hallelujah! And then we're gonna need more scraps. Because I have this old issue where I get, if it doesn't look balanced, it drives me nuts. Hmm. Looks so relaxing.
accomplishment in itself. <clears throat> hmm. Yeah, every design is slightly different. The tiki shacks are one way, the barbecue restaurants another story. We still need fridges for sure. Okay, let's see. That makes much more. Oh, shit. Shit, 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 shit. This is mod. We're out batteries in the water. Let's go see the batteries on top, see how, how that's handling.
Hmm. Aaron, is that you? <gasps> the guitar! God damn it, I didn't realize I was muted on the audio. Fuck. Okay. Aaron? Aaron, is that you? Yes. There you are. I was wondering what happened to you earlier. Uh, I got caught in conversation. No worries. You didn't miss much. All I did was move us. I just island hopped this one of the big islands, and your guy's now un unconscious on the boat. <laughs> yeah, I'm, uh, yeah, I, I see. I'm dead. I'm incapacitated. And the moment when I try to sit down to pick you up, rescue you, it puts you, in, let's just say, it puts me in a very awkward position in the chair. Interesting. Let's say I don't. I'm not sure if I want your face where it's pointing. It is right now. Wow. If, I, if I sitting, if I, this... if I try to res you, it puts me in your chair. Look, this kind of weird. I, I was gonna say, is this is this you here now? Yeah, it's me on top of your body. <laughs> I, I see your feet. Oh, oh my! Not that. For your angle, like your face are in my in my nuts. That's why I'm like, oh god. <laughs> I, was like, I, I bet you want to rescue you. I'm like, nah. I didn't leave you there before. News says something very stupid. <laughs> you probably tells everybody about it. Oh. Did, you, did I tell you what New did to me the other day to, a, few, a while back? He told everybody. <laughs> he told everybody uh, in in City 17 that I have a secret obsession with him. I have a mural of him in my house. <laughs> I was like, oh god. Madness. Next thing you know, he's gonna find you barren and art and shipping. So, yeah, watch out. He's gonna do, he's gonna, he's gonna do something. <laughs> oh well, you always introduce him to your friend, Mr. Blazy Blowtorch. Like, Blazy, Lazy Flamethrower. I assume you have to, right? Uh, oh. oh, shit. Ah, well, hold on. Yeah, sorry? If I, if I surrender and respawn, do I lose all of my stuff? No, this is easy or mode. All it does is really simply you just lose your dignity or your pride in having having to oh. respawn. But you didn't lose anything. We don't we don't have anything set up That's like okay. that. I got plenty of that. But, uh, so really, it's more of a yeah. You lost. You just missed to losing your dignity of dying. That's it. And to res yourself in the bed. That's about it, really. That's fine. Yeah, just, I'm fine with that. Yeah, yeah. Just res yourself in the bed. I'm just, I'm just gonna be working upstairs. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm up here. <laughs> yep. Perhaps. Hmm, I wonder guys. New doing. Island. Yeah, this is a new island, so feel free to island hop. I haven't explored it yet, so just watch the wildlife. <laughs> tiki bar? Yep, it's the tiki bar. So yeah, just be mindful of the locals. They're not really welcoming. There's I don't, I don't know what's on it the island yet, so I can't really comment. It's either gonna be a bird that gonna basically drop stuff in your head, or there's gonna be a walk hog. I do know I need to go find myself a, 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 a rare looking turkey though. Okay. And in case I didn't, I'm not sure if I mentioned it a while back. Uh, did I tell you about the time we turned new to a turkey? Uh, you did tell me about that. We had a, we had a little game earlier. Can you find turkey new in the pile of the pet in the hugging zoo? Can you find one named New? And I can't even give hints yeah. on that because all the turkeys look the same. <laughs> It was like I, I, uh, I played like right after you did that or something. Yeah, it was just, it was a really silly, it was a silly gig we did to new. He was like, he was like, I hate you guys right now. I'm like, man, <laughs> that was part of the gig. Uh, we don't know which one new is. That's that's how, that's how hard it is to tell, because all the turkeys. I only have one species of tur. I know there's like three species of turkey. I only have one of them. I haven't got the other two ow. species yet. <laughs> A bird drop a rock on your head? A little uh, shark bite. Oh, okay, it's not too bad. I yeah. was right next to the shore and you got me. Oh yeah, and of course the pole, the underwater is full of, because these are big islands, the underwater place is full of pufferfish. Which we can use to get a bit gunpowder. And remember right as well. Oh yeah, there's hidden treasure on the island if you can find the treasure boxes everywhere. So much stuff. Yep, there's tons of loot on the island. This is where most of the antic is. If I should be a store up there, because if, if my memory serves me right, there should be a store on top of the mountain, and that's where I'm gonna go shopping. One of those. I, I guess, should I just throw this backpack away? I've got an extra backpack. Nah, put it in the storage box for the next dive team, because we because 
some of the, the event uh, crew members don't even have backpacks, so just put it inside one of the storage boxes back at base. Oh shit, now I remember why I was forgetting the build. I was wondering why I feel like this weird itch in my head. Oh, I remember now. Do you know why I forgot the build, Baron? Access. Uh, no. We have no access. I just remembered now you quickly yeah. built them before I used up all this wood by accident. That's probably a good thing to have. Yeah. There, yeah, I made three more axes now. We're safe. I was wondering why. I was like, I feel like we're missing something. I just don't know what we're missing. I know I feel like we're missing something. But yeah, we have three more axes in storage now, so we could chop more a bunch of our trees. I have the puffer head on my head. Yep, you do. You're wearing a puffer fish in your head. That's I also the same one we use for curry. <laughs> yeah, we're just eating the we're eating the puffer fish head your your hat as our dinner. <laughs> so, yeah, we're silliness, silliness. Yep, we're a silly group. Of I wish there was. Is there huh? is there a pirate hat? There needs to be a pirate hat. You mean the one I'm wearing right now? <laughs> Are you wearing a pirate hat right now? You didn't know I was wearing a pirate hat this whole time. The captain's hat. Yeah. Oh my god. No, I. I I didn't even notice I was, I I was wearing probably this probably did. I probably was like, you know, <coughs> like, oh yeah, pirate hats. All right, good. Everybody's got pirate hats. And just thought I had one and we were just all doing pirate stuff and I didn't even think about it. I'm used to having such a piratey time. Uh, let's see. We have a pirate's hat. We have a sailor's hat. We have a chef's hat. We have the mayor's hat. We have that... Weird. Got all the good stuff. Yeah, we have a cliche, you know, under like this, this cliche disguise mask of like the big nose and poofy mustache and glasses. Is the uh, mayor's hat like a top hat or something? Yep, pretty much. It's in the brothel. Nice. All I know is I left it. All the unique hats are in Corgi's brothel somewhere. You just have to look around there. We also have a construction hat, a diving I saw helmet, the face thing. The tiki mask? Yeah, the uh, the, 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 like, uh, the nose, glasses, mustache. Yeah. Yes, I call thing. it a disguise thing, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I saw that in the, uh, mm -hmm. in the thing. What is this? What's attacking me? Oh, it's a, it's a pig. A pig? Oh, yeah. Wait, the Warhawk? Oh, Pumbaa? Yeah. Uh, kill it. We, we can, he, we can make pork chops out of his meat later. But yeah, the whole island's full. Like, just go up to the Corgi's brothel. It's all in the, in the boxes, essentially. If you want to wear a different hat, you want the pirate's hat, you have to go buy one at the store, which we have money for. <laughs> Technically, you're supposed to be a captain anyways of a ship, so you're supposed to have the captain's hat. Yeah. Um, this yeah, we, makes sense. Except, well, we have a lot of money. I meant, like, I'm not joking. We have 36 pieces of trade coin. We can afford the hat easily. It costs six bucks. We can afford it. Now, you know, I'll buy you the hat on the way out. Let me just go. I need to go buy some fridges anyway, so I'm gonna, I'll buy you the hat as well while I'm there. Yeah, you pick up some exotic fishing bait, anyways. Yeah, the bait Ooh. of our existence, fishing bait <laughs> as well. It's an exotic uh. one we use that we leverage in order to what's the word? Catch the rare fish to trade into the store, get tokens. First, we just activate the recycler first. All right, heading to the island. Oh, finally. Good gravy. <clears throat> it took forever. I killed the, the pig. Uh, what were you using exactly? <laughs> what was I using? Yeah, with weapon. Spear. Uh, spear. Yeah, okay. Fucking with a stick. Yeah, it takes about 10 hits, but we were called from memory with that thing. Oh, it felt like... It felt like a million. Oh, that's... <laughs> You should ask Doc about that. He can tell you all about his Dark Souls adventures. I'm gonna throw this single piece of rope away. Yeah, have you talked? By the way, have you talked to Doc lately? I haven't seen him in ages. I don't know. I figured you have talked to Bob at some point. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, I don't. I don't know when the last time that was when I talked to him last. Time. Are you usually are you usually more with Jacob? <laughs> hmm. Uh, kind of the whole. That whole little group, whenever they just get together. Random VC hang out. Okay. <laughs> I couldn't be wrong. Jacob is Star's younger brother for real, right? Like, yeah, yeah. Okay. I wasn't sure. I was like, yeah. uh. Oh, I always feel like I found the way up the hill and then I 
didn't. I think maybe I did this time. Oh, I found the animal. It's and a goat. This stupid bird. Oh, the bird that shoots shit. <clears throat> drop rocks in your head. Yeah, I hate that bird. Nah, two options. One, do you try a timing way jumps down and just poke him with a stick, or two, shoot him. If you I usually do the stick it? poking. Mm. I have killed it before with that, but it's harder. But yeah, it's Start. just annoying. Here it comes um, now. Option Come number here. three: manufacture some gunpowder and <clears> use the fireworks <throat> and shoot it at the bird. Not bad. The fireworks, I believe, do 20 damage if you hit them. I don't know how much gunpowder you need just to shoot the bird, though. I'm here to treasure hunt. God damn, it's not treasure here. Ooh, the, there's the, uh... Store? Little store. Yeah. Nice. I, I, I'm there's a, a little goat. Another goat? What color is the goat? <laughs> uh, looks like a black goat? Oh, the, 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 the base one, okay. Yeah, there's multiple tiers of goats, that's why I wasn't sure. The white goat and the other goat looks a little bit more harder to find. <laughs> the, the, the black goat is the most commonest one, just like the blue turkey. If you can find a pink dodo turkey or a white turkey, like an eagle turkey, those are the rarest ones. Ah, what the heck is the bird doing here? I'm running away now. That's problems. <laughs> I'm running away from the bird, because I don't feel like fighting him. Even though I have weapons for this, I'm not fighting him. I'm not here to fight right now. I'm here on a scavenger hunt. Yep, he's best. I see him. As you can see, folks, we island go up highlands. And oh, jeez. Yep, he's on. He's aggro. He's on me right now. <laughs> you need to go do anything, dude. Now's your chance. If I can memory serve, there should be a treasure or something up here. Like there's just some boxes full of loot. Oh, it's this design of an island. Okay. Berries. Hey, Baron. <clears throat> Ow. Uh oh. He's on us. <laughs> All right. What do you want me to buy you? I'll buy you the pirate's hat first. What else you want? Pirate hat done. What else you want? Uh. I don't know. Just mostly that. What? I don't even see where all these things are. Oh, just press E and press on the tabs, the tiers. They'll give you different oh, yeah, uh, where's the pirate head? In the, uh, go to the right and scroll down. Oh, there it is. It's the last one. I already bought it for you. <laughs> nice. Uh, I have it on me. I'll put it, I'll put it in the box in the wrapping and put it on yourself. Let's awesome. see. Yeah, because I feel like every time I give people stuff, what happens is it disappears or de-renders. Well, you guys can't yeah, see it. No, it's weird. Do that. I've seen that happen. Here's the goat. I'm going to go up to the stop thing. Oh, that thing? Yeah, it's probably a box full of treasure or something up there, knowing the trends of my knowledge from this. Ow! Well, you should be going up safely. He's hitting me. Good. You keep him distracted. Yep. No treasure. One thing I like about going at nighttime is Byron that everything lights up, especially the like the berry trees and everything. You, I wouldn't be able to see this then during the day. Hmm. There should be a box full of treasure around there somewhere. Oop. Ah! Oh -ho. Did you get the treasure box? There should be one around here somewhere. Or a crate. I got I got a box. I got a crate, yeah, right Perfect. there. Yep, that's the treasure. Yeah. I got all the exotic bait we need for fishing. Oh yeah, our boat's over here. If you want to if you jump off the, the ledge of where we came climbed up from, that's where the boat is. But you may break your leg on the way down because it's a long ass fall. Yeah, that's that looks very dangerous. I don't know if I want to do that one. Yep, it's dangerous. It took out half my health and I didn't land all the way down. So, yeah, from that, <laughs> by my calculation, if you jump for that hike, you'll be unconscious. And I would have to carry you back myself. <laughs> I will go down more carefully. Yep, I lost half. I lost 75% of my health. <laughs> Just trying to jump off that oh. damn thing. <laughs> Exactly sure where I am or need to be. Get back to the emblem, though. Well, you can birds. Spend, you can harvest stuff around the island, catch bugs, catch goats, you name it. 
Yeah, let's see where Bruce is. But yeah, the bird will always be aggro to whoever's on the island. Since you're the only player on the island, he'll be coming after you. And here's the interesting thing. If I park the boat too close to the raft, we're staying on the raft, he can attack us. <laughs> I see people get hmm. got their hit tackle on the raft too. They thought they're safe? Nope. Kaboom. Bonk. Hmm. Oh boy. Oh, it's so far down. Yeah, this one is a big island for a reason. <laughs> I've got a... Uh, I don't know, I've collected a lot of stuff. Yeah, I just come down with two and sword out there. <laughs> uh, okay, let's put this... I put I the pirate... Sure I put the pirate's hat in one of the storage boxes, the weapon storage. For you. Alright. Oh my god, I, I don't know where the boat is. Oh. Yeah, that's, uh, it's kind of hard to figure out at night. <laughs> uh, <laughs> if, I, if, you wanna um, do, if you wanna do the, the unconventional way, we you know what you do. I take a fl I go make myself a firework launcher and I shoot fireworks at you. Or shoot upwards from where I'm standing and it'll basically you can see the fireworks. <laughs> that sounds good. That's a crazier method. But, but let's see, do we have the, the material to make? I know we have gunpowder, but I'm not sure we have anything else. I feel like I'm on <laughs> the wrong side. All right, it's good. Let's see how much gunpowder do we have. Whoa, bird! <laughs> <coughs> die, bird, die! Oh, I hit him with my paintbrush. Well, that, that didn't do any good. <laughs> Wait, you have a paintbrush? What? <laughs> what did I do? Be Bob Ross? <laughs> I do have a paintbrush. I tried to paint him up real good. That explains why I was wondering after my paintbrush. I was wondering around my paint, other paintbrush. I was like, gee, I wonder where that went. <laughs> Guess you had it the whole time. <laughs> That's fine. The boots. Oh no, I've had this since since before. Okay, it must be a different paintbrush because I, I misplaced my paintbrush. I was trying to figure out where the heck it went. Oh yeah, I know. I had like a whole ton of black and, uh, and my paintbrush and I was going to paint my boat all up. And I, uh, I did it this time, but I did not do it last time because I had more I wanted to build. All right, this and is. And then I built it. Oh, you did something. You, you did build it. Okay, nice. I sure did. Okay, so a firework launcher gets you ten fireworks. Okay, a fireworks thing. Do you still need me to shoot a firework at you to say fine, help you find your way? <laughs> oh no, no. I'm like under my boat now. Oh. <laughs> yep. Like right over here. Not quite under my uh, are, you the, are you the guy that's about to take a shark thing and bite out of you? Look at the shark coming at you. <laughs> Just in a moment. Arr. Here's an interesting thing about this Baron. You can actually place these fireworks down and then paint them to shoot different colors, supposedly. Uh. I think I might have done that. I don't know. Yep. I didn't really do anything with the fireworks. <clears throat> There's an achievement for shooting a crap ton of them. That's one of the gags with it. But yeah, I got my fridges for the damn store or restaurant I'm working on. Oh, oh. Oops. Oh. There we go. Up here. I mean, yeah, she had the piano. Yep, you had the piano. Yep. I oh. am at the piano. Oh. Wait, which piano you had? Oh, you had that piano. Okay, I wasn't sure which piano. So we have two. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Boarhead. <laughs> no. Nah.
Thank you very much. That's Dreaming on the Sea. Bravo, bravo. How do I get up from here now? <clears throat> e? <laughs> E? You, yeah, you, it, yeah, you press oh, it X. Did work. Okay. Yeah, right. you press X, you pretty much uplift the entire piano. I'll probably say without. Yeah, <laughs> I, I did that uh, the last time that I played. <laughs> so Could be worse. I knew not to do that. One of the other guys basically uplifted in the middle of the song. I'm like, wow, someone must really hate music. <laughs> yeah, don't do that. Yep. Oh, the rest of the group's gonna get pissed at you. Let's see. Oh yeah, your hat's down here, by the way, in one of the two weapon boxes. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you knew Captain's hat. Yar. Captain Baron. <laughs> uh, let's see, which one? Uh, look at one of the web the boxes we where we store all of our swords and stuff. There should be a box full of machetes. It's in there. Oh, ho, ho, ho. <clears throat> Captain Baron. Wonderful. How's it feel that with having Captain's out? Wait, how do you how do you do the there's a third person yeah. view, isn't there? Uh comma. I'm assuming you're using a, a same keyboard as me. Comma. Oh yeah. There we go. Beautiful. Look at that. Yep. Captain uh, All right. Pumping, but the cruiser. Yep. The only difference is I use a sword, even though I'm a captain. I use a sword, use a spear. <laughs> I always use a Use a spear. Maybe I should upgrade. Uh, yeah, or have both. Spear is good for sharks. I use swords for fighting like stuff like warthogs and pigs and stuff like that because it hits harder. I think that's five damage more if I get my math right. You know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna paint the shack, the barbecue shack. While I'm at it. When I think of barbecue, I think of red and fire. With a pint of yellow. <clears throat> Honestly, I don't know. I'm just gonna go up and start being Tom Sawyer. Oh, Tom Sawyer. Is it true he's the guy who makes everybody? I'm not sure if it's, it's a satire or stuff. Is it true he's the guy who basically gets lazy and makes people paint fences for him? Or is that just some make believe cartoon crap? <laughs> Not sure. <laughs> oh, I figured you might know. Okay, never mind. Hmm. There's a thing out there. What thing? Uh, one of those floaty uh, things. That'll be my guess. Oh, I see it too. You're right. You didn't get to it while Boost taking a bite out of ya? <laughs> I don't know. Hmm. Also, I'm, I'm so full of things. I need to. Yeah, you might want to look into lighting your weight off before you start swimming. You might drown. Hmm. All right. What shall What shall I paint the tiki bar as? What color? Any recommendations? Tiki bar. Yeah, the tiki bar hmm. on the on the strip mall floor. There's a tiki bar and a barbecue shack, and I want to paint them. What's your probably artistic either vision? like a uh, like a dark purple or a uh, or a green. Like just one color or mixed colors? I do mix two. Of course, it's already got the green. Yeah, do some, do some purple on there. Just solid, solid on the. Okay, solid. Okay. See, see what it looks like. Let me see. The tiki guy head kind of has some purple. Yeah. Huh, it looks like, I'll be honest with you, the wooden portion just looks purplish. Everything else looks the same. That's all it does. You just change the wooden area to purple. We have tons of paint, so I can fix it easily. Uh, swing on by, we have a chance. I'll show you what it looks like. Hmm. It probably looks better at night when it's lit up. <laughs> During the day, it just looks weird. Oh, we could paint the fences too. Interesting, the poles. Hmm. 
Uh, Oh wow, you can, change, you can change the curtain color too. Okay, that's cool. Oh, <laughs> oh there you are, Baron. No, that's the stage. <laughs> nice. <laughs> yeah, that's the tiki bar with purple. I don't know why. Somebody feels off about it. You know what? It, it should be... It, it's, it's a... Hmm. What do you think it should be? See, like, the tiki head here. Yeah. It should probably be more like that blue. But the thing is, is that... That, uh... The toy place down there is also blue. So yeah. that's probably no good. We could do other... There's, like, there's like nine shades of blue. Theoretically, and match them up though. With this, this nice head here. Could maybe use the red. That might be good. That dark red, I do like that. Okay, let me do a dark red only. Oh, that'd be nice. Let me take a look there. Hmm. I kind of like that. Okay. What do you think? Do you think that's likable? Oh, it is likable. The only bad news is now we have no flower. Red flowers left. Because we're all paint, unless you have red paint on you by any chance. <laughs> what? Uh, oh, actually, I do. I have 582 of the red paints. <laughs> no wonder. I was wondering why I bought the red paint. Ah, you can paint it for me then at the point. <laughs> I was trying to figure out what happened to all the red paint. I was like, I swore we have more red paint than this. We have I, yeah, I I think <laughs> I took this red paint. I don't think that I made this. I made all this black paint, I'm pretty sure. I know I did make black paint. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we have more flowers we can harvest. We harvest them on the island if needed. And then, of course, it's the barbecue shack. Okay, now it's nighttime, oh. so it looks more vibrant now. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. Can't get this less piece, but which piece? This little the piece on the side there. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. I, let me try something. Let me just move this out of the way. Yeah, I tried now. Nope. Interesting. Just won't do it. Huh. That's weird. Okay, let me just check something quick. Can I even paint it? Hey, let me play it. Oh, okay. Uh, highlight the frame, because this is actually a separate window frame parent. Highlight one of the side frames of the, the thing. That will light it up. That should work. Like, just like in front of this thing. It doesn't seem to be doing it anywhere. Okay, uh, give me some red paint. I'll, I'll do it. Just toss me some paint. I'll take care of it just a second. I think, I, I, think I, know, I think I know what the issue is. Here, I'll give you all the paint because it's your paint. There you go. That's fine. Abracadabra! Does that work? So what'd you do? I just I met this thing. I see this pillar here. I just I threw it against what the thing I just threw my my hook against. This thing. I just painted yeah. against this because technically it's a window. It's not part of the whole foundation. No, no. mine was just broken. Then I I did that too. Okay, weird. I painted all over the place. I was everywhere right here. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't do anything. And that too. Uh, yeah. I, it just it just quit working. Yep. Now, any colors? Should we paint the walls red or not? It won't bleed into the back though. Hmm. I don't know. Not sure. Hmm. 
Maybe. Hmm. But what color? That's the question. <laughs> I don't have the same artistic vision as you, Baron. Well, I'd probably do something that was dark. Ocean, dark ocean blue. Maybe. Mm. Let me try something quick sample. You tell me. This is dark ocean blue. Mm, no. No, I don't think that will work. I don't think you call this color. <laughs> no, that's the wrong direction. Because <laughs> you go the other way, so I've got purple. That's why. Here's a slightly lighter blue. Hmm. Maybe. It's a little clashy. Clashy? Hmm. Clashy. Come take a look. What do you think about that? What? I fell here? Hmm, I see what you mean. If one of us is dressed in blue hugging against we have been picked up our home part of blue, my group one would notice. <laughs> I see what you mean though with the color contrast. I like wonder if the should the inside be the same color as that outside trim, the that red? Oh, you're right. You raise you raise a good point there, Baron. Let's see. Do I have any left on this brush? I don't. No, wait, don't do it. Ah, I see. It looks more camouflage now. <laughs> That could work. I ready did. I'll just paint like that. You give it a little. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, and I can it makes it look like a little <laughs> store now. Yes, and the tables for the metal ju juicers. You could change the color of the mixing tables too. I just turned blue for now. Oh, huh. that works. Very nice. Yeah. I just put my fridge back in there for the. There, the store is done now. Oh, we're missing now some batteries. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Whoop. And basically, oh. Oh, the store is open. Where is Mr. Bear? Oh, there you are. Uh, here's your paint, by the way. Here's your red paint back. Here's some black paint. Thank you, thank you. Oh. What'd you do? Did you throw paint on the ground? Yes. Do that. I, I can't see it. <laughs> what the heck? It doesn't appear on your screen? That's weird. Because for me, I can It never it. works. It never works. Just, uh, you, you keep it. It's fine. That's fine. I got it here. Because you, you're going to be painting stuff here. I was putting one in the fridges. There. It's in the fridge. <laughs> Why just open? <laughs> Uh, let's see. Was there black too? Yep. No, I threw some black in for you. <laughs> okay, okay. Because the other colors are what I use for my my antics. Oh, okay. <laughs> a little bit here. Ooh, I like. Is this. there a way to paint uh like clothing and things like that? Change the color of them? Mm, no. Oh the wait. Oh the wardrobe though. Yes, that wardrobe. You could paint yeah. the color. You change the color of the wardrobe. <laughs> Weirdly enough. Where's wait? Where is the wardrobe? Uh, second floor next to the, the hammocks that we sleep on. Oh, you actually have one. Yeah, we have a wardrobe the whole time. <laughs> well, of course you would. Of course. What am I thinking? You got all the things. Yeah. Where is this again? Where'd you say? Second floor. It's on the floor where the petting zoo is. Uh, right where the wardrobe should be, next to the animals. <laughs> Nowhere close to this. Put it right next to the smelly animals. Perfect. <laughs> Could be worse. We we're doing a lot. Of, you just saw something. You just saw something. Stupid shenanigans. Corgi was proposing. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, oh, it seems that uh, I can only. Okay, that's not as exciting. Oh, and now you've got a red uh, wardrobe. Whoops. That's fine. We don't. Be, most of us don't even notice. <laughs> Let me put that away before I start painting everything else. <laughs> before we Thomas story the entire place. It just put the whole place like, oh, oh, and then I fell through another hole. Oh, that was just the stairs. Oh, I was about to say, wait a minute, what mistake. holes? I was like, wait, what are you doing at the anchor hole? I was about to say, but that's not possible. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that stupid anchor hole. I fell all the way through. 
Well, that's why we, that's why we have, that's why we have the episode of Jackass one one time. Nice. I also have many coconuts. Okay, I was wondering we'll why you weren't. I was wondering what you were eating this whole time because you weren't starving. I was like, what was Baron's eating? Hmm. Oh no, I've been collecting food like. Like every time I go to an island or something, I also when I chop down all the trees, I get a whole bunch of, you know, mangoes and coconuts and things from that. Okay, so you're not starving is the key word here we're saying here. No, not okay. at all. I've I have eight uh, shark meats. Mm. I have six salmon. Uh, all kinds of stuff. Okay, yo, you're not gonna die in time of starvation. I was like wondering this whole time, I wonder what Baron's nah. been eating because the rest of us have food in the right. Like, I've been basically living off of eggs. What the heck were you eating this whole time? Yeah, yeah, no, I got. I also I have a bunch of potatoes as well. Oh yeah, that's common. It's like diamond dozen. We can make and we grow easily all of them. Yeah. Potatoes. I got some uh, honeycomb. Uh, I don't know what to do with it. Uh, combine it with glass, and you can make fresh honey. Two out of one to consume, or two use it to five fuel or bottle fuel refineries. Oh shit! That reminds me, I forgot to fill up the gas. <laughs> I forgot the gas tanks. My bad. Oh my god, I was wondering why something fell off. I uh. to, we're out. I need to fill up the gas tanks before we run out of gas. <laughs> Let's see. Oh my god. Yeah, we ran out of gas in, in one of them. But yeah, how did what what caused the crash? By the way, uh, uh, ten video man. Of what? Oh no, sorry, talk to chat. Sorry, just a sec. Oh. Oh. Oh, oh, oh yeah, I see. Okay, <laughs> like, okay yeah, let's see. Okay, I got. I fixed the, I, the honey basically. I was like, what is going on? Sorry. Yes. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> to answer your other question, uh, six honey cones in one glass makes a couple of jars of honey. I see. All right. We have tons of glass, so you make all the honey you want. You you'd be winning the poo. Very good. I probably would be. Why would full screen cause that issue? That's kind of weird. Hmm. Let's see. Uh... Oh yeah, if you need spare planters, you say we start growing stuff on your graph. Uh, there's some spare planters in the fridge on the on the Black Widow ship. <laughs> Their captain doesn't really have time to plant stuff, so in case you want me to plant. Black Widow. Yep, that's the ship to the right. With all oh, that, also has a crack house. <laughs> I still don't know why do we have a crack house, but I'm just going with it because it's funny. Selling fresh sandy crack. <laughs> it's their slogan. If it's not sandy, Beautiful. it's not crack. I love it. Yep, these. Yep, you can see the captains of these shitty ships have their own flavor of how they like to do things. Oh, that's what you meant. Okay. Put these hats up.
Back on back into the sea. I'm looking for no. I need for scraps, and it's still treasure on the island I haven't collected yet. <laughs> Underwater treasure, to be precise. Yeah, no worries. Uh, no worries, Tan Radio Man. No worries. Hi. Ah, yeah, I love how your draft is transforming more and more to secondary with this new roofing setup. Blah, 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 blah. Have fun building. If you need more supplies, burn them all in the boxes. Nails, wood. This should keep you going for a while. I got it right now. Oh, shit. You broke a piece of pillar and it knocked the entire foundation out? No. Are you fine? <laughs> oh yeah, watch your feet if you land in the water. There's a shark near you. Oh yeah, I know. I know he got me. Oh, he took a nibble. On the way over here, I like jumped right on his back. <laughs> <clears throat> that's what you mean. That's because that's what they say when you talk about you jumped the shark. That's right. Oh yeah, have you ever ever watched that when you were young? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Hmm. I haven't seen any. Yeah, it was it, it was on it was it was like reruns at that point, but yeah. it was on regularly. Who could who who wouldn't like watching the fawns? <laughs> yeah, that's a bummer they don't have leather jackets in this game. It's like What's that show? Modern Family? Like, mm -hmm. that was on longer ago than that show was when I was watching it. It's like, also the other show, Married with Children. Oh, Married with Children. Oh, yeah. Seinfeld. Definitely watch that. Watch the, the old Seinfelds. Oh. I think I watched pretty much all of them when they when they aired. You remember that? You remember that, remember that episode involving the guy called the Soup Nazi? What is it? It's about this, this episode. It's like they, there's this guy opened up a very popular soup store, but he has very strict rules, so he can ban you from the store. It's basically called like the episode is about dealing with a soup Nazi. The, uh, the soup Nazi. Yeah, the guy's like, no soup for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, I do, I do remember that. I, <laughs> I think my favorite uh, episode is the, um, well, it's. The, the beast, the mm -hmm. one with the car that like smells bad inside or whatever, mm -hmm. yeah. and, and the uh, the one with the the man hands. Oh my he's god! He's dating the woman with the man hands. Mm -hmm. and, uh, those are those are probably my favorites. Yep. Turns out, <laughs> turns out that actually that place is a real place with the super Nazi is as a real place. Except the guy's not a German; he's actually Italian. <laughs> I it's see. A, it's a real place in New York. Apparently, he got mad at the show because he said the show ruined him. Hmm. Interesting. The guy was a real, was partially a soup Nazi for real. He wasn't that bad, like, but still. Apparently, it made his business go under, supposedly. Hmm. Oh. They, they heard this. Yeah, that's an interesting story about that. <laughs> oh, yeah, the soup Nazi guy, he, was, he had a cameo on Austin Power as well. The scene was Austin Power playing blackjack, and essentially, and you found what the gag was. No blackjack for you. <laughs> it was more of Austin was Power. Huh? Oh my god, I don't even remember that either. Okay, so the gag was they're playing Austin Powers are playing a round blackjack against number two, essentially, and Austin got seven, and the other guy and number two out of ten, and Austin's like, I'm staying, <laughs> which pretty much you think of from a blackjack perspective, he he basically shot himself in the foot. 
because yes, you know, maximum number you get is black chicks is ten. So there's no way, yes, yes. no way, if you say hit me, we may break. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> so no blackjack for you. Of course, you're not gonna get blackjack with that number. <laughs> Oh, Very good. Mm -hmm. Oh boy, I got this shark. He's, He's waiting you. for me to get in the water. I kind of want to go out there. You, want, you need me to look? Wait, you, wait. You should be able. To, you should be able to handle him. I just want me to come over and distract him for you. I'll go in. This isn't suicide mode. But suicide mode, two hits and you're dead. But then we, that wouldn't be the only problem to worry about. We have to deal with him and his cousins at that point. Oh no, cousins! Yeah, on the highest difficulty, they scale to always have how many players plus one shark. It's kind of the number of players plus one. So if you actually we have the full lobby, that essentially that means it'd be nine sharks on the highest difficulty. Well, that's just ridiculous. And oh yeah, by the way, they kill you in two bites. So if you say you're full health or anything, two bites and you're dead. Assuming you're not wearing armor. <laughs> And on the highest difficulty, the only way to get yourself you can't you can't respawn the boat. You actually have to have someone come pick you up and carry you back to the boat, assuming they don't die along the way. Interesting. It's a pretty interesting concept. That's why on the raft Discord they basically have an alert for people to say SOS and SOS signals. It's pretty active on there on their SOS. Too many people going down. That's what happened when you play solo and you fight sharks, of course you're gonna go die crazy. Everyone's playing on suicide difficulty. So you basically say, ha ha! Damn it! There's one oh, girl, no. I just want to go along she does it. She speed runs so fast, she basically runs on water. <laughs> I'm like, geez, she literally ran on water, so she never touched the water, so Bruce can't take a bite of her, because she never was in the water, technically. Oh boy. Oh, I'm gonna die. Oh, it's terrible. You forgot to bring some weapons? Oh, no, I did, but he got me a little too many times. Ouch. Oh. Yeah, there we go. I died. Well, this is easy mode, so magically just teleport yeah. yourself back up with all the stuff you need. Back I am, right back to the strip club where I should be. Wait, you you respawn in the strip club? Okay, I'm kind of curious how they decide where to respawn you. That's interesting. Uh, oh, I don't know, but I'm gonna go kill the shark this time. Good luck with that. Hey, welcome back, Ten. While you do that, I'll deal with the bird. The bird's just shitting on my head right now, so I'll at least keep him off of you at least. He actually will bomb you in the water if you, he sees your head. <laughs> I need to go find more red flowers, honestly. I'm too lazy to grow them. Where's this chick? Why do I have honey on me all of a sudden? I think it's weird. Okay. No worries, I don't know where the shark is. That's weird. What? Not that you, sorry. <laughs> oh, there's another island over here, too. <laughs> I swam all the way to the other island. What the hell, man? Where the hell are you to the point you see a second island? <laughs> I'm a little shocked yeah. now. Came I'm all the way out here on this boat. Golly crap. Well, you can be my guest if you want to. I just need to figure out which island you went to so I have to fish you up after I'm done. I won't be done for a while because I'm trying to find treasure. Uh, I'm going for it because it's right over here. <laughs> hmm. uh. Fuck! It's a little tiny island. Oh, it's a tiny island. Okay. I'm yelling fuck because my metal detector broke just about to find a treasure. Now I go find. The now I go build another metal detector. Damn it! And I only have. I only have the material. What can I do? Let's see, what do I need for metal detector? Metal detector. I need 
a battery. Oh, I have to pay our parts. I'll just go find one of my dead batteries then. Here's another interesting hack. If you think you use a dead battery to build a metal detector, you, you get a full charge back up. This is in the earlier days before you have the rechargeable battery stations. Mm -hmm. Yeah, pretty useful. Because you use doesn't matter if you use a live battery, a new battery or not, you still get a full charge either way. It's an interesting hack concept. Yeah. Here I am, I'm at the island. There's no shark around. Grab some things. Metals and stuff down here. Nice. Oh, we only need the scraps. The ores you can skip, honestly, unless you want to grab them. Because we have a oh. we, we have a ridiculous number of ores. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. Well, I, I was grabbing them, but I will. Yeah, no, no worries. You grab what you want, go. but the bigger priority is scraps and clam shells. Not because we want to eat clam. It's more for the trash compactor. <laughs> because here's the funny thing: we have like, do you know how much ores we have? We have almost like three, like two hundred pieces of metal ores that we transform to ingots. There's a clam right there. How? What are you using the clams for? Uh, go up and press E. Let's just pick it up, flat out. Just legit pick it up. Ah. I know it's a little weird, but. <laughs> what if I float your boat, man? I know, it's kind of weird. I mean, I, I didn't think, I thought I needed to use it. But here's the funny thing. The seaweed, you need like the kelp, the blue algae. You need the hook to get them, which is kind of weird. But the seaweed, just pick it up. It's so inconsistent. I mean, they're good. why do I need a hook to get blue algae to make sushi? I don't know what they were thinking of at the time. <laughs> but it's funny as well. off nice and clean. True. You do have a good point there. Okay, let's see. Uh, 30 metal scraps. Perfect. And we're still climbing. I'm getting uh, lots and lots of scrap metal here. Perfect. We're gonna need tons because first off, we need to make use it to make nails in order to uh, build more pillars in your graph, for instance. And I need it in order to make more lanterns. Cause... Yeah, I thought I killed all the pufferfish. Guess I did not. We need is clay. Clay. Uh, for some tables, you need to make clay with it. So and <clears throat> clay, clay, healing saves, and uh, food bowls. But we, do we need it? At the moment, not really. No, we're okay. not. We're not having. We're not desperately short yet. I'm not gonna worry about it then. Yeah. Toss it, it to the side. In the off chance you see some titanium, it grab it. In the off chance you were to see it, which is unlikely, but if there was some titanium, titanium. down there, get it. That stuff is rare, so we I barely have enough. Be any titanium around here? I highly doubt it would be. If safety there were, I'll probably say that's too important. Grab it. That stuff is gold. All end game weapons and gadgets are made out of titanium. Heck, even the titanium sword looks prettier than the sword I have. Here's some red flowers. Yay! Perfect! We so for some reason we don't have <laughs> the red flowers around here. Red flowers are so hard to find. We need it because red paint. Got some algae, so we... Huh, they finally updated now. I can eat the algae. In the past, I couldn't eat the algae. Finally! That's so weird. They finally updated, so I can eat algae now. I'm happy. That does make more sense. In the past, you couldn't. <laughs> Ow, boost bit my ass again. Aww. Hmm. What about vine goo? Do we need any vine goo? Uh, not really. Uh, I use I use waste on trash compactor at this time. Uh, the vine goo is used for our, our some of our diving gear and water bottles. I'm gonna take it. I'll yeah. Do it there. All right. Oh, it's vine goo already melted in the shore. If it's in seaweed form, no bother. If it's already in vine goo form, just might as well grab it. Save us having to melt it down. Uh, let's see. How do I get down from here now? <laughs> oh, you That's double? I think. 
Easy, jump off a cliff. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, which are they even on? You know, you're close to me. Uh, I'm not entirely sure. I think I see the lights from the ship out there. So I'm going to go start swimming that way. Here you go. Oh, I just have a perfect excuse now to do something very hilariously stupid. Let me do this. I have a perfect excuse now. Let's see if, let's see if can you see it. I have a perfect valid excuse for doing this now. Where is it? Where is it? Fire in the hole! Oh, fuck! Oh. I just realized something barren. I I saw it. Do you know what I just realized? Uh, there's a thing above my head. So I can't launch a fireworks. Because it's a, it shoots into a roof. <laughs> Take two. I'm gonna go up on the roof and shoot it properly. Yeah, do that. I saw it, though. I saw some, uh... Something up there. Do you see it now? I can't see the ship. Really? You can't see, the, you see, you can't see the fireworks? Uh-huh. <laughs> Well, I couldn't see the ship, and I saw the fireworks, but right now I see no fireworks. Okay, let me go to the top of the ship and shoot again. I just shoot straight up in the sky and see if you find it. <laughs> Here's an interesting thing. If, if, if friendly fire was on, you could actually do a shooting game where you, show, where you shoot each other with fireworks. It hurts a lot. <laughs> I can kind of see a shadow of the ship now. Oh, really? Here, let me try this. Just a bit. Oh, there we go. You see it now? <laughs> yeah, that went way up there, too. I just aimed it high. Okay. If you see this, sh oh wait, that's not you, is it? No. Okay, let me shoot another one. Tell me you see where where you see it from. Here goes. Oh, kind of went over my head a little bit. Oh, you're that way. Okay, I think I know where you are though. Oh, I see you. Yeah. There. Well, it's actually yeah. Okay. Yeah. Here. Yeah, <laughs> yeah you'll be fine. <laughs> Oh, that's why you couldn't see it. I was shooting the fireworks on the other side. That's why you couldn't see it the first time. I was on the other side. But yeah, the joke was I thought I shot the fireworks. I shot into a roof. I was like, oh. <laughs> There's the sharky boy. <laughs> Whoopsie daisy. <laughs> I just wanted an excuse to shoot it because it's funny. Depending on what color of paint you use, you can expect the color of the fireworks. <coughs> oh, Billy, Billy. Let's see. Oh. Well, I think I might need to call it a night. No worries. Ah, you have a feral song at least before you run out the door. <laughs> I have such beautiful music playing in my ear. It's so loud, I can't hear anything else. Let me turn it down. Hold on. Here we go. All right, now we can talk. Oh, I was asking, you have a song for the for farewell to the audience? <laughs> farewell song. Oh, okay. Boy. Corgi sang this before she left. Her song was about, you know that song Never Ever After by the guy named John Kozak? I don't know. <clears throat> it's basically a song parody where basically talk about what if like hap those happily ever after stories you hear in Disney stories is a total bullshit. Oh. It's a lie. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's what he did. Hmm. Oh. Can I play? Oh, oh, ah, oh. I'm just twisting around in my chair, so. Here it is. Where are you, Baron? <laughs> <laughs> I hope you think of something where I suggest you to sing that song with a brat three mice on the bench, unless that's copyrighted. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I don't even remember how that goes. <laughs> really? <laughs> I thought yeah. you remember. <laughs> I still can't believe you thought of an evil dolphin that tricked the mice. I still can't believe it.
Ah, there's Varen. I'm just fiddling. <laughs> uh. I would suggest <clears throat> if that song was a copyright, it's also I would suggest it as the song from Coco. Yeah, it doesn't matter. It's copy if I'm singing it, it's all <laughs> non-copyrighted garbage because it's not as good. I don't know. There's a song "Remember Me" in Coco. <laughs> if you want people to remember me. Long, long time ago, in a galaxy far away, Naboo was under an attack. I don't know, I can't remember how to play it. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? I didn't even know what you were singing for a second. I was like, huh? <laughs> oh, I don't know. Yeah, I'm not sure. What song sure do you know? <laughs> you... Unless you want to do, unless you want to do an acoustic version of your hit song. <laughs> not sure you need the other guy though. Probably. Oh, you need him for that. Need, need, need to him? pass it back and forth. Not really. Oh. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, how did uh <laughs> few streams earlier from Killing Floor of uh, Poncho, he sang the song Kickapoo. If you know that song. Sure. If I do know that song. Tenacious D. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Once there was a little pound in the town of Kickapoo. That's what Puncho said. Puncho sang the whole song. It's hilarious. <laughs> and the funny thing is we're doing we're killing zombies. <laughs> Within this game, we're shooting zombies while singing that. <laughs> Hmm, Tenacious D. Do I know any... Hmm... Yeah, I'm gonna look up some stuff here and see if I... Hmm... Terrible, terrible, terrible.
One night, um, how about, uh, how about that? That's the one note song. Sure, I don't know. I never heard of it, so let's go with it. <laughs> I, I play that for you. <coughs> That's the Tenacious D note song. <laughs> sure. <laughs> <laughs> it is. To be honest, I, I didn't. I probably. I don't remember most of Tenacious D. So, even you're bullshitting me right now, I would believe you either way. <laughs> <laughs> it's true though. I know it is. It I know. I know it's true. true. But I mean, that's how. That's how out of the loop I am. I pretty much if you bullshit me, I think. <laughs> I still think it's a real thing. <laughs> Take scrap two plastics. Especially from preparing you, Baron, uh, since you before I forget, uh, what exactly is the design plan of your Wrath from here? I know you're very. I know you're going for a very leafy build, but what's next? Uh, next. I don't know what I would say next is, other than to put some. Uh, I want to put some. Uh, uh, boxes, whatever, in here. Some crates. Some storage stuff. Yeah, I want to have like a little like food area right over here with some little. You want the, the wooden crates? Oh, whatever. You mean those regular storages? Like you look, uh, at the, you look in there, the street cries, which one you want? I think I was going to put down some of the little uh, plasticky boxes. Really? Yeah, just because of the look and everything. Because it really, none of it really matters. We've got food and it's all the stuff on yeah, here. It's, it's just kind of all. Uh, it's just cosmetic. Yeah, just <clears throat> make it look pretty. <laughs> Funny you mentioned that. Okay, let's see. I think we probably have what you're looking for because here's the gag. Everyone's always been complaining about why the hell do I, I keep I keep some extra one of those. They're like, why do we need all this junk? And they freak. They keep it. Everyone's giving me crap about it. They're like it's taking up space. I'm like, what? We might need it one day. That's why I hoard everything like a, like a hoarder. Translation: We have the thing you're looking for. Hmm. Alright, nice. Yeah, that's the joke. Everyone's complaining about it. Like, why do you have this? It's like, what's wrong? Why, why? I don't buy have it. How many do you get, Baron? Do what? How many of those containers do you need? Uh, two, I think. I was just gonna put two down. Here, let me go. Let me, here, I found in storage. I found some in storage here. Everyone was giving me crap about holding hoarding onto these. <laughs> I'll, I'll put it down. You decide where you want to put them. Also, here's a grill. You want to have a barbecue thing on your desk, <laughs> ship. Here are some traditional purifiers you wanted as well. Naturally purified water from the sun. <laughs> Enough of that. Oh well. Yeah, close enough. Windows song. 
That's that's all you get for now. I'll do songs later. Yep. Turn around, Baron. Another, another time. Oh, 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 oh. Another time. Watch out. Turn around. Hey, boxes. Yeah, I got you a, a grill and a purifier in our storage boxes as well. You, in case you want to use that. <laughs> the joke is we have, we have a lot of stuff hoarded over time. We have no use for I, I My argument was we might need it down the line. The other thing we just throw oh, it out. Oh, I see. <laughs> oh. It's a good thing we saved it, so we don't have to build it down, so we save us a little bit of resource. <laughs> Yeah, we also have a problem with pl we also have this problem called we don't have enough plastic. Oh well you need to move around more, I guess. Get more yep. plastic floating in the ocean. Yep, we just been so focused on building stuff that we forgot. Oh you don't need the purifier? <laughs> this was in the you ocean. You picked that up, you picked that up, okay. Yeah. Do, 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 do. I'm kind of curious, how do you see exactly <laughs> at, at nighttime, or do the balls light everything up for you? Uh, yeah, no, I can see pretty good. Yeah, I guess you tell how our, our, our this, like, the other ships are more lit up while yours is like... Visually, it's hard to see them, though, so I was curious how you see at night, <laughs> from a roleplay perspective. <laughs> yeah, I don't know, it's, uh, I'm just... I can just see decently well. People always ask me, like, how can I see so well? <laughs> It's like, does it matter what computer or what monitor I'm on or any of those things? I'm not sure what it is that I'm doing that's different than everybody else. But, but. Yeah, I was trying to think, if you play Hunt Showdown, you probably can see all the enemies hiding in the bushes clearer than better than the rest of us while we're trying to figure out where the enemy hunters are. <laughs> you probably found them way ages before. That's my take on it. Sounds good. I finally have a place to put my foods. How wonderful. And I'm going to put uh, the... I've got some uh, red flowers for you here. Yeah, those purifiers, yeah, you just pour some sea seawater in them and they'll magically do its thing and give you fresh with drinking water. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, the reason I was asking in case you know in case you know what you want in mind so I can patch a few things up for you while you're not here. But I just don't know what your design plans are, else I don't want to touch too much. Uh yeah, no, I um I haven't decided yet if I want to put a like a roof on this part because mm. uh, originally I was going to but then I put those chairs down but I could always move the chairs to, exactly like, up, to up and everything so you know but yeah the original plan was to put uh, uh, you know fill all of this in this right here would have the little angled pieces so mm. it would just go slope up right there from that point and then be, you know, level up on the top. <coughs> yeah. That I'll kind of thing. Decide. I'll let you decide how you want it. And of course, once you make the top point, we can decide where this, we can readjust just the zip lines. Because there are obviously going to be two more floors above that top floor, the strip mall anyways, at least. Before we're done, The of course, zip line probably would be good to put, mm -hmm. you know, a little more uh, center on the, uh, on the thing. You like mean, you could probably if you put, yeah. just put it right in the center of the nose there. Yeah, right oh, there. Uh, you can adjust that. I'll, I'll come. I'll get the rope. Uh, you just adjust where you want. This is perfect. No, that's perfect. That's exactly where. Okay, perfect. That clears up some real estate for you. Now I need to go up there and grab the rope and hook it down now. 
the old uh, fashioned uh, way. <laughs> if I try to do the other way, it gets tangled up in here, it won't work. I have to go, go outside and literally jump down with it. Oh yeah, and then, uh, here, I'll put it in this hugging to box. Wow. Some red flowers for you. Hey, it worked! <laughs> Ow, my leg, but I got it down though. The flowers, thank you. Yeah, I'll, I'll go put it inside the paint mixer right now. Oh, it's your single red flower. No, it's better than nothing. It's amazing how just <laughs> one little flower can make an impact already. <clears throat> but yeah, I got it fixed. I hooked it up now, so you should be able to see the new who's a plant position. And since that thing is made out of wood, theoretically, you can take a you can Tom Sawyer the thing too. <laughs> Assuming you have to paint for it. Hm. Nice try. <laughs> now you're trying to yank me in the water there. Hm. Should paint that too, since it's kind of on my boat, technically. Yeah, paint how you like. Oh. 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 Ah. Nice. Oh, you paint the drawbridge? Yeah. yeah. Paint that too, even. Yeah, that, that's what I'm talking about. <coughs> yeah, the black pearl. It, it, technically, it folds up onto my boat over here, so yep. I was like, it might as well like match the boat. Exactly, yeah. yeah. It was, the original plan was to make it fold up to your side of the boat, regardless. Yeah, <laughs> that's how I can make sure that zombies can't get to this side. True, because the rest of us, we have to run. Oh, wait. I realize I, the zombie can't that's get right, to the You floor. suckers, you stay <laughs> over there. We the zombie can't unless the zombie does not have the platform, they can't get to the eighth floor anyways. If it gets really dead, they just fall back to the eighth floor. And we're not gonna die of starvation. Jump. And they can't starve for starvation or why? Up there we have goats. Goats basically give us milk and a lot of turkey gives us eggs, so we have food. <laughs> and neither we always use the zip line over to you. <laughs> so we're safe. Yeah, <laughs> I'll, I'll sit and wait. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but then we all have weapons at that point, we're pretty sure we can fight the zombies off. <laughs> And this is the one touch zombie, so one touch you're dead. Hey, Kayla, how's it going? Uh, crunch, crunch. <laughs> yep. <clears throat> oh, I just realized I didn't even get bit. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Okay. Alright, I'm going to go up to my little top part and I'm going to log off. So you won't fall in the water and stuff, okay. And I'm going to go to sleep. Yep. Go to the dreamland. The dreamland of the future. <laughs> dreamland. We ride on elephants, polka dot scarves. <laughs> oh yeah, actually, I, one thing I didn't, I didn't notice about that was that the polka dot scarf, the elephant, I never noticed it. Was the elephant wearing a polka dot scarf? I never noticed it in the video. Did it say, say that again? Was the elephant actually anime with the polka dot scarf? I didn't see any when I was watching the video, the music video. Uh, yeah, I believe that there was, but... Probably hard to see. I okay. don't... Like, don't quote me on that. I wouldn't put it past me to put it on there and have no actual scarf. polka dot scarf. <laughs> That's why I was confused. I was like, wait a minute, where's the polka dot scarf? I just see an elephant sitting there being <laughs> mellow and stuff, but you sit your point Oh, you sit holding your hand, wrap your hand around your friend. <laughs> That's yeah, cool. I'm, I'm not sure. Yeah. Yeah, I need to look at the music video again. <laughs> that, that whole thing was such nonsense. Yes. <laughs> hey, it was corny in, the, in an entertaining way. Have you seen, um... Have you seen the breathing one? Nope. I saw the, uh, the centaur one and knew was like making so many inappropriate jokes about it. Yeah, the centaur one's pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see here. Yeah, it is not good for us. I'll take a look at it up. <laughs> is it on my... Yeah, here it is. Oh, that one. Okay, that's probably why I didn't know about it, because it's on a channel called Trip Ross. <laughs> that yes. explains why. 
It's also unlisted, so obviously I wouldn't be able to find it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. There's one that was floating around out there, but it's they're all unlisted now. In fact, all my show stuff is all <laughs> off of YouTube. They they took it all off of there. Oh damn. Yeah. <clears throat> it's a long, complicated, and sad story. What did you do to Miss Donald Vaughn now? <laughs> I was like, it, it, it's like the whole the whole show went down when that went down. Oh, sorry. Oh, to oh it was too. It was too bad. Oh. <coughs> the boss has you always shout on the Discord. Yeah, footage. <laughs> But they locked me. Yeah, they, I uh, violated my own copyright on the thing. Oh, that one, yes. And at the time, there was like no way to contact them, no way to get to deal with it, no way to do anything like that. Hmm. Um, and I didn't have like you know any money or anything, so I couldn't like get a lawyer or do any of those fancy things. It was just mm. you know, so so I couldn't get into it. I couldn't. I couldn't really deal with it, and uh, so it was just off of there. And by the time that I could get around to actually dealing with it, like it, it didn't matter. Like now I can, but uh, everything's still <clears throat> like the old, old videos are still locked out. You can only watch them in like a couple countries or something. Stuff. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I know what you mean. <clears throat> it's like funny thing. Like, here, I didn't realize when I first played it, there was only like, copyright claims on it. Now it's funny. My videos, any of them involving Middle Earth, cannot be played in X amount of countries. I was like, what the heck? Yep, yep. I don't know what the deal is with that, but. Yeah, I'm like, so when you told me, when you copyright claimed out the bad, you couldn't tell me that was an issue at the time, but only later you told me. I'm like, geez. It sucks, but oh well. You know, I also have in here, I'll send you this too, because I, uh, you may enjoy it. It's a little karaoke, but it's a little, uh, okay, cool. Keep kind of show off karaoke, but it's, it's from a while ago. When is this? This was in, uh, was six years ago is when this was. Not too bad if it's six years ago. Not terrible, but that's a while ago. What's this one? Okay, got my llama hunting gear. Oh, right. hold on here. Well, I got my goat hunting gear now. Come here, goatee! You find my net, this net gun and catch a bruise, that'd be funny as hell. Can you hear this? Just a second. Where do you send it? Oh, is it in the VC or something? Where are you projecting the sound, Baron? I, I don't. I don't know if you'd be able to hear it. I don't know what you're projecting it, so I can't to fix in on it. Are you playing off of speakers? Yeah. Then no. Yeah, I'm just uh, I was sending this to you now. Okay. Oh, there's red flowers on this island. Perfect. That one, that one, I'm like solving a Rubik's cube and singing. Oh, Werewolves of London. Okay, let's see. Oh, okay, this one <laughs> I, I could. Have okay, this. no, this one I could find. It's normal listed. Is it? Oh, I didn't yeah. The first it. one was unlisted. This one's not. Did you solve the Lyrics Cube actually? Because I'm kind of curious now. Uh, yeah, I sure did. Damn, you solved the Rubik's Cube while singing karaoke at the same time as the song? That's impressive. God, my, uh, 
I don't always sing uh, Humpty Dance and solve the Oh, game. God. <laughs> I do that all the time. I'm a little shocked now. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Come on, come on. Beep it, beat me. Come on, beep me if you want to reach me. Come on! Finally. Oh my god, it's here. Oh my god, it's just garbage! Lame! I would rather trouble to find it than take out just scraps. Like scrap garbage, not scrap metal. Mr. Fake stuff. Oh, this side, yes. The four of the song three mice. Sitting on a bench. Okay, this one's listed normally, okay. Did you ever hear of the goat that fell off his boat and landed as a mulberry? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh my, I'm just wondering how much reduction videos you worked on now at this point. Oh my god. I think you said you have 10 YouTube channels, right? Uh, I don't know. I don't know how many I have right now. <laughs> okay, something Mr. like that. Mr. Fake Stuff, Trip Ross, Princess of Parliament. Those are the ones I do know of. And Cultivate Studios. That is not no. Baron Montaigne. Oh, that one. Oh, yeah, you're a main game one. <laughs> right, forgot about that. Uh,. I don't know, I know there's others. I can click my little button. Bountiful games, but felt about games. There's a general personal account that I like never really use at all. <laughs> Yeah, I've got quite a few. <laughs> mm -hmm. I own 28 websites. And uh, that's like down from like I had like 50 something before. Mm -hmm. But I lost a whole bunch of them. The ones you still own, do you have to pay, like, the, like, pay, maintain the membership for each of those domains? Or how is it set up for the infrastructure? Yeah, you gotta, you gotta re-register every year god damn this for me it's not cheap i have one domain and my god it's a couple hundred bucks that's why i'm trying to figure out how are you paying for all this like you have yeah this no it's definitely not cheap it's <laughs> not cheap at all because the fact you own 20 tells me that's like what 2800 bucks a year is it give or take it uh no i mean it's uh probably you know like around 280 I think they're like 10 bucks a piece for each Oh, what uh, the hell? 
That's weird. In Canada, I paid way more for the IP domain, so that's why. Oh, yeah, yeah. Because uh, Canada's like 100 bucks a year for each of those IPs. Oh, wow. Yeah, no, no, no. That's why I was like, Jesus. No, these Christ. are like 10 bucks each. No, yeah. Okay. And then there's, uh, you know, like hosting fees for uh, for the servers. But uh, I don't have one for each one. I have like two and I use them for like all the stuff. Are these in-house servers you own? They're not. No, I uh, I generally don't do that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I probably should. I have the capability and know-how. I just don't. <laughs> I just never do it. Hmm. Curious then. <clears throat> How much power is your internet in your house, by the way? That's a gig. That's how much. That's how much power your server internet is, speed is. Oh, I thought you'd. Uh, not, not the how hosting. much? How much power? Is that what you're saying here? Yeah, like how much is like hypothetically, if I ask you to host a dedicated server, can you can you, your mm -hmm. network handle it? Hypothetically. Probably, yeah. I mean, I've got. Uh, yeah, I've got a gig line. Mm -hmm. Gig up and and uh, I've got. Um, you know, pretty hefty computers and the router is a hefty router and all those things. So, how much would it cost to keep the rent lights on? Like for that, doesn't it eat a lot of money? Ye it depends. I mean, in general, not really. It's just it just kind of <clears throat> runs there. Okay, make but it, it depends on what you're doing with it because on some oh. of the things. I mean, like, of course, you know, it's like if it's like crypto mining or something. Oh, no, 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 like, nothing like that, nothing like that. You know, pulls all kinds of power, it's ridiculous. Nothing like that, no, 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 no. All right, let me give you one example of a use case. A dedicated server for Project Zombo with like 120 to 30 to 300 mods and a roster of 100 players. Well, that sounds pretty awesome. No, no, I'm making your computer network code that. <laughs> <laughs> Can you network handle it? That's what I'm curious about. Yeah, I don't know. Probably. I don't know if I'd want to be responsible for running that. Even getting paid? But I would play I would uh, play it though. Uh, I don't know. It depends. <laughs> yeah, that's a feature. It's, it's, a, fe it was, it's, a, you know it's a future state thing, honestly, because the guys when people ask me about dedicated server project Zombo, I'm like, sure, but I need to figure out the to try to figure out the hosting situation. The reason I said that earlier because Poncho's group, he basically hosts, he, he plays with a group that does a role play. There's a role play one where each month, each season is one month. Basically, everyone gets spawned on the server. They all basically all break off the faction and bandit tribes and shit like that. The rules are simple. Whoever dies pretty much can, is out, of the, out for that season and wait till next month to play. That's how I would do it. That's, that's why what I, I would do. That, that's why I have 100 people. Yeah. That's how I would run things. It's <coughs> me. I, I love that stuff. I would, I would do that. I would love to be a part of that. Although, I, like I said, like pro <laughs> I probably wouldn't want to actually like the run the server. Yeah, no, no, I'm just checking cases. Um, I know what they're paying for there, so I'm curious, like how much horsepower they're using. Cause their group, they told me the monthly rent's 120 bucks. <clears throat> but with 100 people, honestly, that's not that hard. Like financially, 100 people, that's cheap. If you think about it, like if you make everybody like cough up two dollars yeah. each, for instance, they pay the rent and they still have extra money to like buy beer and yeah. stuff for food for the server. I mean, yeah, if you've got that that much and that many people on it, just have everybody put a dollar in. Uh, and, oh, officially the roster you know, six, they yeah. actually have six hundred people for real, but but they just rotate in like hundred people at a time. So who gets to, who who's to be able to play this month? And they made it strict as well to say, oh, you don't, your character doesn't show up by a certain point inside the game, God will kill you. So the players are forced to play actively. <laughs> so you can't just like get claim a spot and don't play and then they deny someone else the opportunity. <laughs> mm -hmm. So everyone there actually plays mm -hmm. till they actually die. <laughs> Interesting. It's still, I mean, you can still like shack up in a place or something though, right? Like. In theory, yes, but with a dedicated server, I'm not sure how it works because. Do they just their want you to like? Do they just want you to continuously like run around and keep moving though, or is it like? Because I mean, you know, part of the fun about it is like finding a house in particular and like boarding it up and everything. Even if you're battling against other people, they all have boarded up homes. Yeah, they. 
Some of them have war trucks, like war buses instead. They used to become nomads. Like Poncho's, for instance, he runs he's his his faction, they're nomads. They don't they don't have a they, their 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 fortress is their battle bus. <laughs> Everyone else is in hold up in houses. Except for his group. They just go around they just go around and pillage and murder the other players. That should be with the admins too. Yeah. That's like if, if they, you're not playing right then they yeah. come out in the uh, war bus and destroy you. But the van of the thing is Poncho's groups go out destroying people. I meant hypothetically. With a dedicated server. Hey, okay, wake up again, uh, good morning in 10 radio, but I meant like with a dedicated server like, in that context then. <clears throat> How is it, if, you, if I'm not online, what's preventing that guys from murdering my ass, though? Like, like how do they not, like, because I'm offline, wouldn't I technically get my ass, wouldn't I still be vulnerable because the server is active? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's, because everything's still, you know, it's persistent. Yeah. So. That's what, that's what forces them to, like, basically like, keep playing. They play, almost everybody there plays at least an hour a day, daily. And they actually have some of the, some of the factions, they literally have to, like, rotate guards in because everyone's ruthless. They won't, they won't agree to truce. Like, say, hey guys, nobody murder each other yeah. this time, this time. They're like, they literally have to have at least like, one person well, need a guard on each time to prevent everyone getting murdered at the base. <laughs> you you won't be murdered because you do, you like, when you log out, you disappear. Uh, you don't like, you know, go to sleep like in some games. Um, mm. But you still like, if you have anything, if you're like storing anything mm -hmm. somewhere, like, if I do those things, I just put as much stuff as I can on my body and then log out. But, yeah, uh, yeah, they can get into stuff and, you know, still wreak havoc and cause problems. And I'm pretty sure the admin can still technically kick you regardless, I'm guessing. Mm, probably, I don't know. Yeah, the reason I was saying that was because, that's why I said, they wanted to ensure the players play actively so that they have some trick or something to it. Gee. That's, mm, that's why I was saying, well, like, let's keep them sure. How do you ensure people play actively enough, not hogging space? That's why I think they might kick and kick or just screw the players. That's what I was thinking. Well, I tell you, I I need to go. No I worries. Need to go to bed no worries. Because... Resource, no worries. So thank you again for your input, Baron. Yeah, I'll let you know what the heck I'm working on after in the coming weeks. But this, sure. this this won't be deployed to like this idea. It won't be deployed for like later in the year. Or suddenly I, I get like 20 people at least sign up for my tier 3 membership on YouTube. Oh, and kids, I didn't mention it, Baron. I launched channel memberships today. <laughs> on YouTube now. Good. But yeah, if, I, if say we got 10 to 20 people sign up for channel memberships already on tier 3, I'll probably just rush that while what my plans are. Otherwise, I'll probably work on until later in the year. But, but basically, we'll be launching dedicated servers for a bunch of stuff. That's all it is. Nothing major. One of them is going to be a, the first one's going to be a Project Zomboid server. Nice. No worries. Well, tell me about that when that happens. Sure. I'd to be involved with that. Definitely. Uh, go, right. go sleep and be mellow. I'm going to call it. <laughs> no. I'll do, I will do that. <laughs> thanks, All right. Thanks so long, sir. No problem. Thank yeah. you so much, Baron. Thanks. Have a good one. So long. Long. Sorry. Yeah. Sorry. We're just taking care, Baron. So we're just throwing out the decade server stuff as well because. As you okay, first off, folks, in case you didn't know, I have channel memberships now. If you actually go look at the channel, my home channel screen, or look at my on my profile, there should be a join button that tells you about the channel memberships. One of the things we're doing is launching. We'll eventually be doing is launching dedicated servers for certain games. By the way, so so example, some games like Hunch, not Hunch, Hunch, Ah, uh, God, just say, uh, Rust, Raf, and Shrouded, Project Zomboid, basically, Sons of the Force, and games are basically that could have dedicated server running. We're planning to be launching it so that basically folks can join, like, to folks to be, like, basically be able to play these on a dedicated server because we're trying to figure out how we're going to host it and such. Of course, since hosting costs money, it's not cheap, and I can't feel like it's supposed to be affording it officially. And we'll clarify, unless you're part of a grandfather list of players, all future players that join the community and such have to be part of the Tier 3 membership in order to be able to play the dedicated servers. It's basically because I need to pay the rent, too, because those servers are not cheap. I saw the numbers, let me tell you. Dedicated service for an average on a game per if I go per game, it's roughly about twenty twenty five dollars per server. This is assuming an average dedicated server with eight players. So we're basically just working on sorting out some of the, the kinks behind that. That's just a heads up, though. In the future, that's why we're working on behind the scenes. 
as we transform the channel and community get bigger as we get bigger that's what we're doing as well dedicated servers and dedicate and more community events by the way i'm excited though when we get to that phase imagine having servers for almost all kind of games that folks can just come on chill and play together of course i'll have admins look after it so people can grieve and be idiots of course because we don't want any of that crap like i said it's un it's not cheap it's not gonna be free though I feel that's exempted at this moment are the mods and a group of grandfather players. <laughs> Why are you raging and saying GG at the same time, Nodi? Open G at the same time. <laughs> Cause you didn't know what those emotes mean, right? Connected you two, what? <clears throat> what y'all saying when we? I'm okay. Sorry, folks. I may be not as hip as crunky as y'all folks, but what does you mean? What do y'all mean by connected? <laughs> it's coming in the video. Uh, oh yeah.
<clears throat> hey, else. If you're implying we have think you're implying, I recommend you try making I mean to be accurate. So here, what did you play, Valo? Like, what did you stream earlier? I know that. I know you were playing something. I know Mike was saying. I think Mike was with you at the time. Not sure. Fortnite. Were you a Tofu or Mike? <laughs> Oh, are you or Harley? I mean, it's Haley. Is it Harley? Yeah, I think it's Harley, yeah. Were you with, with those three? <laughs> That's like a little... Low. Oh yeah, in case I didn't mention the heal, so you, in case you're wondering what those play with key emotes Nodi has, uh, I launched uh, earlier today. I launched channel membership officially now. I managed to get the emotes done, so officially there's channel membership emotes on YouTube now. <coughs> it's pretty much <coughs> pretty much channel membership on YouTube. Pretty much what you guys call on Twitch. I subscribe subscription program. Same thing. Same mechanics to be honest. <coughs> oh, it's just you and the missus. Okay. Low Nodi. <laughs> okay, that's hilarious. Uh, yeah, Nodi, in case you I didn't mention it, Kill is also on the server. <laughs> yeah, you see what's like you see all the if you see how we're looking like it's just like how Twitch is set up. So we look at Nodi for example, that's the first tier of the membership badge. So you can basically on YouTube, if you subscribe for a certain tier and time like that, you basically get those badges essentially. Like the bat the thing next to Nodi's name. That upgrades the trend. I'm not sure how this for Twitch, you can probably clarify this. But on YouTube, we can basically make badges or membership service badge where at certain milestones, it will basically not only give you a pop up on screen saying how long you've been a member for, it basically changes your badge. So, because I follow the whole medieval stick for me because I'm a medieval king, everybody starts off as having like a ragged looking banner. And eventually, after time, we'll start training some stuff like, for example, bronze shield, bronze crown, a silver. Silver banner like with silver lining, a silver shield, a gold, a silver crown with some gold studs, to like a purple silk banner with gold trimmings, to a gold shiny shield with some gems, to a king crown with golden crown with tons of diamonds and gems. Like that's how like for YouTube we basically have our setup so that basically as you progress in the membership program and such, it'll basically transform what essentially looks your badge looks like. So that's where it's a lot of long term members will have bigger shiny badges versus if they were say a starting off member like what Nodi has. It's a pretty cool mechanic on YouTube. I'm not sure if they have this on, on how they do it on Twitch. I know that you guys get alerts saying this person has been for ages. Yeah, they do have a couple upgrades as well here. Like for example, recently they invented the idea of gifted subs. Like they, they call it gifted membership, which is pretty much gifted subs. Like they just they only just added recently. I know they've been slowly working towards things. They're adding that, they just added they're doing a prototype testing that basically shows stream rules like wait, how you guys have stream rules in the description ours it pops up on the screen and such we're still they're still piloting it but once i talked once i actually had a chance to sit down with mike sharky and basically mike shaky and ask him to help me accept the other bot i think that's pretty much i right, pretty much at the points i win <laughs> because once the streamer bot is set up once streamer bot is set up on on youtube i pretty much say gg folks <laughs> the reason i say this because that bot pretty much gives me all the interactive, like, the streamer bot that Mike has. It's user, it's also compatible with YouTube. What it does is it basically gives me all the engagement interactive ability features that you guys have on Twitch. Exact same thing, similar ones we program build ourselves, including the points, redeems, everything. I know a YouTuber here, like I said, I think I mentioned it a while back, the Tofu. 
a YouTuber I know, he got to 27,000 subscribers doing that, using that bot. It's a pretty interesting concept. He made some folks want to stay on the stream because you stay on the stream and get points to redeem to drive him nuts. Like redeem sound alerts and such. In addition, if you talk and chat and such, you get points which will give you a chance to catch Pokemon. It's a pretty interesting concept though. I'm not sure how he does it. But yeah, no, that was Shaney by the way. Shaney G did that by the way. It actually worked for him. <laughs> Surprisingly enough. But that's like, I'd say that's end game. That's like pretty much like... Until the day YouTube finally gets around to building a redeem function, is that's all we have to make do. I have to basically think outside the box. So that's one of the limitations with YouTube. Uh, for you, the good news for you, Heels, is that because you're on Twitch, right? You can use other bots too. You can use Nightbot. You can stream stream elements or slobs, depending on your taste. Like I meant, like you can use those already. They support all the features, interactivity. I tried using stream stream elements back in the day. They told me, "Sorry, we can't support you because you're YouTube." So at least for you, you have the option at least to keep going to get you enjoy something that's like that. But there's many options though, variants. Depends on your preference, really. This bug. Oh yeah, did you ever get yourself a new console or PC or something? Because I think you're, wasn't your youngster saying he wanted you to get one or something? <laughs> yeah, I did the last time we were here was like four, like three rap streams ago. I'm not fully sure. Yeah, because I've been behind on my uploads and stuff. That's why I haven't had a chance. But yeah, as you can see, I, I didn't do a lot of upgrades when you were here last year, by the way. So I built, I'm very big on building stuff in here. Like, I want to build the grandest ship raft to ever sail the seven seas, as you can see. So we've been building things hard. <laughs> like, this is a strip mall I'm practically building. I'm working on a strip mall right now. Just one second. I'm just going upstairs. <laughs> Was well, this the one your son's been asking you to say, Daddy, when you buy a PC, was it that one? <laughs> or is this something else? <laughs> Put that fruits in there. As you can see, I'm pretty hardcore. Look at the strip mall now. We upgraded three stores now. There's a tiki bar, a barbecue shack, a toy store. This is going to be where the art museum is. This is the stage. I don't know what I'm doing there yet. I need to put a fishmonger and fishmongers to market down here. But yeah, Kayla, these are these, are, these, are, these guys are other folks I know. Like Kayla, Heo, Heo, Kayla. Heo is mainly a Fortnite guy, he's on Twitch. Kayla is a horror streamer, her specialty is DVD. She's, I think she's a Fog Whisperer, if I remember right. Nodi is a YouTube partner as well. He specializes in walkthroughs of games like Assassin's Creed and other open world stuff. That guy you saw earlier who, who's on my stream, Baron Von Payne, he's a Hollywood actor who starred in Twilight and The Ring and some other movies. And he also was is a musician, he also worked on other productions behind the scenes as well. But his most notable one is being in Twilight. We were singing about the mice song earlier. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah, they're all peeps here. Let's all see why in some regards. Theoretically, Mike, uh, no, Mike should be on a second now. No, what happened to him? <laughs> Have you talked to him lately? Or is he all taking the kids out playing soccer right now? Or football, sorry. Yeah, football. He freaking he's British. <laughs> Oh 
Yeah, we're sorting these things in. As you can see, folks, because we're weirdos here, we have this thing called, we didn't call it a petting zoo, we called it a hugging zoo. Because we're just goofballs here. All right, let's so quickly build something. Let's quickly do a quick poll. Oh, I should not make a poll, let's see. Hmm. Dang it, I can't put rugs on the ground, otherwise I'll make a rug shop. And of course, we have Discord. I know y'all have Discord because y'all always supposed to talk to me on Discord in some regards. Trying to survive. What the heck now? <laughs> yeah, funny question about that. I actually could have given you the wrench the whole time. You just never asked, to be honest. I know you're my mod and all, but you never ask. <laughs> yeah, one moment. Just give me a second. Let's see, where's the bug? I can't do it on here. I can't do an OPS. He's is the only one with the blue wrench at the moment, alongside with my streamer bot, obviously. <laughs> How do I get this button to work? Let's see. That should work now. Try typing. Just type something in chat. I want to see if it, the wrench appears. Assuming I programmed you correctly. But yeah, you never actually asked, so I never really thought of doing it. I only gave it to Hayes at the moment. That's fine. Honestly, if you're one of my six mods, you pretty much are. It's implied you have to do. If you're one of my six mods, it kind of implies you're my mod for almost almost all the platforms. It's implied. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, I figure as much. So yeah, only the six mods right now are the official mods for the server. Any future mods won't be for a while because the way I set it up, I'm not having a seventh mod until until keyword here. Unless the server hits a thousand members, I'm not gonna have a separate mod because we don't need it. We have six mods is more than enough. Six mods covering all the time zones. And even then, I already have an idea who I want for the seventh mod, anyways. Hey, how's my advice, anyway, by the way? Oh, just a second, he'll you already joined. Uh huh. But yeah, just a second before I forget. But yeah, but yeah, no, like I said, yeah, the seven mod, the six mods will be that mod number seven won't be for a while. Let me just think, what am I missing? I know I'm forgetting to do something. I must my hit. I it's one of those. I'm having a moment right now. I feel like I need to do something. Oh crap! I'm, having, I'm supposed to be doing something, but I can't remember what I'm building. I'm supposed to build something for the store, but I just can't remember what exactly my building. And it's, I know it's not lanterns. That's for sure. Grab the extra wood there. There. I just can't remember. I know I'm thinking something, but I just don't know at the moment.
Nope, not putting the fish market there. Okay, so this will be the seating area for touch and grass so people can sit down and relax. We need some ch we might need this is gonna be a tiki bar, so they're gonna go up and get food, so it's gonna get food. I need to build a little food court around here. Let's see, we have look okay, let's look at the cooking arrangement first. Hmm, the only thing I think I could just put a cooking pot up here, like a cooking like something's cooking house, like a cookery. This is a barbecue shack, so I specialize in grilled meats. Oh fuck it. You know what? First let me just build a second one. I, you know, I'll build another restaurant up here in the fish market. Okay, let's see. We need more scrap. Mel ingots titanium, which is fine. I have all of that. Just a second. Whee! Oh. Ow, my leg. And this is why I tell people it's like a platforming. Three scraps, uh, five ingots, okay. Yeah, good thing these things aren't batteries, so I don't have to worry about wasting fuel. <laughs> There are two grills to cook food. <coughs> I might just have the seating area be on the grass. Be comfortable with grass area. There'll be a grass seating area here. Bum 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 bum. What the hell do I need? Oh, you know, I need to look at this quickly. What do I need to do to make the grass plots? Dirt and plastic, okay, straightforward. I'll just build another row. Have a row of seats here, maybe. Have a fish monker here. Plastic. I'm gonna make some crop dirt plots, some crop grow plots. Ah, dump. There, yeah, the dump. We call it the dumpy dump dump. Dump the dump the bump dump the dump the dump the dump the dump dump. God, it's like new gun. Why ever say stuff like that? I'm blaming new gun. No, it's his fault. Take a look up here. And now when you light this place up, it looks fantastic. Have some chairs here for the concert viewing. That'd be a separate thing. You know what? 
Let's go build the cookery. Okay, you know what? I got it. We'll build the restaurant here. It'll be another wooden, wooden type restaurant because I'm a weirdo. <coughs> I got it. It'll be a four by four. Let's say a four by two. Okay. Let's see, we... Oh, fuck. Okay, nope. Nope, time out. That's wrong. Alright, take two. Let's see, uh, where's the dang windows? Two in front. Is it? <clears throat> yeah, this will be the mini food court area. We have the electric grill place. Bar. Let's do this instead. Mm -hmm. There. Wonder what if I do this? Ooh, I got it. Yeah, it could work potentially. Ta-da! It's done. <clears throat> this will be the cookery where we have Mama something I don't know some Mama home cooking. Which will be cooking fresh out block. So we need enough. We're gonna need enough fridge. I'll just take one the fridge over here, honestly. <laughs> Funny thing is. Oh, there's a the door. <laughs> I feel stupid now, why didn't even make the door in the first one? <clears throat> eh, no matter. They will make this entire area be a food like a seating area for the food court. <laughs> I was gonna push it back a bit more, but the problem is it would collide to the toy store and I don't like the design of it. <coughs> oh. 
I need to hydrate, folks. I just I didn't have enough water. I think it de-rendered because they ate too many eggs here. <clears throat> we have like a diving tub, we have a- I could make a public bathing house, bath house, but it's kind of weird. I could theoretically make one though. All we have left is that in the fish market, honestly. Oh wait, I already got the parts, okay. We just need a tiki or something in our lantern light it up. See, there's a sitting area, a fish market. Let me just think. Oh my god. I still don't know how the rain got in. This place is just solid, but I don't know why. I'll set up, but oh well. <laughs> Let's make some cooking pots. The cooking pots, yes. Scrap plastic ingot. Look 
plastic, ball vine goo. We have tons of we have all that material. Let's see, we need four vine goo, one plastic ball. Two cooking pots. Thank you much, appreciate it, Kayla. Yeah, all that's left. Next up oh, now at this point is getting the 1,000 subs and the 4K watch hours so I could basically get fully the full official version of the other thing. Just for some, meh, some. I'd rather for the heck of it. That's why then. That's what probably what's next now. Getting the membership program done this year was a a highlight. It's a highlight of the year, I'll say, Kayla. Thank you, but thank you though, I appreciate it. Yeah, Tan Vols fails for you. Uh, just try playing, maybe plug something in your ears. I don't know. No. I, would, I will recommend hearing me talk to you, make you go to sleep, though, because it wouldn't work. So yeah, yeah, try to get some sleep by the way, or tan. We can. Oh, well, we'll fix it later. <clears throat> this is the restaurant, one of the cookeries. Two cookeries. Because I'm a cheeky boss, do I can put some menus here? We could make one basically be a vegetarian soup shack if I wanted to, just be a dick. Okay, no, sorry folks, you want vegetarian, go here, you want meat, go here. You can do this if I want. If I really want to, I could just done that. But yeah, this slowly transforming this raft. This is like clarified folks. This raft we've been going up over at this for this December 2022 till now. So I told you how long this we've been wrapped. This group's been wrapped together for. We only meet once a month, but I take care of so part of the reason why the raft got to where it is right now is because during offline streams, basically off stream, basically I work in here and grind stuff up a lot. So it happens. So a lot of this stuff gets transformed when I'm when folks are not around. But I do like portions on stream. The most of the storyline adventures happen on stream, but offline stuff like this happens. Magic happens. Whether it's having a crack house built or a brobdello, it's an adventure in itself.
see. Okay, now we are. Oh, okay, now we remember what I'm just needing. Ah, just a sec. I need to get all the men extra menu sheets. And just stick them on there. Because right now I'm just splattering it all over this wall. No, I don't want that. Let's get some room there. Oh, we could do that. Okay, that's cool. That's a cool concept. <clears throat> How about the reverse? Oh, wow, I can do it. That's cool. I can use like, a little menu thing for folks. Guess we, we finally use all those extra recipe book sheets now. up You know what? Actually, because I'm a nice, I'm a nice guy. I'm gonna go fill up Baron's. Okay, well, okay. I'm not gonna drink this crap. I'm gonna go pour it into Baron's purifiers and then pure, let the purify for him, so he has fresh water for himself, even though he has my raft. Yep, one side. See, I'm a nice guy. Let's go and get me.
Who came back? Sorry, folks. Well, first off, we need ocean and drink water. <clears throat> and get the eggs back in. Yeah, I think I'm selling, sell, I'm gonna sell, honestly. So, what we'll do? I'll sell to the next island, try to find some more ingots and stuff. And oh my god, I don't know batteries. Fuck. Ladies and gentlemen, we're out of batteries again for the millionth time. Ugh. Was this the island Baron went to, though? I'm not sure. Is it, it was it, though? And of course, <clears throat> we're still on the hunt for rare turkeys. Because, you know, gobble, gobble, gobble. We need this. So, we'll see. We need wood. We need metal scraps. Wood, metal scraps, uh, plastic. Those are the three things we need most for our, our shenanigans. Yeah, I don't only have, sadly, the goats. We, we don't need those like goats. We need, what we really need is colorful turkeys. I know they're rare, so it's very hard to find them, but... If we could get them, those would be amazing, cause that's all we're missing. Two rare kinds of turkey and we got the whole set. And yippee. Let's just see though. Mm. Next island is 500 meters. Then after we go to the Tengora. Oh wait, 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 really? <clears throat> that makes no sense. meters three meters that way <clears throat> oh there's the island it's a, it's a big island but still taking more like a medium island but still doesn't matter it's an island nonetheless and meanwhile funny story i still have not found the captain's island yet so all this time i never found the captain's island i found amelia eckhart's island but i never found the captain's island <gasps> it's a fable island i do never know what the hell it is
Oh, there's a big island. Okay. <laughs> I guess I was reading the map wrong then. That looks tiny as hell on my end. Yeah, we're too heavy to drift, that's fine. Okay, initial recon shows me there's no birds, so I don't worry about getting bombed on the head. So we know that much thus far. Oh, there's a pissed off shark. That's a very, very pissed off shark. But there's more importantly, it smells scraps down there. Ow, my ass! Yeah, that's my hard difficulty. I'll be dead in seconds, but I'm not caring right now. I just need to. Treasure! There's a bright truck right behind my ass. Underneath this thing, this is a treasure. Yep, I see it. Holy shit, he really dodged that. Oh, we killed it! Ah, Brucey's is dead! Brucey is dead! Hallelujah! And I'm about to die myself. So I need to get out of the water before I drown to death. And fuck, I'm dead. We just fucked up my stomach. And why did I respawn in the crack house? Why, how does RNG seem to decide us? <clears throat> anyway, no matter. This is what we do. We're gonna go... Back in the water and harvest more minerals. There's no way Bruce respawned already. He can't be. I just killed him five seconds ago.
Oh my god, uh... Ooh, let's see, we're gonna harvest this. We might need a fridge at this rate. That has the scraps, okay. Oh yeah, we need the fish, but we are at this place, we need to get exotic fish, okay. This is what I have to do while I'm here. Take that rare fishing bait I have and use it to catch all the rare fishies, trade them in for the tokens, and from there we should be good to go. It's on the rock. It's on the rock structure. God damn it. Yeah, I sometimes wonder what the hell these guys do. What they would do. Put like this, I was like, really? Really, guys? It's a pain in the ass to get, you know. Any scraps at least? Nope. Hey, got a female hook out of it, so that's something at least. Decent amount of plastic. Yeah, go from our floor out here, like up to here at least. 
that folks sit in comfort on grass. Like we could put some like some maybe some lawn chairs or something, some tables down, maybe a little fire. Just make it look comfortable, wholesome honestly. I don't know yet, honestly. I'm still trying to figure it out myself. Oh, we've got two mixes. My bad. I forgot about that. There, this will speed up our production rate. We have one of these. White one. There. Now we make way more paint than before. I should check my mail scratch first. Okay, that's enough to make axes, that's fine. Okay, let's make some more of these dirt plots. <laughs> I'm not too worried about the plastic part because we may we'll just basically get more, so I'm not worried. Hmm. Net launchers. Rocks, stone, powder. Okay, that's easy. Oh, 
Yeah, I'll go up to this point, which is one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, six more of these. That will be the seating area for the food court. Yeah, I'm building a more of a home here set up. We need a sign as well. Let's see, we need to build the sign. Yeah, no so fast. This is for food court. Let me take a look. <laughs> nope. Take the Plastic up there. Oh, Mel Scraps, perfect. <clears throat> Where else, Bruce? Something feels off. Funny thing is, I barely even iron hop yet. I'm still exploring the water area. Yeah, I need the plastic just as much as the metal. Plastic is utilized to basically. Wait, we need plastic for. Essentially, first off, we need plastic in order to harvest, make the plant the planter thing. That's just leaves them. I want this one. Hmm. <clears throat> oh, yes, fine, scrap, finally. 
Hey, 24 plastic, so it's not it's gonna be a while. <gasps> Treasure chest, but there's a puffer, so I'll be careful. Oh shit! I got. Uh, God damn it. Ah, uh, run away, run away, leave me alone, puffer fish. <clears throat> damn, that's a persistent puffer fish. I need to bag him later so he can't kill him. Where you go? Good, he's bored, perfect. Yeah, I need a new bow because the next time, next shot, I'm gonna fire for my bow. It's gonna be bye bye bow, so I can't. I can't fight him with the spear properly. I think I can, but still. I'm gonna sneak around for the treasure chest. <coughs> I see the, ch the crate already, so I'm moving in for it. Let's go. Do the clam too! I run a clam! Because clams are very important for the recycler. It's very useful for the recycler, honestly. Aika! I'm swinging away! I'm running away! Swing away! I stand it to trick the system. Yep. Yep, I tricked that puffer fish into thinking I quote unquote went on dry land. But yeah, I don't need copper fish blow up like that though. Maybe it's just this game thing, because I really have the poisonous, but I would think they just more like, you know, pierce you or something, but for it to go kaboomy in your face, that's completely really different. Feels off. So I feel like this type of base, this location, what you expect this here is a boar. I feel like you'll see a boar, I just don't see one yet. Come on, give me a safe, 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 safe. Yeah! <clears throat> if we get lucky, it's a golden robot. If it's RNG, Jesus. Here goes. It. Two pop cassettes and a bunch of titanium. Okay, close enough. It's still good treasure. Mainly the pop cassettes are unique in the titanium. I'll take it. I don't know what the fuck I'm supposed to do with the paddle, though. Oh, it's just a llama. Nope. <gasps> the cave area. Perfect. I think we'll be here for digging for treasure. Hopefully it's some good stuff. I need first off the dirt. <clears throat> Mushrooms! That's useful. If I get lucky, I'll dig up some nail scraps. Or nails. See? Two scrap units. See? A little bit helps already. Every wee bit help. Still <clears throat> stuff essentially. Mm. 
was confused on the silhouette for a second there. Yeah, got that. Scraps. Well, this has to be more important to be fair. <clears throat> Dang, we don't have no plastic. Holy crap. I thought we had more. Oh, well, we'll get some more when we get back. Did I get there? Okay, it's so a plastic. Oh, we have plastic. Okay. Nothing on this wrap. Oh, you got there's some stuff here. That's Chick Baron's wrap. That's Chick Baron's ship, though. First, let's put these two in here. Just uh, eggs, um, berries. <clears throat> Just we go pink pockets, it's everywhere. Damn, I wish we could find the rock one. I'm guessing it's RNGs though. Let's go to the Corgi Strip Club and put one in the cassette here. Oh. <laughs> Don't know what the hell we all those seeds. Not, there's nothing here. Oh, it's in the backstage. My bad. There, perfect.
Oh crap, it's all batteries. Yeah, I need a bit more batteries at some point. Let's see. Fuel. Into the sea pots. Oh, we're on way. <laughs> Still more yeah, I need to explore. As you can see, folks, I hoard a lot, so don't worry. We don't have to worry about food. That's why I said it's like the Garden of Eden, practically. Look at this, all this. <coughs> I've had to worry about food or hunger in here, but yeah. I'm guessing he's passed out earlier, is probably what happened. Perfect. Let's see. Oh, what's a nail? Okay. We sell plastic. How much plastic do we have? We have 18, so it's enough to make three more of these things. Or four more. Yeah, four more.
two more, so I need 12 more pieces of plastic. Yeah, I need a second axe. Okay. I want to at least clear up this island at least minimum for today's stream. At least. Okay, I got time to scout from good there. Table that Rico has, I think that could be leverage for us. Mm. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Where did you come from? I must, I, I know you fight them. I'm, I'm a bit of a cheapskate right now. I could fight them, but I'm like, nah. My only concern is getting metal ingots. Damn it. Bad, Sharky, bad. Got two hits in them. Whew. I'm pretty sure one more treasure box around here somewhere. there. I haven't gone up there because I see the food. Oh, more scraps. See? Why would why how every time I come back to something I always seem to get more scraps? So I missed them or they were there the whole time I just never noticed. Honestly I can tell. See I sneak by them at least. Okay, all in. Oh shit! Well, he still got me? Fuck! I thought I was out of the zone. Oh my god. Hey, Gallows, you're about to die. Poison. Poison's bad. Fuck. Holy smoke, that poison's potent. I thought I was out of the blast zone. Oh my god. But hey, I got to do scrap, so the two pieces of scrap that I'm hunting for.
Well, scrap. Ah, shit. Ah. Dang it. That was weird. Uh, pretty sure there's treasure further down there, but I want to go down just yet. Yeah, I don't want to click everything I can see first in my sights. Scraps. Treasure area, potentially. Yep. Oh, scraps. Damn, it's raining too. Oh, God. Okay, there's a llama there, but I'm not really into armor right now. <clears throat> I could share, I just share a lot of existing llamas we have, and we're still good to go, but I'm just debating it now. Unless the gig is on a, a small ass llama. That's the only thing I reason I can think of why we can't want to catch it. Let's scrap.
thank goodness I don't cost any power doing this, or else it would suck. Yeah, I'm almost done. I'm almost done. Just heads up for everybody. <clears throat> almost done soon. Just doing the finalizing a few pieces of the land. I'll probably then drive to the next island and then my stream there. That's what I'm thinking of. Not fully sure yet. I told me smoke. There's all this loot though. Boop. This is a blue turkey. Oh my god, is it me or is it like this sounds like holy cow? It feels pretty loud the way he's walking. So we got a short ass llama and a regular blue turkey. Mm. <clears throat> I'm debating on catching a llama or a turkey. The llamas can be used to make fur, get fur, which we use to harvest more, manufacture more armor, or use it to make giant, giant massive backpacks. I'm still debating it. Not sure yet. No fruits. Hmm. <clears throat> There's Bruce up ahead, they'd be careful as a sneak back. That's shit, oh my god. Where is he? Oh god, oh god, where is he? Holy shit. Oh Jesus. He flew over my head. Get the book, get the book! Okay, okay. Hey, look at this loot we got though. So it's something.
Hope no yellow powder put it does. There, that should be enough to build all my shenanigans. There's <laughs> one more the heck of it up there. Okay, we built that.
Yeah, I need another one of these two. Two, two places for some surprise. <clears throat> All right, we're gonna start the wrap up. First, we're gonna grab these, move down, supplement them. The power units, and these were short something. Steam ahead. I'm almost looting the items, so I'm not worried. Biggest priority is getting the plastic. I want the last two, the extra pieces of plastic I need just so I can make those two crop plots. And then I do it with my proper snapshot. Shit. If a small island comes by, I'm gonna grab it anyway, so let's see. Yeah, the plastic parts are the one I'm after. I could use my hook, but I feel like it's gonna break any seconds. I don't want to risk it. Risk it for the biscuit? No. Little more golden. <gasps> Two plastics. Locked in. Okay, perfect. If the grass to grow, and I'll take a picture. <clears throat> set set sails.
Oh yeah, and we can get more metal scraps. And then we'll go. Sweet. Yeah, I guess the next island we park there. There we go. Yeah, I see the island. And this island has flyers, so we have to be careful, or else somebody's gonna get a concussion. Still can't believe how Baron sees it. How much do we have? Okay, we still have tons. Need more wood. <clears throat> this should be enough directly.
Mm. Just move a little closer before I end the stream. I might be able to exit, I'm not sure yet. Let's go look. Hope exits are already done. Oh, Mr. Wombat's online, okay. Let me see if Gami is streaming. Let's see if he said to me directly. Can I read out to Gami? Perfect. I'll read out to Mr. Wombat. We're done. Looks like a different island than the one I've been to before, plus look at the, the trees. The trees are there, so it's different. Is that pulling barrel? Okay. Yeah, I just had to love to end my stream. We'll be able to gummy wombat, but I just need to take care of a few things first. Okay. Scraps. Yeah, could technically put out seating here, seating arrangement here. I'm still debating it. Might just build a high chair setup. All right, well, we're gonna get bombed on. Oh well. Let's see. And I need to, of course, save back up to my file. Just let me just close my bowl first. Yep, perfect. <coughs> well, that's taken care of. There's the toy store.
You need to be careful the birds don't bomb us, but oh, that's why I'm hiding in here so I don't get a concussion and die. But yeah, I'm so happy. Look at this. Look at what we accomplished. Holy smokes. It's beautiful. But be right back before I am a stream, I'll take care of a few things around the scenes.
So tomorrow we'll be doing Hunt Showdown, or later today we'll be doing Hunt Showdown after I finish my work day. For now though, we're going to go to closing, and when I said go to closing as well, we're also going to raid out to Mr. Gummy Wombat and see how he's doing. But yeah, let's get ready to raid out. <clears throat> Thank you so much to everyone who came to my live stream today of, of good old Raph. Let's take a break for now and come back next time for my Hunt Showdown stream with the Army Valve Gamer. In case you haven't done so already, don't forget to subscribe to become a part of the Army Valve Nation. Leave a like and comment on the stream and share the stream with your friends. And like always, <clears throat> all my VODs will stay on my YouTube. All my streams will stay on my YouTube as VODs so you always go back to rewatch the video at the moment. Again, thank you so much everyone. I hope you have a fantastic rest of your Friday night or Saturday morning and have a fantastic weekend as well. 